in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school. Um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well. So that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see. Um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Morning, good morning, good morning. What was supposed to be a nice, quiet morning in this morning has turned into chaos, absolute chaos. I blame the management. Anyway, hello, hello, hello. It's been too long, hasn't it? I've been off for a week. It's been lovely. I've got nothing but loads done. Uh, we've got a fantastic day today. But before I do anything, 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 we have to say early bird special. 
Now, you know me and my calico, I love it. So, do you know what they've done for today's early bird? Look. What now? Two forty nine is fantastic, right? Two pound forty nine for half a meter is fantastic. It's pre washed, so, which means they've taken away a bit of the smell, which is a bit sad because I love the smell of calico. Right? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Obviously, two forty nine is already a brilliant price, but today, now only till midnight tonight, one ninety nine for half a meter. You know what you want it for if you're making twelves. In fact. Rebecca Harrison has done the whole of her first hour in calico and everything. So it's really, really good for pattern making, really good for putting on the back of wall hangings, good for the back of cushions, very good, oh, excuse me, if you uh, want to make a dress, a toile, and then uh, wear it afterwards. Till what? Cut off the bolt for you, cut off the bolt, especially for you at 199 half metre. I can't hear you, cat. We, I need another talk back. Uh, one pound 99 pence, please. Uh, next. <laughs> Message. Oh, would that, oh, hello all. Yeah, John's back. Lots of love from Davinia. Thank you, Davinia. Now, Jeremy Joe came in, fixed the screen, right? But he's fixed it so it's little. So I still can't read the writing. That's the problem. But it's brilliant that it's there. At uh, 199, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Uh, 50 have gone already. 50 have gone already. And it's only, oh, it's not even, oh, this clock says it's not even eight o'clock yet. What time is it? Let me look. It's 8.03. You keep looking at that fabric. Now, am I going to walk in front of a camera or is it upstairs? Let's just see if the clock keeps up with us today because it wasn't even on 8 o'clock today. Something's happened to this Christmas tree. Half the baubles have fallen off during the week. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. It's because there's no room between the tree and the desk. Like all these, all the whole this side of the tree is bald. I forgot to bring my angel in again. Yeah, I don't know why that Elliot put a picture of me from sewing quarter on the tree earlier. I've thrown it in the bin now. One ninety nine, hundred have gone already. Hundred have gone already. Right, while you're checking out, because you need to check out. Remember, it's right. Okay, first of all, it's what I've got to tell you. This one PMP for the whole day, right? One PMP for the whole day. Second, I haven't even told you about today's twelve days of Christmas, have I? All you have to do is say you bought half a meter of the. Look at this, right? Somebody will win half a meter of every core color fabric right so 50 am i getting another talk back 50 50 50 core fabrics you will get half a meter of each all you have to do is buy one thing you only have to buy one thing also remember 12 days of christmas now while i've been aware of you've been doing this because if you haven't then you're stuffed basically if you shop for six of the 12 days of christmas Right, six of the 12 days of Christmas. I'm just going to change my talk back. Thank you very much. Tap. If you buy for six of the first 12 days of the 12 days of Christmas, it doesn't have to be in any order. Uh, anyway, you will get free, free PMP for the whole of January. If you buy for six days. Now, if you, what day are we on now? Nine. So there's only nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've only got four days left. So if you've not already bought, how many do you have to do it for? Six. Yeah. So if you've not already bought twice in this first, then there's no, you've missed out on that. What? I've got, well, I was at jewelry maker the other day, right? And I caught my finger on the side desk because they've moved. So we were just in an empty, freezing cold studio. Ripped my nail off. Ripped half my nail off. Anyway, I need to keep going through for this. 300 units have now gone. Let me do some mysteries while you check out. So, Kate says good morning. Dee says good morning. Julie says good morning. Waiting all week for you. Um, uh, Cousin Susan says good morning. Uh, Jan says good morning. Patricia says good morning from Blackpool. Love you. Another Patricia says lovely to see you. Shelley says good morning. Pauline says good morning. June says morning. Handsome. Love your sticky. Oh, yes, I know. I don't know what's going on with my hair this morning. I do apologise. Pam Minnie Honey says good morning. John Viv says morning. John. You wear that shirt, oh, hang on. When you wear that shirt, do people say you're taking liberties? First day, liberty, it's first day, liberty. Uh, Margaret says, hi, love your cute pic on Facebook. Great to see you back, Chuck, says Margaret. Thank you. Right, keep going through, keep going through. Got loads to do. 350 units have now gone. It's only, what, six minutes past. Keep going through. What I might do is I might keep it ready for the rest of the day because I've got so much to do today. So much to do. Right. Oh, it's so hot in here. Right. Shall we do today's menu? Here you go. 
Coming up today, Liberty, brand new. We're the first people to have it, we think. We cannot find it anywhere else at all. Even if you go to the Liberty website, you can't find this. It's the Liberty Artists Home. I thought it was artists. I thought it was plural. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Artists Home Collection Fabric Launch. We've got it here. It's not on pre-order. It's not, oh, you can pay for it now and get it later. We have got it here. It is in our warehouse, ready to go. And I need to tell you already, it's on pre-order and they're already selling. Right, next. Uh, Sussex Seamstress Dresses with Rebecca Harrison at nine o'clock. Right, what it is, is we've got a special deal on the Sussex Seamstress Dresses and we're going to be doing kind of, um, oh, it's not that one. Oh, it's the one. Oh, oh anyway. A Sussex Seamstress Dresses, we've got a deal on the patterns, right? Then at 10 o'clock, Sewing Room Tools and Mask Making with Neil, dot, dot, dot. Well, we don't know what time it's going to arrive. We haven't prepped. I, I came in and said, what's this sewing machine on the table? Cat went, oh, it's for you to thread up. And I went, I haven't got time in the morning to be threading up sewing machines. Where's the floor manager? Why isn't management here? It's threading up my machine for me. Anyway, moving on. I'm not angry. Then at 11 o'clock, Liberty Ladies, Alexa Frill Dress. Right, OK. So it's from Liberty and it's called, no, no, don't come back to me. I want to read it. The, the brand is Liberty Ladies, and we questioned it because it looked like it should be I-E-S, not Y apostrophe. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's a Lexa Frill dress, which is this one here. Oh, sorry, madam. Oh, well, uh, anyway, we're moving on. And then at Gary's in, Gary's in at 12. It's not sewing machines. It's one machine. One machine. Oh, it's an ultimate machine. And, 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 he's only gone and put like 300 and something pounds worth of gifts to go with it. Oh no, it's a, one of the best days to buy it today. One of the best days. He's only here for an hour as well this time. He's normally here for two hours, so we're going to have to cram a lot into that hour. Uh, so that's today's show. Now there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Uh, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second is by Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Claire says, good morning, loving the shirt. Uh, Margaret says, Lo uh, oh, I've, I've done that one. Uh, Sue says, good morning, John and team. Hope you had a lovely week off. And Anne says, morning, just what I need. John and Liberty, yum, yum. Third way is go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Oh, it's not going to change the colour. Uh, oh, we haven't got sewing room tools now. I don't know. Who's put that there? It's not sewing room tools, it's a Liberty launch, for goodness sake. Anyway, click on it. Uh, you'll see me up there, and then you'll see the box on the right-hand side there. You can send a message there, the ones that come up in the white box on the screen whilst I'm chatting. Now, if you scroll down the page, uh, there's the early bird. Right, now, everything is on pre-order at the moment. Ignore, well, that's all the Liberty fabric. I'll explain everything to you in a minute, because we've got so many different bundles. We've got so many, and you can also buy it by the half metre, but... The bundles are fantastic, right? Oh, it's beautiful. It's so... Can you guess which one the Sally Ann is yet? Keep going, keep going. Look at them. Keep going, keep going. There it is. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I can't see. It's too small. And There's the bundles. They're amazing. Right, I'll take you through all the bundles in a minute. I'm not going to talk about it now. Keep going. There's the, the patterns for the next hour. Sussex Seamstress. There's fabric, zips, uh, thread. These are tools. Oh, there's the iron. Rebecca's going to be using the iron. Uh, then I've got a tool hour. Then we've got the mask panels somewhere. There they are, there they are, there they are, three different colourways. Then Rebecca's back doing the Liberty dresses. Then uh, Gary, there's Gary. Look, over £300 worth of presents that go with it. Obviously, you pay the full price for the machine, but we give you 300 and something. One what? Oh, one next. I think said one's gone because that was quick for somebody. No, one next. Right, 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 right. That's everything, isn't it? This, I'll calm down in a minute, I promise. This is the Liberty launch. I've got all these here to prove, to show to you. We've got everything ready to go. This is how it comes. When we say it's cut off the bolt, right? This is how it arrives in our warehouse. And then they, if you order three metres, they then roll off, cut three metres. If you order half metre, they cut up half metre. That's how it is in our warehouse at the moment. It's so brand new in, only one's out of its plastic bag. Look, all the rest are still in their plastic bags. It literally, it literally arrived in our warehouse yesterday. We knew it was coming. About what? Uh, half 11. I I'm sorry, the talkbacks are just not working today. About half 11 yesterday, right, it arrived. And it's here now, ready. 
I went to the Liberty website this morning, no sign of it. I went to the two other people who would normally have the fabric, I'm not going to say who, obviously, but competitors, they haven't got it either. They haven't got it either. So this could be your very, very first time of seeing this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm doing it a bit different to normal. I'm not going to go ooh, ah, ooh, ah at the beginning. I'm going to tell you exactly, romp through, because we've got about six different deals for you. So I'll romp through each of them. We'll put the graphics in. Um, I do need to tell you, right, and, and then I'll go through it slowly and, and we'll take our time over it. But I do need to tell you there is one huge mega bundle coming up later, right? But there are only three left already. There are only, in fact, no, I'm not going to do it first. I'm, I'm going to do it as we practice. So we have got three bundles, right, with 11 fabrics in each. So this is the first one, right? The, the, this is water, we've called this one. Watercolour. Watercolour is what we call this one. So you get half a metre of each of these fabrics. I will go through them in a second. I just want you to see what's available. Here's the still. 79.99 that is. You get 11 fabrics, which actually, if you divide 79.99, well, I'll let you do that in a minute. Right, so that's, the, that's watercolour. I also have 11 fabrics in, the re in this range, called, we've called it painted sculpture. Oh, this is Liberty Names. These are Liberty Names. Oh, that's, so Liberty put these bundles together, not us. Oh, anyway, that's interesting. Anyway, this is called Painted Sculpture. And there they all are there. I'll go through them. I just want you to know everything that's available in this ad because we've got deals coming up, right? Then we've got this one. This is so beautiful, this fabric, I can't tell you. Have you know, I've got a Liberty shirt on. Have you noticed? This, this is not from this range. This is an Alice Caroline uh, Liberty Lawn. But isn't it lovely? Rebecca made it for me. Rebecca, see you later. Right, so this one's called Painted Sunset, that one's called. So you get 11 fabrics for $79.99. Beautiful, aren't they? Here's the still. Okay, so if you just want 11 fabrics, half a metre of each, uh, waterfall, painted sculpture, or something sunset, painted something and painted sunset, that's, that, that's your three bundles there. Now, if you'd like the bundle of all three of these, so you get 33 fabrics, I can hardly breathe. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, she's, so, she's so excitable, Cat, about this, I can't tell you, right? So you get all 33 of those fabrics, right? All 33 of them, plus, no, but before I do that, before I do that, you get all 33 fabrics, right? But you only pay for 31 of them, so you get those two for free, right? But also, you get two Wiltshire Shadows to complement it thrown in as well. That's right, isn't it? I've got that right, haven't I? Yeah. So you get these two for free and those two for free. So you get 35 half, yeah, 35 half metres, but you're only paying for 31 of them. Do you get that? So you're saving. Well, I, can, I can't see the saving. So you're saving almost £30, look. Almost £30 you're saving. And you can get on split pay. And you can interest-free split pay. So you could, if you do the first split pay of 77 39 these will be sent out to you tomorrow. And then they'll be, what I'm trying to say is they'll be sent out on the first. You don't have to take split pay if you don't want to. And if you go split pay, you still get the freebies. It's not like, oh, you're split pay, you can't have the freebies. You still get the freebies, right? Well, no, I need to explain what these are. Or, or is, it, is that difficult for you? Oh, oh, okay, right. I will tell you in a second, right, in a minute, right? But I just need to do this first, very quickly. This is yet another bundle. This is yet, none of these fabrics appear in any of those three there, right? None of them appear in any of those three there. These are, they're the same, um, they, they, they call them bonus fabrics, but they're the same, they're the same prints as you get in some of those, but in different colours. So, if you, so that there on its own, there are 12 fabrics in there, and that is £84.99, right? There it is, there it is, there it is. Right, now, if you want, if you want, now, this is a considered purchase, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. If you want 
uh, waterfall, watercolour, if you want painted sculpture, if you want painted sunset, if you want bonus, if you want these two, then the whole bundle costs 314.58, but look what you get for free. You get these two for free, and you get three of those for free. So, so that you're getting all of that, one, two and a half meters of Liberty Fabric completely for free. Okay, right, there's one left, and there are 10 in baskets. Right, can we ring Haley? Can we ring Haley, see if we can get any more? Right, okay, there's only one left. And 10 people have got it in their baskets. 10 people have got that in their basket. There's only one left. So if you want that whole bundle for 300, so, so it's already cut. They're already cut. All of those are oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Right, I promise we'll get on the phone to Haley to see if we can get any more. So those nine people who've now missed, 12 people who've now missed out, we're going to see if we can get them to get any more for us. Right, oh, she must be in the shower, she's not answering. Oh, oh no, she won't be in the car. I was going to say in the car, she won't be on her way. <laughs> oh, school run? Is it early for the school run? Right, so let's start at the very beginning then. Let's, let's show you the slide about, there's a slide, isn't there, about all of this. Here you go, Let, let's, this explains it. This has come from Liberty. The latest quilting collection from Liberty Fabrics is inspired by the wonder and escapism of the artist's home. It is artist's look. Um, a reflection on ecle eclectism and colour, filled with vibrant details to spark inspiration. Our designers, that's Liberty's designers, drew influence from historic creative retreats, including, now you can Google these, Charleston Farmhouse, a romantic countryside escape famed for its hand-painted decorative interiors, as well as Yves Saint Laurent, idyllic Jardin Majorelle, in Marrakesh. Oh, it's gorgeous. You have to go and look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And Barbara Hepworth sculpture. Right, I need to tell you about Barbara Hepworth in a minute, right? And the gardens of the dramatic Cornish coast. Well, first of all, Emma's leaving to go and live. Oh, she, you're going to Devon, aren't you? It's next door to Cornwall, isn't it? So she'll be dramatic on the coast next week. You know, she's had a haircut from here to here. Looks fabulous, right? But Barbara Hepworth statue, that's the Yorkshire Sculpture Park where I went to college, Bretton Hall College. And little did we know at the time, I've got all these pictures of me and all my friends all swinging off Barbara Hepworth sculptures. And there was one, I used to live in a, in a hostel called Grasshopper. And outside there was a big pair of Barbara Hepworth glasses done in brass, whatever. There's pictures of me swinging on it like this and everything. Little did we know. Anyway, how fantastic. So that is the, that is the inspiration behind this range, right? Whew, I'm calming down now. I'm calming down. I've got, oh, I've got two more slides to show you. Here you go. Oh, and we cannot, restart, we cannot redo the Mega Bundle. So sorry, we can at those 12 people you missed out. But you can still buy the big bundles. You can still buy bundles. Right. Traditionally screen printed onto soft Lazenby cotton, the artist's home collection encompasses new painted artwork such as the sketchbook bloom, the summer sketch, you'll see all these, and the studio stripe. Complemented by designs revived from the Liberty archives and reimagined into exciting new colourways. So basically, there's new ones, sketchbook bloom, sketch what's up. Oh, hang on. Some old summer sketch and studio stripe. But then they've taken some old ones and recolored them in. So that's that, first of all. Third slide, last slide. The collection is available in three distinct color stories rich painterly oranges and pinks. That's the one we have called uh, Sunset. Sunset. Alongside cool watercolor jade greens and blues, bolstered by a third palette of softer tones that reflect sculptural materials such as wood, stone, and metal. Mix the color palettes with their opposing complementary hues, orange with the blue, pink with the green, for a bold approach, reflecting the creative spirit of the artist's home. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Right, there are all the slides done. I've got three fabrics here, I don't know where they've come from. And one, two, three, they must be off there, mustn't they? Yeah, right. So let's do this one first. So this one here is called water color, waterfall. Watercolour, watercolour, right. So in this, remember these are already cut. Now, oh, the other thing I forgot to say to you, the other thing I forgot to say to you, is can we just run one through by the half metre? Would that be possible? Just so you can see how much it is a half a metre. Right, so I've got PB, YV, 81. All of these are available by the half metre. We're supposed to be going through them, what, 7.49? 7 pounds and 49 pence, right, for a beautiful Lazenby cotton, 
Liberty print, the colours are extraordinary. So this is where, if you buy one of the bundles, they're already cut into half metre pieces. But if you're thinking, oh, I want a dress out of that one. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got to have a dress out of that one. You can buy every single one of these fabrics by the half metre on the website. I'm only running the first one through there. So this one is called, oh, this is the only way we're going to get to know the names as well, isn't it? Uh, Nikki Wildflower at seven pounds and 49 pence, right? So all of them are available by the half meter, exquisite quality of cotton, beautiful, beautiful print. So let's go through the first bundle then. Oh, I've got the names on the, on the um, right, let me just move those out of the way. Actually, let's do this. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Right, okay, are we ready? So this is the first bundle. You get half a metre, as you've just seen, of the Nikki Wildflower. You get half a metre of, let's just make sure they haven't cut the selvage, I can't read it. Spotty Dotty. Spotty Dotty. Now, we've got Spotty Dotty in other bundles in pink and in blue. They're, oh, the pink and the blue one are in the bonus bundle, right? So that's Scotty Dotty. <gasps> Look at this one. Now, this is like a modern take on the traditional Liberty Peacock print look. And it's got honesty in it as well. So this one is called Mary Catherine. Oh, that's obviously. Now, which designer do we think was Mary Catherine? Because each designer has been allowed to name their fabric. Sally Ann Harrison named her Sally Ann. Well, why not? So this one is called Ma Mary Catherine, that one. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got breaking news. Sorry. Yeah. I haven't got a bundle of 35. Oh, yes, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> right, okay, 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 right. 12 people missed out on the great big bundle, right? We, we cannot, we cannot re do that. We can't do it again. But what Haley says she will do, now what do they have to do? Check out the two different numbers. Right, okay, so Hayley says, right, let me just put this back here then, so let, just so you can do it. No, no, it's fine. I got a bit confusing now, but I don't think we realised just how popular it was going to be. Right, so if you buy this bundle with the two Wiltshire sh sh shadows, so what code's that one? So if you buy SE6607 and you buy the bonus one, right, which makes the mega bundle... We will honour the price of the mega bundle, the, the, you know, the, the, um, all the freebies and everything like that. But you, so, but you can't have split pay if you buy all of them together. If you buy both together, you can't have split pay. But we will match the price. So you'll get you two and a half metres for free. So you, what you need to do is check out on that, which is SE6607. And you need to check out on that, which is JU6624. And Haley will go in and manually make sure that you get the deal, but you can't have split pay. I'm sorry, because they can't put two together. I don't know why, because they're both on split pay, aren't they, anyway? But it doesn't matter. OK, you can't have split pay. You can't have split pay if you do that. So I just need to do that. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's get back to this first collection. Otherwise, we'll never get through all of these fabrics. So we've done Mary Catherine. We've done Spotty Dotty. What's she called? Spotty Dotty. And we've done Nikki Wildflower. This is lovely. Look at this one. I think we need to look, start looking forward to a new year. Uh, this one is called Sketchbook Bloom. There are so many messages coming in as well. Sorry, I haven't read them out. Margaret says, good morning, John. Want to have you back. Only for two days this week, yeah. Glenny says, good morning. Rowaline says, hello. Excited about the Liberty Fabrics. Gary's only brought one machine. Yeah, Claire, that's all we've got, just one big machine. Sally Ann says, oh, he looks, oh, yes, we'll get to Sally Ann's in a minute. Looks amazing. She hasn't seen it all yet. Uh, the Crazy Lorraine says, you look great in that shirt. Thank you. Liberty looks gorgeous. Take a deep breath and calm down. Oh, be quiet, Laurie. You don't want me to calm down. Right, OK, let's move on to the next one then. Hang on, let's put that there. Beautiful. Remember, all of them are by the half metre if you want to buy them on the website. Right, okay, then the next one. Now, the next one's got kind of a vintage feel to it. It's lovely. Hang on, let me just put that there. Look at this one. So this one is called uh, Malou Meadow, this one's called Malou Meadow. Lovely, isn't it? Malou Meadow, that one's called. 
79.99 for this bundle. Then we've also got, I love this next one. This could be my next shirt, I have to say. This one's called, I've got no name. I can't tell you the name of that one, I'm afraid. Annabelle Bailey, that one's called. I'm just seeing if I've got it in another colourway and I could check. But Annabelle Bailey, that one's called. Yeah, I've got it in different colour. There we go. Yep, Annabelle Bailey. Well done, Kat. I don't know which one I've just pulled that out of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's not. It's out of the bonus. Right. So that's that one. I love, 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 love. Can you imagine a dress made out of that? Or homewares or a quilt. It's up to you. 749 half metre as well, if you remember. But you have to go to the website to do those. Right, then there's this one here, which is called Juneberry, I'm thinking. Juneberry. It's pretty, isn't it? I love the juxtaposition of old and new and bright colours and subtle colours. Beautiful. Now, 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 now. I think this might be the one we're all waiting for. Oh, they've cut your name off. Is that definitely Sally Ann? We'll just double check. We think that one's Sally Ann. Sally Ann will be sitting at home now either shouting yes, yes, or no, no. Yes, this one's Sally Ann. This one's called Sally Ann. Beautiful, isn't it? So that one's named after our very own Sally Ann Harrison. Uh, they didn't ask me. Did they ask you, Kat? Oh, you've got one. <laughs> it's ever so funny. I was at, um, oh, I'll tell you later, actually. No, no, I was at, I was at Jewelry Maker and there's a lady called Kat there. And she was a lovely young thing, but she was on camera. And she did her hair. She was dancing. She was going like this. She was going like this. And we were like, oh, just keep still, girl. Beautiful. Then, now look at this one. Oh, you see, I can't really say any of them are blenders, really, can I? I don't know what that one's called, I'm afraid. But I can look at the pink version. It's called... Oh, no, because the pink one's got it cut off as well. You think it's called what, sorry? Y-O-L. Yolanda. Oh, I wonder which I wonder if that's a designer, a designer on that one. Oh, I've got it in yellow here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, this is, this is one's very traditional liberty, this one. Look, oh, like a field of flowers. This one's called Caroline Campbell. I think all the designers are just named those after their name, haven't they? <coughs> Caroline Campbell, this one is called. Sorry we're not reading out your messages, just a bit chaotic. Well, Kat, Kat's got so much to do, she can't read out your messages. Seventy-nine What's that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, okay. Then there's this one, which is called... No idea. They've cut all these other ones. Sussex Sprig, this one's called. I imagine that's the original name, Sussex Sprig, because it looks like a vintage one, that, doesn't it? So that one there is the whole of watercolour. Watercolour, that one is. Right. Leaven prints, 79.99. Now, just got to reiterate, at the beginning, I had a huge bundle, right, of everything, sold out. What Haley has said she will do is if you buy... These three bundles with your two free Wiltshire fabrics, which is that much, and you buy the bonus bundle, which is that one on the side there, you, she will make sure that you pay what everybody paid for the big bundle, which means you get two and a half metres for free, basically. Can't use split pay on that, I'm afraid, though. You can't use split pay on that one. Don't know why, but there's a rule that can't use split pen. Right, okay. Let's carry on now. So that was um, watercolour. Now let's do painted sculpture. Right, so this one here, you've already seen this one in the other colourway. Yeah, yeah, you saw it in the pink, uh, in the blue, didn't the aqua. Right, then this is a new one. I've not seen this one here. 
That's lovely, isn't it? That one's called Sketchbook Bloom. Oh, we have seen that one in a different colour. Oh, isn't that amazing? It was completely different. There we've got that one in the blue in this one. That's that lovely old-fashioned chalky blue. Oh, this works beautifully. Look at that one. In the little, I called that Daisy, but that was called Caroline Campbell. Then we've got Sally Ann in the blue. Then, this is nice, isn't it? This one, now, isn't it funny how just painting them a different colour? Annabelle Bailey looks so different, doesn't it? So that one's Annabelle Bailey there. This one here was the first one that we showed you in the other bundle. That one's called Nikki Wildflower. Then we've got this one here, which is lovely. This is like the old Liberty print, the traditional Liberty print, but with honesty. That one's called Mary Catherine. one's called Mary Catherine and then this one here that one was called oh yeah I can't remember what that one was called now Juneberry of course it was that was Juneberry then we've got this one again which is gorgeous like traditional Sussex I want to say Sussex sprig sprig and uh, one two three four it looks like there's more, but there's still 11 fabrics. Now, we've not seen this one, have we? This one's going pots. Painter's vase, this one's called. Look at that. How beautiful is that? So that one is called Painted Sculpture. This is the wood. This is wood and marble and metal. That's what it, this one's inspired by. Oh, let's have a look. Are they made of this bundle? Oh, yeah, look. Aren't they lovely? The cushion there, a quilt underneath. Beautiful. Right, let's move on now to the sunset. Every time I say that, I think of that horrible TV programme with all those women that sell in houses on Sunset Boulevard. I, I only watched three and had to give up, couldn't watch any more. Now, have people still got that one in their basket then? Right, people have still got the Mega Bundle in the basket. We cannot recreate the Mega Bundle, I'm afraid. But Haley has said if you buy all the fabrics, the, the, the three of those and the one of those, she will, she will um, match the price. You can't get it on split pay though. That's the only difference. Right, let's do this one then. So this one is Sunset. Painted. Oh, these colours are glorious, aren't they? No. Well, now, look, you see, these are all the recoloured ones, aren't they? Because you've got all the prints that we've seen already. There's Sally Ann. I'll do Sally Ann first. There's Sally Ann. We'll use her as the background on that one. Then we've got this one, which we've seen in aqua and lemon and blue. Oh, sorry, hang on. There you go. Then, look at this. This one looks so different in the reds and the oranges, doesn't it? Annabelle Bailey. Then we've got, I think that one's called Mary, isn't it? Or was that Catherine? Nikki Wildflower. Nikki Wildflower. I got that one completely wrong. Oh, I love this one. Look at the colours in this one. That's your Caroline Campbell. The thing is, I learn all these Liberty Prints. Oh, what? Have we seen this one? Oh, I love that one. Trailing marigolds. Now, we've not seen that yet this morning. So you get half a metre of your trailing marigolds. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love that one. Now, the next one, very vintage is the next one. This is like one of those traditional uh, Baroque drawings, isn't it? This one. Hang on, let's see what this one was. I've got... Um, no name for that one. Milou. Oh, so we have had that one already. How weird it looks completely different, doesn't it? Oh, yes, we had it in the blue and the yellow. <coughs> so has one become available? Okay. Then... There's this one. 
Look, that's lovely, isn't it? That's, oh, now, we've not had this one. Kelmskut Silhouette. We've not had that one so far, have we? Oh, but I have got this in the bonus. I've got this in charcoal and in bright cobalt blue. Oh, look at the next one. I'm, I'll have to stop saying oh now, won't I? Because look at this. This is the traditional Liberty Peacock Feather. This is the Mary Catherine one. Mixed with, lib uh, with the honesty. Gorgeous colours. Right. Beautiful. Sketchbook Bloom, this one's called. Has that come from Hayley? Okay. And then look at this, Artist Vase is this one. Yeah, but not the other one. Yeah. Kat's just tried to explain some things to me. Right, Kat's been doing a bit of hope math math mathematics in there. What she's saying is if they're not get, you're not getting split pay on all of them, it's putting you off a bit, you could still buy the three, the 33 fabric one, where you get your two for free, plus two for free, buy that and put that on split pay, right? And then, and then, Buy, if you want the bonus one, buy the bonus one separately. All it means is you don't get that other metre for free. You don't get two and a half metres. Oh, half metre. That was, that was two and a half and this is what, two. That was two and a half and this is two, isn't it? So you lose out on half a metre of fabric price-wise, that's all. Yeah, I'm not, um, that's fine. That's fine. It's getting too complicated. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Inspiration. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I think that's a pin cushion or a cushion cushion in the middle. I wonder if Susie's made those. Because the inspirational ones are usually made by Susie, aren't they? They are stunning, stunning, stunning. Right. Now, they've, they've called this the bonus bundle. You'll recognise some of these fabrics from there, but in different colourways. None, none of them are repeated, by the way. So you don't, if you buy all of it, you don't get two of one of, you don't get two of the yellow one or two, you get one of everything, one of absolutely everything, right? So this is what they call the bonus. So this is lovely, isn't it? That one there. So that one there is called your Annabelle Bailey. This one here is your Malou Meadow. Now, can we remember what this one was called in the... That's right, that's, the, that's um, the one Kat thinks that she's named, Juneberry. Now look, we've not had this one. This one's new and it's only in one, this, you only get this in one colourway. This must be one of the brand new ones, Studio Stripe. Studio Stripe, that's lovely, isn't it? Don't, oh, you see, look at these, look at these. Now you have seen these, I think this is Kelmscott, isn't it, this one? Yeah, Kelmscott Silhouette. You saw that in orange, you won the other bundles, but in this bundle, you get it in that beautiful cobalt. And look at this. You get in, I, I'm going to call it charcoal, but I'm sure it's not called charcoal. It's lovely, isn't it? Remember, these are all by the, uh, uh, you get half a metre of each of these, but if you want any of them by the half metre, they're all available on the website. Now, this is one we've not seen before. Isn't this lovely? This is called Meadow Daisy, this one's called. Meadow Daisy. Only comes in two colourways, this and the pink. You're going to see the pink one next. 
and they're only in the bonus. They're not in the um, any of the other bundles. So there's the pink one. The cat's favourite, that. Meadow Daisy, that one's called. Talian said it all looks amazing. It's the first time she's seen the whole collection together. We're the first people to have it, we believe. Right, now, wasn't this one Spotty Dotty? Isn't that lovely in the pink? I think people have arrived next to it, so they got very noisy. The reason this bundle is 84 99 is there are 12 in this bundle, remember, not um, 11 like the other bundles. Then we've got Spotty Dotty in the blue. See, that doesn't say Liberty to me. I mean, it's lovely, gorgeous, but it, you wouldn't look at that and go, oh, yeah, that's a Liberty print, would you? Beautiful. And then, what's this one then? It, oh, now is this the one I loved in the green earlier? And it looks completely different in the pale blue. Trailing Marigold in the blue. And we've also got Trailing Marigold in blue and yellow. Remember, this is the bonus bundle, this one. This is the, I'm going to go through everything that's available for you in a second, right? So there's your Trailing Marigold in the blue and yellow. What a glorious, glorious range. Now, we've looked everywhere this morning. We can't find any... Now, I'm not saying that someone else, some little shop somewhere hasn't got it, but the people who you... Well, it's not even on the Liberty website yet. That's how new it is here, right? Yeah, as I said, it got delivered yesterday, and it's here, it's here now, ready for you. It's in the warehouse. It's in the warehouse, ready to be cut and sent out to you. Right, so let's just go through... That there is your bonus bundle, very badly folded. There are 12 fabrics in there. None of them appear anywhere else. And you get all 12 of those for $84.99. That's what we call the bonus fabric bundle. Right, then we also had your sunset bundle. Most popular of the smaller bundles so far. These are the oranges and the reds. They're exquisite, aren't they? So you get 11 fabrics in there for your 79.99. That's the still of those. Then we had our, now, this one's waterfall, this one, I think, isn't it? Water, why do I keep wanting to call it waterfall? Yeah, watercolour, just watercolour on its own. Yeah, painted watercolour, painted watercolour. There's Sally Ann. There's um, Juniper Berry, June Berry. <gasps> that I just love, absolutely love. So this one here, this is this bundle of 11 fabrics. There's the still, because they're a bit messy, aren't they? Hang on, let me tidy that one up while you're looking at the still. So that one there is called Painted Watercolour. The thing is, some people, well, the reason we do this is, first of all, not everyone wants to spend £300 on a big bundle, but also you might want just one colourway. A splash of orange or the splash of blues and yellows. Then we've got this one, which is painted sculpture, which is reminiscent of, like, marble and metal and wood. and These are much softer, uh, I want to say tunes, that's the wrong, tones, 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 right? Yeah, they're sort of, you're more, not jumping in your face colours. The colour's still there, but in a more muted tone, isn't it? So that's 79 99 as well. So that's that. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, Lazen B cotton, beautiful quality cotton. Right, so they are all the individual bundles. Now, we have done a bundle where you can buy the sculpture, the sunset, and the watercolour. All together, so you get 33 fabrics, right? Plus two Wiltshire shadows completely for free. And two of these completely for free. So that comes to £232.19 or split pay 77.39, right? So you're saving, was that the 29 one there? 29.96, yeah, 30 pounds. You're saving almost 30 pounds by buying that bundle, right? Now, when we started the show this morning, 
we also had a mega bundle, which was everything, everything, right? Which included the bonus bundle, those three bundles, and those two freebies. And you got two and a half meters for free in total. That's sold out. That's completely sold out. But what Haley has said she will do is if you buy this bundle and this bundle, you still get, so do you still get the two and a half meters for free? Or do you just get two meters for free? You get two meters free, but Haley will uh, manually make it the same price as the mega bundle from earlier, right? £314.58. £314. Now, you cannot use split pay on that if you put the two in your basket. I don't know why it's some, not legal, but, you know, monetary thing that we don't understand. But we will honour, Hayley will honour the price of the big mega bundle earlier. What I would do, now, to, to be honest, right, this is what I would do, and Kat would do this as well, right? She put the bonus to one side, right? She would buy this. So you get the three different, you get the um, sculpture, the sunset, and the watercolour. Buy that, get it on split pay, because that's what's in at the moment, isn't it? That 232.19. Get it on split pay, get those two for free, get those two for free, and you've got that on split pay. So you're only paying £77.39 today, plus your P&P, right? Then, do that. Then buy this. You, which you wouldn't get split pay on anyway, I don't think, would you, on this one? You wouldn't have got split pay on this anyway. This is 80, 80, oh, there it is on there, 84.99. So today, all you'd pay today is your 84, well, 85 plus your 77. That's all you'd pay today. And then obviously next month you'd pay 77 and the month after you'd pay 77. And 317 pounds in total. Yeah, so the choice is yours. The choice is yours. The choice is absolutely yours. Okay, there are all the current options. Now, are there any, I'll look at messages now, are there any, you would like to say, or Kat can do some messages now, are there any that you'd like to see on their own? Because obviously they're all available, all on their own, uh, where you can buy them off the bolt, right? Uh, so I will start, but I won't get through them all in 10 minutes, will I? Which ones? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, okay. So, we're doing these because these are the best sellers on their own at the moment. Oh, is it in that bundle? Yeah, here you go. Oh, what? Oh, hang on. So, which one do we go to first, then? Which one? Was that this one? No, that's trailing marigold, isn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're throwing me now, Kat. Um, I can't find it. There it is. No, no. There it is. This one. Yes. There's only one metre of this left. After all that, there's only one metre of this left. 749, half metre. Beautiful. Brand spanking new. 749. Now, isn't most of our fabric 799 these days? Do you know what I mean? And with, with everything going on. Beautiful. By the half metre, there's only a metre of that one left. Right, Carol's message very quickly. Morning, morning, morning. So great to hear your cheerful voice this morning, John. You're such a tonic and cheer up my day. Carol, thank you so much. Gloria was telling me to be quiet earlier. Right, OK. So I'm doing that in all the colourways or just that one colourway? Do it in the other colourways now as well. Wandering sunset, here we go. There it is. Yeah, I've got it. There it is. There you go. Bright red, this one. With pink and orange. Red. Same print, just different colourway. By the half metre now. Annabelle Bailey. 749, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide machine, washable, quilting weight. Liberty, brand new, brand new. Try and find it anywhere else. Let me know if you can find it anywhere else, because we couldn't. Let us know, let us know, because we want to be honest and upfront about this, but we think we are the very first people to have this. It's not even on the Liberty website yet. Well, it wasn't when I looked at six o'clock this morning. That's that one. And then what colour's the other way? 
No. Oh, yes, there it is. This is it. Looks completely different. But this looks like, remember I told you, that it's so funny because we talked about Seven Brides, Seven Brothers last night because I saw Dulcie, my friend Dulcie. Um, and we're all of the girls' frocks in, in Seven Brides made out of Liberty Fabrics. And this looks like one of the, one of the girls' frocks. Beautiful. Well, it was going on. That I, we were doing it because it was going... It, they'd already done it at York Theatre all the year before, so I'd been to see it because my friend Tom was in it. And then I'd got the job at York Theatre and they redid it. But they knew it was going on an international tour at that point, so they were able to throw more money at it. Right, so now I need to go to the, this one, don't I? Because this one... There's only three metres of this one left. Now, if you look, look at it. It's the traditional... It's the traditional um, peacock feather, but they've drawn in like the, the honesty leaves. They're beautiful, aren't they? On, that's what honesty looks like. And you have it dried. I went back in the day when I was little, you used to have vases of it in your house. Look it up, it's beautiful. And it's a dried flower, and the leaves were like paper, like white tissue paper. It's beautiful. Seven pound forty nine for half a meter. Aren't they? Yes, the cat knows what it is now. She's just looked it up. Right, okay, so that's the blue one. Now we also have it in the kind of in the marbly tones from the sculpture range. Seven pound forty nine pence. Uh, the gnomes aren't today, they were yesterday, whoever asked that. The gnomes were yesterday. You can look on them on the website if there's any left. They had owls yesterday as well. I was watching when they did owls. And when owls and Wendy kept saying, and it's nose, it's nose. It's like, no, it's not a nose, it's a beak. Anyway, don't look at me. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And then it also comes in sunset. There's only three metres of it in the sunset. I can't find it in the sunset. Hang on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Hiding. This is Cat's favourite in the sunset. You see, I like the vibrant blue one best. There you go. There's it in the sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? Lots of people coming in and getting the odd half metres. I'd get anything you, could, you can. First peep with the first peep. Ooh. We're the first people to have this, as we, as, as long as we know, as far as we know, we're the first people to have this. Oh, the cat has spoken to the suppliers, and she said, every, he said to her that everybody else that's ordered it is getting it in their warehouse tomorrow or the next day. So, be one of the, be one of the first. It's there, ready to go. Seven pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. Beautiful, isn't it? Now you can buy seven pounds and 49 pence. Some shops, some shops sell it by the 10 centimetre, 20 centimetre, metre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, any more, I've, I've only got a couple of minutes left. I'll just see if I've got new quests to show any in particular. Oh, I'm sorry I haven't read any message out. Cats apologise. It's just been so hectic. We haven't got round to it. <laughs> Cats making names up now. Right, which one's that then? Yeah, this one you mean. Yeah, Manu Meadow. Do you want the number? Okay. There you go, isn't it lovely? Gorgeous traditional one that I can see why you're loving this one. No? Stay on that one, it's beautiful. I'll get the other two out for you in a second. Oh, say this again. 
Watercolour and Sunset are now neck and neck in the lead. Let me try and find the other ones of Malou Meadow for you. Uh, oh, it's not in that. It's not in on sculpture. Hang on, what am I looking for? There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. You see, now imagine a pair of pajamas out of this. I'm thinking Sunday morning pajamas. Beautiful. Seven pound forty nine for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. And then I've got it in another colourway, did you say? <laughs> Come on, John. Uh, I haven't got it in the book. Oh, there it is, hiding in the lemons. There you go. Malou Meadow Cat. First, this one in pyjamas now. Calm pyjamas, she says. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Did it not have two sprays in it? No. Okay. Sorry, I'm just cat confused. Jan, the reason my shirt goes so well is it's Liberty. It's Liberty print. I know Alice Caroline gave me the fabric and Rebecca's made it for me. Uh, Molly John, can you show the sketchbook? Would love a dress made in this one from Trisha in Warwickshire. Of course I can. Of course I can. Yeah, hang on. It's the big, this one, isn't it? Sketchbook. So this is sketchbook in the blue. Sketchbook bloom in the blue. It, this one comes from watercolour, this one. Gorgeous, isn't it? I'll go through, before I go, I will go through all the bundles again, for those of you who've missed it, right? Let's just do the sketchbook in the um, marble and, and artist palette one. Oh, that, why? What would you do with it? Children's bedroom. No, it's too sophisticated for a child's bedroom, that. Yeah. And then, my favourite in this, the brightly coloured one. Look at this. This is just joyous, isn't it, this one? That's the one. Which one are you going to get? Who was it? Trisha that messaged him. Which one are you going to get, Trisha? I'm just going to take some water. Don't look at me. Okay, now, I can't get through any more because the time's up now because um, we've run out of time. Rebecca's coming on next. So, let me just go through. Right, before I do anything about the Liberty, I know I shouldn't do this. Oh, we had a question, had a question. Uh, just tuned in. How could I miss this? Are the fabrics tarn or No! They are quilting weight. Who was the question from? Sorry. Collector in Essex, right? It's good that this is so behind, isn't it? Uh, no, they are quilting weight fabrics. I'll go through everything that's available now, but before I do that, I just need to give you a stock warning. <laughs> On the calico that I had as my early bird, right? What, normally it's 2 49 right? Not today, not today, not today. Now, I'd normally say the price will go back up at midnight. It will do, but we'll have sold out. How many are left? Okay, I've got 25 metres left because how much have we sold? Over 300 metres have gone already and I've only got 25 metres left. Buy that, buy that, buy that, right? I just had to, because normally I'd tell you about that later on, but that's going to have gone in Rebecca's hour. It's meant to be in the next hour with Rebecca. Right, so what we've got available for Tricia and everyone who's just joined us, brand new Liberty Collection, Artist's Home. It's beautiful. We think we are the first people to have it. We couldn't find it on the Liberty website. We went to several competitors' websites this morning. Not that I think they're competitors, but do you know what I mean? Um, we couldn't find it anywhere else. Now, you let me know if you can see anywhere. We think that everyone else is getting it delivered tomorrow or the next day, right? We've already got it in our warehouse ready to go. It's not pre-order. It's not buy it now. We'll send it out when it arrives. It is sitting, apart from these 10 bolts, right? 
It's sitting in our warehouse. And obviously after the show, these go straight back to the warehouse to be cut up. So the way the day started is I've got three bundles, right? The first bundle is called painted watercolor, right? Which are all the blues and lemons. You get half a meter each. Now, there's the slide. Now, all of these fabrics, well, I say all of them, few of them are selling out now, by the half meter, available by the half meter, but you need to go to, at the moment, they're on pre-order, are they still? They're in pre-order on the website. Right, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right, eleven fabrics. Gorgeous. So this one here is called Painted Watercolour. Ignore those. There's the still, there's the still, there's the still, right? They're called painted watercolour, half a metre of each one, 11 fabrics, 79 pounds and 99 pence. Well, yeah, actually just divide that by 11. That's all I'm saying. It's set, right, okay, it's 7.27, you're getting a saving. You're getting a saving for getting that. Right, okay, then, oh, now I'm jumping to sunset now. So this one is sunset, watercolour sunset. This, mm -hmm, I don't know if I'm allowed favourites, but I'm thinking this might be my favourite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You get eleven fabrics. Beautiful, ignore that. I'll show that even. I'll show you still. Aren't they lovely? They're the oranges and the pinks and the vibrant and the beautiful painted colours. Then we've got, look at this one, sculpture this one's called. This one's called sculpture. This one's named after all the marble and wood and metals and things like that, all the natural things. Painted sculpture. $79.99 will get you all of these fabric. Oh, you can look at the steel actually at the moment, right? $79.99 is all of those. Right. Now, we've got this deal where if you buy this bundle, this bundle, and this bundle together, so all 33 fabrics that we've shown you, Ignore those. All 33 fabrics. And we've thrown in two of them for free and these two Wiltshire Shadows for free. You can have that for £232.19 or by its split pay, 77 39 three times. They're already cut into half metre pieces, remember? They're not off the bolt. Well, they cut them off the bolt, but they cut them as half metre pieces, right? So that's all of those for uh, £232.19, or split pay 77 39 three times. No interest charge whatsoever, just the price cut in three ways. Right, so now I need to explain something. So this morning, we also had a mega bundle with all of that and the bonus and everything in it. That sold out. However, Haley has said, if you buy that and that, she'll honour the price. What Kat and I think you should do is buy this one. If you want to use split pay, because you can't use split pay on the, the new one, what we think you should do is buy this one, if you want the whole lot, obviously there's no pressure here. If you want the whole lot, you still get your two metres for free, but you can go buy that one there on split pay, right? Ignore that bit, ignore that for the time being, ignore that for the time being, right? So you buy that, you check out, you get it on split pay, right? Then you come back in and you buy the bonus bundle, which means you're still getting absolutely everything. You're still getting your two metres for free, but, but you don't get this one on split pay. You have to pay this one in one go. Because you couldn't have got, if, even if you'd done the deal that Haley had done, you couldn't have got split pay on it. This way, you can get split pay on the major part and then just pay for this one separately. So if you, bu if you buy that one that's disappeared, right, and you buy that one, you're only paying about £150 today, aren't you? Yeah, because you get the you can pay it or you can pay it all in one go if you want to. It's not a problem. It's not an issue. But if you want to use the split pay on the big one, so you pay seventy seven plus eighty four, so that's one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty two. Is it something like that? I can't remember now. Seventy, one hundred and fifty. It's about one hundred and six. One hundred sixty two thirty nine today, and then next month you pay an extra seventy seven, and the next month you pay seventy seven, and then it's a pay for. I know, isn't that brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. It's here waiting for you. We know that there were 12 of you at the beginning of the show who already had the big one in your basket when, we, when they'd sold out. There were 12 people missed out. So if you do want to take advantage of that, you can either do what we've just suggested and because you want to use split pay. Hi, it's 1P and P. Yeah, it's just 1P and P until after the whole day. Whether you buy, yeah, whether you buy 20 things, it's still only... So if you came in and bought the Calico at 8 o'clock, then you came in and bought that bundle, then you bought this bundle, it's still only 1P and P for the whole day. 
Calico sold out. Calico sold out. Several of these by the half meter have sold out. Now you'll need to just go and check on the pre-order. Well, well, the ones that we've shown, right? So about the six or eight that we've shown are on show deals. Can we just quickly do it? Can we just, would that be possible? Would that be possible? Then we could just show you so it's not confusing, right? So you go to uh, the, the um, website, click on watch a show live. Then underneath there are two columns, right? Oh, look, Calico sold out. Right, so if you now go down here, you'll see on today's show deals, these are all the ones that we've shown so far. So they're all the ones that have actually gone through there. And then there's, that's that big bundle sold out. Oh, there's the blue one sold out. Look, the blue one sold out now as well on the left-hand side. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, then you go back to the top, right? And then the ones that we haven't shown you yet are all on pre-orders. We will run them through in the break. So at some point today, they will all be on show deals. Be careful, though, because some of them are now very, very, very limited. Right, OK, we've got to go. Look at the time. Look at the time. Sorry, we were, I know we've gone into the dressmaking hour. Uh, Rebecca Harrison is up straight after the break. We are doing Sussex Seamstress. We'll see you in three. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, I'm Claire from Native Lighting. I set up Native Lighting 18 months ago when I realised there was a real lack of craft lights in the market that were high quality, affordable and modern. Not only do Native Lighting lamps give you the perfect lighting for your craft, but they also look amazing in your home as well. I started to train as a florist when I was much younger and it re made me realise how you need the light on all the different colours when you're trying to match the colours with the flowers. And that's what's really important with your crafting as well. I've been in the lighting industry for 10 years and worked in many different sectors, but my heart always lies with crafting. I think that also comes from my time of training as a florist when I just used to love working with all the flowers and the colours and how different they could look in different colours of light. My top advice would be, when you're thinking about buying a light, you need to think about where you're actually going to be doing your work. We've got lots of different types of lamps. We've got floor lamps, we've got magnifiers, we've got portable lamps, and we've got desk lamps. If you're sitting in a sofa or a chair, I'd suggest that you use one of our floor lamps. If you're working with intricate details, then have a look at one of our magnifiers. We've got three different types here. We've got our seven inch one, we've got our four and a half inch one, and then we've got a desk version here as well. All of those magnifiers have all three different color settings, including the really important daylight for your color matching, and they've all got brightness settings on them as well. If you work with a sewing machine, our Lumina lamps are absolutely amazing because you can bend and wrap them around the sewing machine, which is brilliant for when you're working on a sewing machine and you can get that light exactly where you need it. If you do Facebook Lives or you like to um, do video tutorials for people or you're doing teaching online, then our ring light is amazing for that because you can obviously use that, put your mobile phone in there and also that we've got a remote control which will operate that for you. You may have a cutting table or a wide area that you need to light up. Then I'd suggest you go with our, our task lamp here which gives you a really wide spread of light. If you're on the move, when you're working, then we've got a selection here of portable lamps. We've got our reverse lamp, our zigzag lamp, and our LED desk lamp. These are rechargeable, so it means that you can charge them up and then you can take them with you and you've still got light when you're on the move. 
like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. I haven't had time to go and have a comfort break or anything. You know what I mean? It goes so quickly, doesn't it? I have to clear the tables, wipe the tables. Get, can you tell I'm in a bad mood? Anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. Well, not really. Uh, Catherine's here. No. <laughs> Why have I done that again? Why have I done that again? <laughs> this woman who I haven't known for 30 years, I've just called her Catherine. That's Hello, right. Catherine. Hello. What should, I, what should I call you? <laughs> what have you like? What have you called me for the last 30 years? I do apologise. It's all right. I was having a rant, Cat wasn't I? That's Catherine, what it was. Catherine, that's a new Mate, one. No, I think you look like a Catherine. Oh, OK. I don't mind. It's Catherine's Rebecca, a lovely Rebecca name. Catherine. Have you got a middle name? No. Oh, there you go. Rebecca Catherine. That's a, yes. Oh, you've not got a middle name. That's unusual, isn't no, it? No, people of no. our age. Mother, father. Oh, did you want a middle it's name? It's a... Oh, it's, when I was growing up, it was because my, my sister's got a middle name, oh. and I hadn't had a middle name, and it was always. Oh, I've opened a can of the worms. Only now. one at school who didn't have, have a, middle a middle name, and yet uh, my middle name is Edward, and I hate it. I used to be embarrassed oh, when I people said that. I love that name. No, I love it now, yeah. but at the time I was like, oh, Edward, what's so best name? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Rebecca and I are now going to do a dressmaking thing. But before we start anything, I'm going to throw, go through everything that's for sale uh, because it's quite, not confusing, but there's lots going on. There's lots going on. So it's Sussex Seamstress, so we all know. Uh, Mark was in at the weekend doing the Sussex Seamstress top with me and did a little flounce and everything like that. So where shall we start then, Kat? The Horsham dress, which is this one here, right? So this is the pattern. Sussex seamstress pattern, £15.50. It goes from sizes 8 to 20. 8 to 20. Right, this is normally £15.50. We're doing a special deal today. Taking £3 off. £12.50 for the Sussex... We haven't told Jane. We haven't told her that's what we're doing. She'll be watching. She'll be watching. She's called Jane. She really is called Jane. With a Y. Right, so this is the Horsham dress. This is a really, really good dress if you're a beginner, isn't it, this one? Very. Yes, very good, very dress good dress if you're a, for a beginner. Also, make it in different fabrics. Once you've got the pattern, make it in different fabrics because you can make it in lovely cotton for the spring dress, like the Liberty that we just had. Make it in a, like a velour for Christmas or a denim because you could because the thing about this is with no sleeves or whether you put sleeves on or not you could wear something underneath it like in the winter yeah. make it with denim wear a lovely cashmere polo neck yeah, underneath it or lovely. something it's gonna look gorgeous isn't it but you can also dress it up because look uh, jane's made it in a lovely brocade like a lovely magenta brocade so it's lovely for an evening dress as well so anyway 12 pound 50 sizes 8 to 20. okay right oh how very dare you she says jane green who's watching. My middle name is Mary, and I've always hated it. Oh. Mary, I like Mary's name Mary. Mary's a lovely name. Yeah, I like Mary. See, if you don't, you could have been Catherine and Mary. Oh, I could have had, I could have had all, a whole string of them, could You I? should do it, you should add it now. It's yeah. not, never too late. No, that's true. Anyway, anyway, so that's the Horsham. That's, she's saying how they day you take the prices down. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right, next, Portsmouth. We can do it again, Jane. And wait, oh wait, oh I should have said don't, mm, I should have said don't check out yet, but don't check out yet because we've got another special deal coming after this. So it should be 15.50, pardon? Oh, okay, the computer's not letting Cat reduce the price, but we will be taking it down to £12.50. This one goes from a size eight to a size 30. Not on the graphics. But it goes to a size 30, this one. Okay. Then I've got, which one is the next one? Petworth. Petworth next. Which is the, is that the one on the stand behind me? Yep. This is the Petworth. 15.50. Not today. Now, isn't it funny that it lets you crash this one? Now, what size does this one go to and from? Because I've got no information on this one. £12.50. pence. Jane, Jane's watching. Jane, what size does this one go from and to? If in doubt, ask the designer. Yeah. Oh, now look, Fiona doesn't have a middle name either. 
Neither do her sisters. Oh. What my father said, why bother with an extra name when you're only one will be used? Oh, say. One of six siblings. I'm the only one without a middle name. You're not alone, says Jill. Oh, oh you've opened up open something now, today, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> I'm the same era and I've got no middle name, says Jan Hill. Jan, you're, you're about 100 years younger than us, aren't you? Anyway, right, so moving on. Oh, now they're the three dress patterns I've just shown you, right? Now, this is why I was saying don't check out, because if you want all three together, Jane said, oh no, she hasn't messaged yet. Right, so if you want all three of those together, right, we're going to crash, we're going to crash. So now, if, if you worked about £12.50, £12.50, £12.50, so that's 37 something, right? So you're already saving that, and then we're taking another 15% off to make it 31.87. Oh, the pet width goes from a size 8 to 22. Thank you. 8 to 22. Gorgeous. So you can have all three of those for 31 pounds. That makes them, what, 10, 10, 10, 10 pounds something each, doesn't it? Yeah. 10 makes 30, so then 3, 10 pounds 60. Yeah. If you bought all three, if you buy all three. Now, the thing is, you may be thinking, well, I don't want that one. I would never wear that one. Give it somebody as a Christmas present. Oh, I'm thinking. Right. So they're the patterns. I've got one other pattern here, which is the Salvington, which is now this is very limited. Very limited because Mark sold loads of these on, was it Saturday or Sunday he was in? The weekend. When he was in the weekend, he sold loads of these. So 15.50. Hmm? 15.50 is your price. This one's not, we're not doing that. We're not, that one's not going down. It's not just the dress show. That one's staying where it is. Okay, right. Let's have a look at some fabrics then. So now, as per usual, I've got my three lots of denim. I'll just show you them all together so you can see the difference in colour. So you've got dark, medium and light. They're the colours, obviously. Dark, medium. They're all the same weight, but they just got them in the dark the medium and the light. These are bundles of two and a half metres, dark first. This is lovely denim, it always sells incredibly well, even if you're not going to make any of these dresses. But first of all, look how wide it is. Two and a half metre bundle, beautiful denim. Now it normally says dark blue denim, two and a half metres, 22 pounds and 99 pence. Hang on, that's five. Um, okay. So two and a half metres is five units, isn't it? 459 and a half metre, that works out, huh? And the medium colour next. That's right. <laughs> you want to what? Yeah, we're exhausted after Liberty, so Rebecca will be taking over this hour. <laughs> there you go, 22.99. Medium blue denim, this one. My cousin is called Susan because my uncle liked it better than the name my aunt had chosen. He registered her name behind my aunt's back. Oh, you can't do no, that. No, that's shocking. Shocking. <laughs> Here we go. Liam, who's um, Kat's boyfriend, long-lived boyfriend, 10 years, his mum wanted to call him Joe, not Liam. So she's always called him Joe, even though he's Chris and Liam. My mum and dad were going to call me Icarus, right up Icarus. until the up until the christening day. And my dad just went, oh, "I'm not having it," and put his foot down. Wow. Anyway, this is the light colour, light blue denim. The what? Icarus Scott. That's who I would have been. And you know who Icarus was, don't you? The man that tried to fly to the sun, and all his wax melted, and he fell to the earth. Yeah. Well, I'm a trier, aren't I? <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Still flying towards the sun. Right, now this is going to sell out, this one. There's only one bundle left. There's only... Oh, look how wide it is! There's only one bundle left. That's two and a half metres. 18.99. White floral, dark... Now, it says it's dark denim printed. It's a denim fabric, but it is much lighter weight. It's not like a pair of jeans. Anyway, it's gone. Congratulations. 
Right, now these two fabrics, completely different, completely, oh, you're not working these, right? These are a much, much lighter weight. Why? Okay, they've taken 10 pounds off the price and I don't know why. This is Sharing Vine Ocean Blue Chalice Lawn. Beautiful lawn. Oh, that's because it's four and a half meters. Oh, I know why, I know why, no, it's because it's narrower. It's not as wide as the denim. So they put four and a half meters in this bundle. You're saving 10 pounds, 61.91. Beautiful. Lovely print, do you want to hold that? Yeah, hang on, there you go. So that's that one. And then, now, I've, this fabric looks completely new to me. I've not seen this one before. Now, this is a really, really um, fine, incredibly fine fabric, this one. That's a shame. How much should I get in this bundle, then? Again, this is four and a half metres. At 52 dollars they're taking £10 off. It's a chalice lawn. But can you just... Oh, it's viscose. I was going to say it's not cotton. It's viscose, this one. Now, I'm not sure I would make the Portsmouth or the um, Corsham out of this because it's too dra too drapey, drapey isn't it? Yeah. It's very, very drapey. You're fine making the Petworth out of it, but I wouldn't make one of the others out of it because it's very, very drapey. It doesn't have much structure. And there's nothing wrong with this fabric, but if you haven't sewn anything ever before, don't sew. Th this is not a particularly... It's, if you're used to sewing, you'll be absolutely fine. But it's not a stable fabric like a denim or a cotton. So if it's your first time of stick, oh look how beautifully it drapes though. Mm, it's <gasps> lovely, isn't it? It's got such a beautiful drape. But the, if it's just sewing for the first time, it's not the. E I don't want to say it's difficult, but if you've never done it before, you want a stable fabric. You don't want one that's going to be kind of a bit like liquid mercury. Do you know what I mean? I mean it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I forgot it was four and a half meters. <laughs> four and a half meters in that bundle. Right, got a question from Michelle. Hang on. Hi, John. You always bright my day. Oh, thank you ever so much. Can you please tell me, is two and a half metres enough for the pinafore dress in a size 24? Pinafore dress. That's the Portsmouth. Oh, have you, have I you haven't got, got no, I haven't. I'm going to have to open this. Have I got lots in stock? Bear with me, caller. Oh, I must say... Uh, Rebecca made this shirt for me. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely <laughs> stunning. It's brilliantly made. Thank you. Right. So the Portsmouth yardage. What size was it? 24. Uh, uh, which fabric did she say? Did she say which fabric? Right. Okay. If the fabric, like the denim, you need 2.2 metres, so you'd be fine. If the fabric is narrower, like this, but you're not going to use this, you need 2.6 metres. So if you're using a Liberty Lawn, you need to buy three metres. But if you're using the denim, you need to buy the two and a half metres. Anything that's a wider than your 44 inches, you just need 2.2 metres. And you'll have some left over. you have some left over. Thank you for your questions, by the way. Oh, yeah, and, you know my lovely aunt, how many are left? Because when, how many? Oh, now that can't be right. We'll double check that, we'll double check that. 299, Rebecca, you are using the big lovely steam iron, the one I told you that I always had used at Colchester Mercury Theatre, which is where that picture on Facebook I put on last night, that's where that picture was taken. <laughs> oh, I've cried when I saw that. If you've not seen it yet, right? I don't, what happened? Don't cry, it's What lovely. happened? Oh, John. <laughs> right, come on then. Rebecca, right. what are you going to be doing Hello. today? Okay, so I've got the Horsham uh, dress pattern. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you how to add length to it. Right. Um, and then how to put in a cap sleeve because that's the easiest. Okay, but the, of the, the, sleeves, the actual isn't it? dress doesn't come with the sleeve. No, pattern, it doesn't does come it? with a sleeve, okay. no. So Don't I'm look at me, I'm just folding the fabric. Show you how to put in the cap sleeve, uh, which is the easiest option. And then the other one I'm going to show you is to use the Salvington uh, top um, and use the top of that. So you change the neckline as well. Okay. Um, 
and um, and add the sleeve in from there. So you Brilliant. can you can use both of those uh, patterns as one right. really. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. Perfect. So what I've done first of all is so I've cut out my Horsham pattern. Yeah. And then I have added I've added eight inches onto the bottom oh. of it. Let me turn it that way. Um, because I think it finishes about knee length. Right. Uh, or just, just below the knee. So it's just if you, um, you know, if you wanted to add that little bit of extra length. So all you need to do is get your ruler or your set square uh -huh. and um, follow the line of your original pattern. Let me put that flat. So make sure that you put your ruler up against that line of that original pattern and then you just follow that down. Right. And the same goes, that's a straight line, so that's nice and straightforward. And then the same on the side, because this is flaring out slightly, because obviously it's... Um, it's only a gentle it's, flare, it's though, very, it? Yes, it's very, it's very, very, very slight. But if you put your ruler against the edge of your pattern and then you just trace that down, so you've got that nice so line. So you just add it on the bottom because some patterns, don't they, have a line where you cut it and yeah, it has and you to can and you that can way. add yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. So do that if you've got a pattern that does that. Then obviously do do that. And then, I mean, the beauty of that is you can lengthen it. You can even shorten it if mm. you want to. Just take it up. Um, but you can do uh, you know do whatever length you want to do. Um, it's very versatile. But people like, get frightened, don't they? Yes. Think, oh, how do I lengthen? How do I shorten it? On on the whole, most patterns will show you where to cut a light. What you do is you just do what what. Uh, Chris called you Rachel then. <laughs> oh no, I get Rachel a lot. Oh, do you? Yes. Sorry, I yeah. the I get Rachel morning. a lot. You can. Uh, what you do is if you have got a line where it cuts, you cut. Then you think I want it eight inches longer. You then just pull the the bottom bit of the pattern down by eight inches and just redraw the lines between the two. Or yeah. if there isn't, like you don't need it to be in the centre of the skirt on this one, you can literally add it to the bottom. All you've got to be careful of is if you're doing a skirt like that that's got a very, very angular thing, if you add it onto the bottom, it means your hem will be enormous. Huge. So it's better yeah. to cut it further up, pull it down, the hem stays the same size, but you just add the length and the fullness yes. up, up the top there. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. So, and also what I've done on uh, the front one as well is I've dropped the neckline slightly. Right. Um, so at the moment it looks like a boat, ne boat yeah. neckline. Yeah, so I, I do my, you know, I usually, I never, I don't, on um, Jane's patterns, because the, the paper's such good quality, yeah. I always cut out at the biggest size and then I um, cut in and then fold back so I'm not losing any yeah, of the... Cool. Um, any other sizes so that's all I've done I've, I've drawn a line in that I liked around the neck right um, and then I just cut into it and folded it back but it just means that you know if you want that original neckline it's still there you haven't, cut, there. You haven't cut it away the only thing I'd say about that as well is sometimes and this is a mistake I used to make your eye sometimes wants you to take it further down than it really yeah, needs keep to checking. go down and if you go too far down, then cut it out, and you realise the neckline is then too low, you're stumped, aren't you? Yeah. There's nothing you do yeah. about it. So either just make a calico front and hold it up and draw on the calico where you want the line to be, yes. then put it on your pattern, or um, just hold the pattern up to you and just see how low you want it to go because it's quite... Your, your brain can sometimes think, oh, I'll just take it down to there. But actually, in reality, when you make it, you've, take, you've cut it down to here. Yes. And you're like, oh, no, I didn't want it that low. Yeah. Or you haven't cut enough off. So, so just before you cut it out in the real fabric, just practice where yeah. you're going Yeah, pack. definitely. That's where calico comes in, isn't it? It's brilliant, calico. Because yeah. yes. so just try, yeah, try everything before you, um, before you do it, obviously, on your real fabric to make sure you're happy, completely happy with it. Um, so obviously, if you're going to drop... Um, your neckline you need to make um, a new facing as well mm -hmm. so that's just a case of now where's my oh there it is hugging the back so um, you just need to follow that line the new line that you've drawn yeah and I've done about two inches all the way round yeah um, and that's my new facing um, so you can just cut you just cut that out and follow what it says. So that this is your front and the patterns on the fold. So make sure that you put your facing on the fold. Yes. Um, and and then uh, the back I didn't change. So the back's exactly the same. But I just trace off because with this 
you've got um, the facings um, uh, cover the neck and then around the armholes. But if you're if you're going to put a sleeve in or something, then obviously you don't need that. Now, you just need when to. When you drew the new neckline in, did you bring it? Inwards or outwards, or did you start it where the original I left, one was? I left it. I left it where where it was. But again, you you can, but just be careful with that because if you don't, you don't want to bring it in too narrow because then it won't sit right. Yes. And yes. if you've lowered the neckline, you could have a gaping issue if you've you've got tiny tiny little shoulders and, yes, and yes. The, a lower neckline. So just yeah, just be careful um, how much you take I always away. Say, which is why I always say if you can make a twelve. Yeah. Because we we used to. All the time. Every, every single costume we would make, yeah. you would make it in calico first, no matter what it was, even if it was one that you made a hundred times before, yeah. everybody's body is different to things. So you would cut it out in calico, then you can see how it fits, you can see how it, um, it's going to sit on the shoulders, you can see how low it goes and everything like that. The reason I'm saying that is, you know, we'd sold out of the calico. Hey, 700 have gone, right? 700 have gone this this morning. Right, I've got more back in. Right, Haley's just come through and said we've got more, so we can. Oh wow! But 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 that's the price it's meant to be, right? We're honouring the price from eight o'clock from the early bird this morning. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be, because this is new stock now. This was this was stocked. This was saved for other shows, right? This was saved for other shows, right? So it would have been at two forty nine for half a meter because seven hundred have gone already. Now. I haven't got another 700 by any stretch of the imagination. So if you want it and you want it at that fantastic price, now's the time to come in and get it. I just think, when, we were, when I was at Wimbledon School of Art, literally the teacher would have a desk up here and there was a great big roll and then you'd come along and you'd slice pieces off and yeah. everything. Buy it in bulk, have it in, if you've got room, you can go into the, in the understairs cupboard or somewhere like that. If you've got room, buy as much of it as you can, basically. That's what... I, I think so, yeah. Because you're going to use it, especially on dressmaking, use it. But even if you're just making like, uh, you know, like a, a box or something to put your kindling in by the fire or something, Calico's brilliant as a lining yeah. fabric that you're not going to, you don't want to be using your best liberty to line something if you're not going to no. see it. This is, this is the most universal fabric, really, oh, isn't it's, it? It's yeah. Calico, it's your yeah. go-to fabric. But I love it because I used to work with a girl called Jilly and she'd make all her clothes out of it and she'd literally dye it every colour. You wash it well to get rid of any dressing, right? And she would dye it any colour and she would make pinafore dresses and all, all her work dresses were all made out of calico because it's a really, really good fabric. It's, it's hard, fabric, hard isn't it? wearing, yeah, isn't it? Hard you know, wearing yeah, as well. And dyes is. beautifully. Yes. Yeah, it does. Right. Uh, so 10% uh, has gone already of the new stuff already. So just be careful. Oh, right. OK. So, yeah. So that's that's what I've done to the, um, well, very little to the back, just added. And to the front, I've just lowered that, um, that neckline. Right. And then the other thing that I've done is added a cap sleeve. So, again, you know, we were talking about calico. So I've made it up in calico and put it on. Do you Can want I some bring mannequin? this forward? Oh, yeah. You're right. Let's make sure. So you can okay? take her clothes off. You can put it on over the top. I'll put, should I put it on over the top? No, no, you can take it off. Can I, can I, I just take, need to say something, though. When you buy a pattern that has no sleeves in it, the one thing you've got to check is the depth of the sleeve. Yes. Here because a lot of... Uh, I'm sorry if I'm jumping into no, your... No, no, no. You're here, but a lot of sleeveless dresses, the armholes are actually bigger than they would be if you're setting in a sleeve. This is fine. The Horsham is fine. You can set a sleeve into it because the, the the but a lot of sleeveless dresses they've cut it much lower here. And if you try and put a sleeve in it, you're going to get like this. You're not going to be able to lift your yes. lift your arms up, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's very true. Yes, we need to check that. So, oh, yeah, that's to cover up the make. I think. <laughs> uh, you don't have to do these hacks if you don't want to. You just make the no. dress as it is. These no. are just ideas that Re absolutely Rebecca's had. Yeah. No, absolutely. So let me just put a pin in the back of there. So I've I've um I've dropped the neckline on this as well. Mm -hmm. Let's put her in there. But um, I haven't put the facing on. But then th that's your little cap sleeve. So I, I mean I I think these are lovely. They mm -hmm. make a a, um, a really nice addition because it's not a full sleeve. Yeah. So you know if sometimes you know if people are a little bit scared of um, of put, putting in a full sleeve. It's just a, a cap sleeve is, is basically that. It's just it's just covering the 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 cap the the top of your yes. um, your arm. That's all it's doing really. Yeah. A and lot, it, because a lot of ladies feel if they wear a sleeveless dress, 
they feel kind of naked yeah. a little bit. Well, I feel they? like that. I don't I don't like to show the top tops of my arms, but I've got dresses that have got a cap sleeve on yeah. and I feel quite happy with that because it's just that it's just knowing that that little bit there it's is covered. covered. Also, it creates the illusion of this. So if you think if you just got a flat shoulder there, you're just going to get if you add a little bit sticking out like that, automatically it makes your waist look smaller, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah. it's flattering, but it's an illusion. It doesn't make your waist any smaller, ladies, I'm afraid. <laughs> but it's an illusion that will make you look, look like you're more it of a V shape. Makes you feel a bit more confident, yes, I exactly. think, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah, definitely. So the idea of a cap sleeve is that it starts the when so in the crease of your arm. Um, so it's it sort of it starts from there and then go obviously goes around the back and, and ends at the crease of your arm there because so that you've got movement you're not you're not restricted um, and then you just um, turn over and top stitch um, the underpiece um, so that it's all nice and neat. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's that lovely little. Julie says she's so, your hair today, Rebecca. Oh, thank you. It needs a cut, Julie. Oh, no, isn't it funny? Because it looks, I think it looks Def nicer longer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe I'll... I don't really know what to do with it, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Some days I feel like just going into the nearest salon and going, do you know what, do what you like? And then I think, uh, no, 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 don't no, do that. Don't do their that. idea of what you like might not don't be do what that, your don't idea do No, is. no, don't, don't do that, don't do that. So, let me show you how to do this cap sleeve so this is where your calico comes in <laughs> Karen said what's a waistline asking for a friend <laughs> <laughs> Tom, tell me yes about it. yes well right so sorry what we don't want to don't talk about waistlines do yeah. we so I'm just going to show you how to do this this um, cap sleeve right, okay, so if you measure yourself so on your I'm obviously I'm using this Horsham uh, dress pattern yes so as long as you know that that um, that armhole fits you so you've obviously go to your size and it and it'll be fine so you need to get somebody if you need help so you need somebody to measure from sort of there around your arm to the to the um the crease in the back of your arm so that you know what that what that measurement is so um easiest way to do it is if you draw a straight line because that's going to be the bottom of your sleeve uh-huh now, I'm just trying to think, when we went, used to measure, there was one measurement we used to take where we put a ruler, like a yardstick, a uh, cat's favourite tool, under their arm and measure from yardstick to yardstick. What would that be for? Would that be the depth of your armhole? No. You used to do what? Right, okay. I know, the gus I know you gusset. You yeah, put no, no, but I just seem to remember, when, I haven't even got a yardstick here anymore, where's it gone? We, we, the actress would come and we'd do all the measurements and everything and then we'd put a ruler under her arm and right. we'd measure from there round to there. there. I don't know what that was for. I've never done that, I have to say. Yeah. No. I don't know. No. Oh. Oh, now that's no. thrown me. Yes, now, have a when think you now. When you on your own, how do you measure from the nape of your neck to the waist? It's a lovely programme. Thank you, Marion. Oh, now oh, that that's is, a good question. That is difficult. On your own, isn't it? You, yes. Are you talking about the back or the front? The well, back, I think presumably. it means the nape to back waist. Back, but, yeah. but what you can do is you can do your nape to front waist because you can, but you just have to, so basically. You have to add. Right, so your nape to back waist, normally, I won't do it because we're not allowed to go next to each other. You'd put the top of the tape measure on the nape of the neck. You'd go down to your natural waistline. Remember, yeah, not find waistline. your natural waistline by putting a piece of elastic around, not where you're wearing your jeans, because I'm on my top hip. These jeans yes. aren't on my waist yeah. at all. They're on my top hip. Right, but another measurement we take in dressmaking is you take the measurement from the nape of the neck like that. You take it over the bust and down to the waist that way. Now, obviously, that measurement is going to be different for your nape to back waist, but then what you can do is you can put your pattern pieces out, your front pattern piece, match up your shoulder seams and your back piece, and you can measure round from the nape, around the neck, and down the front. And that's a way of... If you, because obviously you can't do, no. the, on, the only way you could do it is if you've got your piece of elastic around your waist, put the, hold the tape measure there at your nape, and then you can feel the elastic here. You could just measure, make sure you stand up straight. You could just measure like that, and then you've got the hot, you can hold it and see that it's whatever yeah. measurement it is. That's yeah. the only other way I think you could no. do it. No, but the other way, because uh, some people find it hard to do that, don't they? Do so you? I do a bit now. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose so, the other way. What yeah. else would you say then? Yeah. No, no, that I was going to say, that yeah. That way, because yeah. then you haven't got to reach round, yeah. 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 There you go. I'm sure there is. I'm trying to think. 
I'm sure that I'm sure there's a like a difference in measurement from your nape at your front to the and I can't I'm oh, trying, yes, there is. I'm trying there to is, yes, think what is. it what it what it is. Because when you drop a basic block, the the back yeah. one you draw there and then the front one you draw three inches down or yeah. two two and three quarters yeah. inches. So down, it's, yeah, so it's yeah, so it's so if you could try that as well and then yeah. just try it on Where do you live? Who was it that sent in the message? Marion, Oxfordshire. Do you want me to pop round? Oxfordshire's oh. not that far from me. I'll pop round and measure if you like. <laughs> oh. Not in a funny way. They're all going, ooh, in the gallery in there. <laughs> Why not pin a tape measure to a T-shirt and feel and mark the back? Oh, so. You only have to be, you have to be careful with the T-shirt because it might stretch to it. So yeah, it might be a, might be a, bit be a stable as fabric. well, mightn't it? Yeah. Uh, Jane says, what a gorgeous hack, Rebecca. I love that cap sleeve on my dress. Oh. That's Jane Jane, designer Jane. Oh, thank you, Jane. Right, okay, so what we'll do. Right, so I'm I'm using my measurements. So so my from from the top of my shoulder um to where I want the sleeve to get to end on the front is um five and a quarter inches. So I'm just gonna put a little mark there. And then on the back was five and three quarters. Oh, so the front and the back are different. Then. Yes, yeah. Well, cause it, if because I I think it's quite nice because obviously the back is further round. You, I mean, you can have it exactly if that's what you want to do, but yeah. I want mine to sit where I want it to sit. Yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? You, so, it, you might as well have yeah. it exactly as you want it. Yeah, and then, and then the, the next thing to decide is to place your tape measure um, onto your shoulder, on the edge of your shoulder there, and just decide how far down you want to go. The thing with a cap sleeve is... You don't want to take it too far down because you don't want to restrict your your movement. The whole mm. the whole idea of it is is that it just hugs the top of that of your arm. So don't take it too far down. So I'm going to probably take mine about three and a half. So I'm going to I'm going to so I've drawn a little line there. So this is my this is my front, and this is my back, and I'm going to draw a line up three and a half. That's two and a half. Yeah. Three and a half yeah. even. This is a tape measure. Come on, Rebecca, <laughs> for goodness sake. Three and a half inches up there. And then if you've got, you've, no, you've got, you do, you do, you we do these, normally don't have, you? I think they're out of stock at the moment, aren't they, yeah. That wasn't very convincing. Mm. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I want a nice gentle curve. So I'm going to find a nice shape. Actually, actually, I know I shouldn't speak out of turn, but watching the... Do we know when that that thing that we were talking about earlier, that pro product... You know, the, what the, the... Yeah. We've got a new product coming. I'm not allowed to say too much about it. Adam's doing it, which will be perfect for this. Yeah. You know what I mean. I do. Yeah. I do know what you mean, yeah. Okay, so you've just used... So I've just used the edge of that. So it's a little bit pointed. So all I'm going to do is just... I, w I just want to soften that edge because you don't want to point on it. Right. So just make sure that you soften that edge and go in again with this and just get that, get a nice... It's called a French curve, curve this, if you're looking yeah. for it. Well, that's what we always knew it as. I don't know if that's what we call it on our website. Let's get a nice curve in there. There we go. But you just play around with it. because And the thing is, if you do it in calico, you, you, can, you can make as many as you want. Alter yeah. it, change it. Mm -hmm. um, then, but don't forget to um, add on your seam allowance because that there's no seam allowance on there. So write it on that you, you know, the, so you don't forget when you're cutting it out and you suddenly cut around it and think, ooh, yes. I didn't add any. So make sure that you put that you've got no seam allowance on there. Because the way um, we were trained, our patterns never had never. seam allowance on them, did no. they? So when I came to then do commercial ones, I was like, what do you mean the seam allowance already added? So when I draw up yeah. a pattern, I do what you do, and automatically add five-eighths of an inch or however much I'm going yeah. through to the pattern. It's not second yeah. inch, but yeah. if you're used to do commercial we, patterns, you'll be thinking, oh, I just sit so half an inch in. You don't at all. We usually write NSA, no seam allowance. Do you, do you used to do that? No. NSA? That's how I was taught. Oh, you write, okay. you write that on. Yeah. It's no no seam allowance. It's because I suppose so I never you know. wrote it on because no so pattern know. I ever drew had seam allowance on yeah. it. Yeah. We were just always taught to make sure that you've. Yeah, in you case. Did go to London School of Fashion. Where was it you went? Well, College of Fashion. What was it? Where was college? You went London to? College of Fashion. London College of Fashion. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so. If somebody comes along and picks up 
your pattern and they don't know it mm -hmm. and then if they you know they'll know what nsa means they'll Very be able to go true. right okay it's got no seam allowance on it i need i need to make sure because that i put that we on were, we were always taught you should uh if you were to not be able to come in tomorrow that somebody else could just walk in and carry on with your work yeah don't leave things like so yes you should do that you should do something like that because i never used to but yeah. so if i kind of walked down a huff and walked off and you'd come in you wouldn't know if i'd got seam no 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 and, and at angels the th the thing that you were working on you know today you'd go in the workroom tomorrow and they'd say oh, actually i don't don't carry on with that i'm going to give it to so and so i want you to yeah, start yeah. this one so you've you've mm. constantly changing a angels is a big costume hire company and making company in london which is where Rebecca used to work and I used to be a customer of and that which is how we first yes. met you see so I'd been there as a costume supervisor and you'd be in the work I'd be in the work crew working yeah. you'd come in and say hello to us wouldn't yes. you come in and have swan a chat swan in and swan out <laughs> and, and I never used to call her what did I just call you Catherine, Catherine. <laughs> I never used to call her Catherine in those days <laughs> <laughs> no I think I think you only ever called me Rebecca back then yeah I don't know. Anyway, Who so knows? so that's that's your little cap sleeve. So uh -huh. that's that's um, that's a, a nice little way of do it, of doing it. So what you do is you, um, I've got one slightly made up in calico here. So um, add your seam allowance um, to your hem. Turn your hem up before you put it into your sleeve head. So you've got that. You've got that. Uh, your hem turned up. Attach like that. Or, uh, let me put it on this side because that side's not got any in. So you're attaching your sleeve, going round. And then this, this part here will be left. So overlock that or do or use an edging stitch or something so that you're um, you know it's not a raw edge. And then um, you can just turn that in. So usually on, on Jane's patterns, there's a centimetre seam allowance, which is actually perfect because you don't want to be turning that in anymore because then it just sits nicely. So you can just turn that edge and top stitch it. Whoops. Like, like I've done this one. So I've just gone from where, where my sleeve has joined there. I've just taken my top stitch and just top stitched it all the way around uh -huh. to meet the other end. And then it's just, it's just nice and neat then. Perfect. OK, right. So then the other thing. So I was having a look because I because I, I, I do a lot of Jane's patterns, which you, everyone knows that I love them. So I was having a look what I what I got and seeing whether I could use one with the other. So um, I had also had the Salvington top. Yeah. Um, and I thought, can we use that sleeve? in the Horsham dress. Right. So you can. Okay, so I'm gonna, perfect. So had a, go, had a go at it and it and it works beautifully. Yeah, so what you do have to be careful of is if you go with different designers or they've designed a different look, like I'm sure the sleeve from the Petworth wouldn't actually fit into this because it's a it's a much fuller yes. headed sleeve yeah. sort of thing. So you do need to check that the sleeve, the armhole on that one is the same as the armhole yeah. on that one. Well, it, it's, it, it is slightly different. Oh, okay. It is slightly different, mm. but um, it's, sli it's slightly uh, wider just under the arms. Right. But, but it's still, you know, you can still do it. Yeah. Um, so I've got my Horsham dress pattern there. And then what I've done is I grab the Salvington one. That's the back. I don't want that one. I want the front. OK, I just need to tell you, there's only t 10 metres of the hundreds of metres of calico we had in. There's only 10 metres left. Oh, so that's crikey, a thousand, that's gone. That'd be a thousand units gone. That's gone quick, left. hasn't it? Oh, Mestre Collection Mode set. Love it when the two of you are on. Lots of experience and tips to pass on. The shirt Rebecca made is fabulous, and so are you. Thank you, Kate. Oh, thank it's beautiful, you. though, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's funny we haven't had. We normally get a message when I wear. So I'm just scratching myself while I'm talking to you. Uh, <laughs> and we normally when I wear a red shirt, somebody messaging going, "Oh, you shouldn't wear red with your complexion." They're obviously not watching this morning. Whoa. It's gorgeous. It? So the fabrics from it's Liberty Fabric from Alice Caroline. Now this is a lawn. This isn't the quilting weight. This is a lawn weight. Um, and then uh, Rebecca's made it for me. And it's beautifully it's made, I have to say. lovely on you. Thank you. There's nothing wrong with red next to your complexion. Well, no, I've got lots Can of makeup on that. Let's get rid of the red. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Shush, shush, John. Right, okay. right. So what I've done is I've laid the uh, Salvington over the top 
of the Horsham. So right. as you can see, if you can pick that up. So the, the, the shoulder, a bit closer, the shoulder yeah, is, is um, slightly wider on the Salvington, but I'm going to keep the original, the Horsham. Right. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the width of that. So if you, if you put the Salvington top on the edge of your line, line it up with your shoulder uh -huh. and um, line it up with the edge of your um, sleeve your arm open it there mm -hmm. and then at, what you can see is that there's a little there's a little bit there from the Horsham that is um, but you, you can you can just you yes, can get rid of yeah. that I'll show you in a minute how you get rid of that so the the darts are virtually in the same place to be honest with, uh -huh. with you so you don't have to mess with the darts so there's nothing tricky like that you don't have to do anything like that mm -hmm. at all um, and then what I did was I I, I if you've got a tracing wheel, that's the, this I is where this, this comes I in. Keep telling them. You need a tracing wheel and a bit of paper. So trace round, trace round your Horsham as far as can you can see. I've drawn a line across there. Yep. Can you see that pencil mark yep. there? Yeah. Okay. So I've drawn a line just underneath the dot because I don't, I don't want to be messing with the dot. I don't want to be moving it or anything like that. So I just want to. So and then, so draw round there, or trace it, and then. Place the Silvington on top and draw around there again, just under the dart and go across. And then you can you can reshape. So let me show you with this bit. So I've done this is my pattern piece. Right. So as you can see, it me it, it's the same armhole till it till it gets to a certain point, and then there's this bit, this bit that's um that's a, bit high, that's a bit higher, which is on the Horsham. Yeah. So I followed uh, the Salvington top, which is slightly lower, comes out about an inch. But if you, if you see here, look, at the dart, it comes back in beautifully and meets oh, this right. pattern yeah, yeah, yeah. here, yeah. That, which is why I, why I chose that one, because it's not, it's not much of an alteration. It's quite simple to do. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I, I did my new my new um, neckline on this one, and then exactly the same with the back. So that's the Horsham uh, dress there, and this is this is my most of it's the Salvington on the top. Again, you've got that little kick up there. Mm -hmm. So th this armhole is slightly lower than the Horsham, yeah. um, but only only very slightly. So that's all you need to do is just, and then you can just add this to your pattern, pin it into place, and use the rest of the Horsham pattern for the, for the rest of the dress. So it's just that tiny, that tiny bit there at the top that just needs that slight alteration okay. for you to be able to get the, the Salvington sleeve in. So, so this is, let me get rid of this one. So I've put a facing on, um, on this, see, this as well. This is where the calico comes. Oh, you can do it's all amazing. Of this with the calico yeah. to test it, to make sure it's going to fit, to make sure that it sits properly for yeah. you. Yeah. So, as you can see, so this is so as I said under this under the so everything from sort of there to this dart is mostly the Salvington uh -huh. but from here downwards I haven't done any alteration to down here so this this is your Horsham, Horsham. dress down here yeah. so it'll be the same as the dress from there down right. it's just it's just from there up yeah. that that is slightly different but it just means that you if you want a fuller sleeve if you want a sleeve that's going all the way round and um, a bit longer you can do that as well and but you obviously you can also uh, do a longer sleeve. I was going to say, what happens if you want to as well? That, yeah. So you can do a longer sleeve. So I don't want. I mean, I can get. I can get very technical if you want me to. Well, you've only got a few minutes. To oh, get okay. So. so okay. Well, we haven't got time. We haven't yeah. got time to talk but about we'll do, drafting. We're going, do we're going to do more of these talk hack, hacks and and dressmaking. Uh, techniques as the, as the t as weeks go on. We are Rebecca's going to be doing more and more of these yeah. things, so don't yeah. worry about that. We'll so very quickly, yeah. this, so this is your Salvington sleeve pattern. What you've got to do is where's my ruler? There we go. So as you, as you can see, this is coming in. But you can't you can't lengthen that and come in because you, there'll be nothing oh, nothing for you to get your arm yeah. into. So what I would say is go from 
say say you you want a size 10 so go from there the edge of that size size 10 yeah and draw a line down now, now measure around um your elbow and around your wrist and measure do a measurement of on your shoulder to your bend of your oh, yes. elbow. Now, also, when you when you measure your arm or you're measuring a friend's arm, don't measure it like this. Yeah. You always measure a sleeve. Uh, I can't, you can't do this on your own unless no. you pin it to the top there. But you always measure a sleeve like with with your actor or your actress or the person you make for with their arms folded like that because if you yeah. measure like that you'll make the sleeve that length and as soon as they go like that the sleeve ends up there yeah. so you always measure with your arm yeah. curve. we call it elbow bent don't we, we do so you do a measurement from your shoulder to your elbow bent and then and then to you and then to your wrist mm -hmm. um and plot plot those across and then you can take your ruler at the size that you want it at the top and then connect Yes, those, if you those follow, marks. If you follow the line that was already on there, you, your sleeve's going to go like this. So well, you'd end get up thinner and thinner yeah. and thinner. It'll so you'd end, point in the end, wouldn't you'd it? end up like that because yeah. that's the sixteen. So you'd end, you'd end up with the. I mean, oh, it looks a bit know. like a leg of mutton. Well, this is completely yeah. different now. Yeah. A leg of mutton pattern sleeve. That yes, looks like, yes, it? it does. Yeah, yeah, completely. So yeah, so you just you just have to watch you just have to watch that. But again, this is where your calico comes in. Because you can... <laughs> the calico is now sold out. Oh, you can make the pattern and then obviously try it yeah, out exactly. in the calico. Uh, now, so. there's a question apparently Kat said. Oh, oh, so sorry, it's not for you, it's not okay. for you. What's the 12 day, what's the 12 day today? Just about to check out, not sure if you need a code. Norma, you don't need a code. Norma, I'm sorry I should have repeated it, I've been overexcitable today. We're doing the 12 days of Christmas. Today's is one of you will win... Now, it's not just half a metre of fabric. I read that this morning and was like, oh, that's a bit mean. It's half a metre of every Rose and Hubble core fabric we have. Look, look at that as a prize. You get wow. half a metre. of It's 50, isn't it? What's that brown one there? 50. That's a bit funny. There's a brown one just over the corner of that one, isn't it? Anyway, you get 50. So you get 25 metres of fabric, basically, which must be worth... I've just worked it out. £174 and some pennies. Anyway, that's what's normal. That's what today's is. So buy anything, your name will go into the hat. I'm not sure when we announce it. I think it might be tomorrow. I'm in tomorrow. £174.50 is what you get. It's worth. So one of you will win that. But no code. No wow. code needs. It'll be done automatically. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt there. No, um, that's oh, I was going to ask something else then. Um, 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 Back sleeves. Back sleeves. I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I thought you said there was a question about Salvington. That's why I threw that question in there. Right, right well, let's round up then. Should we round up? Have you got anything else you want to just comment on? No, 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 just... just um... Yeah, the state of the world, Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, we could talk about so much, John, but let's stick to the sewing. Yes. Um, no, I just have, I mean, have a go. I just, I just think, I think cap sleeves are so pleasing to look at. Yes. So just have a go and see. Start, maybe start with that if you're a little bit nervous about doing the other. Yeah. Start with that and then have a go at, at the other things. I also think psychologically, most ladies in all my, this is what they hate yes. most. And just by putting it on, because if you think, if you put a cap sleeve, that calico one, Went a bit Star Trekky, didn't it? But yes. if you use a soft fabric, it's going to actually cascade a little bit over your arm. Yes. It's not going to be sticking yeah. out like that. Yeah. It will cascade a little bit over your well, arm. You can you can put. Um, oh, here we go. You can put um, a little pleat in. Yeah. You can put a little box pleat. Sorry, I'm talking with a pin yeah, in my got mouth, pins which in is mouth. naughty. I'm very sorry. That's yeah. very naughty. I hope they're your own pins. They are, are my own yeah. pins. I don't. <laughs> I don't share. Oh. So yeah, you could put a little. Um, Oh, like yeah, you a, could do a little box, but you, you could, could do anything to and make then when give you get it a bit more, more fullness. More um, confident, you could make it bigger and gather it up so you've got a lovely little pie crust. Yeah, that'd be bit. lovely. Anyway, we've got to go. Yes. Uh, Rebecca is back in an hour. I don't know why I'm having trouble with your name today. <laughs> With the Liberty dresses, and uh, we're talking more hacks and things and, and everything in, uh, with the Liberty dresses in an hour's time. So let me just remind you what this hour was all about very quickly. Um, shall we do the sim single patterns first? I'll just do the bundle. Just do the bundle. Each of them are reduced today to £12.50 each, just for today. But if you want all three, reduce them even more by 15%. Th £31.87 makes them £10.60 each. Okay, and if you did that, then you've got that sleeve and you've got that dress, so you could do exactly 
Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So that's my bad. It's my bad. My bad. My bad. They're the three dresses you get, not the not the uh, Salvington. That was my bad. And the Salvington is fifteen fifty. Um, right, but you might already have that because Mark sold hundreds at the weekend, so you might already have that one. Oh, there's only three left now, in that anyway. Right, any fabrics you want me to just go over quickly? The denim. Again, we've got it in the three different colourways. The dark, the medium and the light. Dark first. Two and a half metres. Dark's always the most popular. 459 and a half metre it works out at. How does Rebecca do her facings on the Horsham? The, the Wasn't that the one we did? That, well, basically, it's, you, you have the facings are already in the pattern. Oh, oh how yeah, do you finish them off, do you mean? How do you finish off your facings? Oh, well, I always overlock yeah. um, around, the, around the edges so that, you can sit, uh, so that it doesn't fray or anything. But if you've got an, edge, uh, an edging on your machines or oh, anything bridge. like that, yeah. yes, yeah. anything like that, then um, use that. Just, just so it doesn't fray. Yes. And then understitch it as well. So that so it stays in. Yeah, so you're pulling all your seams over to the one side and then stitching. Yeah. It'll, it'll keep it all flat. Um, I do hope you and Rebecca are scheduled together for future shows as the experience and information you both have is brilliant. Thank you, Fiona. Oh, thank you. I taught her everything she knows. She did. <laughs> Likely. <laughs> right, here's the medium <laughs> coloured one. I'll just show it next to it because it looks dark on there. There's the dark. This is the medium. Okay, and then the light, two and a half metres of the light. Oh, now, isn't that funny? Emma likes the white one, a light one best. You see, that reminds me of the 1980s, mid-1980s, that, when I used to dress up as a... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I used to wear stonewashed jeans, a lumberjack shirt, a denim, double denim, right, with a fur collar, and I'd have my big boots on. And I'd be, I worked at Theatre Clue. I wasn't working on a building site or anything, but I looked like I was going off to a building site. $22.99. Yeah. And then, this is Sharon Vine. There's only three left. There's only three of these left. Saving £10. Now, you, the reason you've got four and a half metres is that's slightly narrower. That one's slightly narrower. So it's a bundle of four and a half metres, that one. And then last but not least, this one here which is a beautiful drapey fabric, but I'm not saying I wouldn't use it for the Portsmouth or the Salvington or the Horsham. I'd just use that one for the Petworth or any other drapey dress you've got, but it drapes beautifully. It's very Prada-esque, isn't it? Or oh, has anyone been to see House of Gucci yet? Oh, I'm desperate to go and see that. Oh, let's go and see it together, Kat. Yeah, we'll go together. Brilliant, brilliant. That's sorted. 52.91. Right, now don't go anywhere. Oh, <laughs> dreaded this <laughs> Right, in the next hour, I was told it was workroom tools. And then Haney messaged going, so do you want us to prep your, you sew, do you want us to prep your uh, mask? And I was like, what are you talking about? She'll you sew in on tomorrow's show. So is Neil, right? So ne what it is going to be, so it's going to be the whole hour. It's just going to be like 15, 20 minutes of the first hour, of the hour, right? It, we are doing workroom tools, but Neil is going to teach me how to make a face covering. Don't go anywhere. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. That shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family-run customer service team are on call 24 7. 
They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Now, I know it says sewing tools on your EPG. We will be doing sewing tools, but I've got a special guest in this morning. Say hello, special guest. Hello, special guest. <laughs> Are you going to make the dress behind him? Yeah. You're in that Liberty dress behind you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to knock this up today. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Margaret did message in saying, 
oh, what's, what's Neil making this time? And I said, mask. And she went, he needs to up his game and make pillowcases or something <laughs> pillow like case. that. Pillowcase. Yeah. I can do a pillowcase. That's easy, isn't it? It's just oh, okay. four, three, all right, three so lines, isn't it? I think she was meaning he wants, wants a liberty dress. Right. We're all going to have to wear face masks. It's, that's the, yep. the law. Where, wherever we go, we're going to have to face covering. So face coverings, right? We have got three exclusive designs for you. So Neil's going to teach me how to make a face mask today. Uh, but I'm going to show you what's for sale first. So I'm going to show you the one that Neil's got, first of all, which I think will be the most popular. Oh, and it's been the most popular on pre-order. So what you get in the bundle... <laughs> Can you hear him? It's, ma it's <laughs> magnetic. It's just pulled the... Yeah. So this is the panel. This is the panel you get. It's got seven masks on, right? The front and the back for each one. Because obviously you want the front and the back to be different colours. So you know you got it the right way round and everything. And you don't want to be wearing the dirty one against your face and everything. Yeah, so that one goes... You can mix them and match them as you want them. But Neil's done... Neil's got Neil's gonna be making this one here, the blue one and the and the dark. But it's all notions, look. So you've got buttons, you've got the all the notions on cream, you've got fancy buttons on blue, you've got ribbons and lace, and you've got bobbins, right? In the bundle, you get that. You get a meter of elastic, <coughs> which isn't enough to make all seven, but you'll make quite a few out of that. And now this, now I did learn all about this. This here. Is especially you can wash it at 60 degrees you can wash all actually what I would do is I'd wash the panel even though they've been pre shrink I'd pre shrunk I'd still wash the panel before I start right so you get a meter of this fabric right this has been specially developed so that the um, pores will allow air through but they don't allow germs you know what I mean it's kind of um, it's a specially specially developed one that the people who right the people who own the company of this also own another company to do with sewing and basically they brought their two skills together so that you can use this to line your mask with and it's like that fantastic now we're going to sew ours in aren't we but yeah. you can also if you make the square ones like i sometimes make you can make this so you can take this out but you don't need to because you can wash all of it at 60 degrees but if you want to just kind of take the filter out and put a new filter in and things like that you can do enough things so in your bundle you get the panel you get your elastic and you get your inner layer a meter, £12.99. Right, okay, let's just go back. Let's just go backwards, right? How much would we normally pay for a panel that big? £14.99? He's just looking at yeah, me. I'm yeah. asking you a question. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You're in charge. £14.99, <laughs> a panel like that normally. Yeah, probably more than that sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big but, panel. Oh, £19.99, right? For, and for also, which? also, can I just say, the quality of the cotton, I mean, it was always good, the cotton that we used, but the quality of these cottons are exquisite, absolutely exquisite. So you get the panel, you get a metre of this. Now I've got this for sale on its own in a minute, so you'll be able to see how much that is. And you get a metre of elastic for 12 99 Now, you know what happened last time we were all told to wear masks? Everyone sold out of elastic, didn't they? So get it while you've got it in your kit. Now, have we got this, we haven't got this on its own. Is it on the website? Don't think so. I think it's just in the kit today. Oh, it's just in the kit today. There you go. <coughs> right. So that's that bundle. That's your notions bundle, which you're going to see Neil working with in a second. I'll fold that up properly in a minute. Then the one that I'm doing is this one. Bright floral. Yeah, yeah, because I'm doing this one here. So in this one, you get your blue dotty fabric, your red floral, you get a little ditzy. Then you get your big, bright jade and then your floral there and your stripes there so again you get that you get the elastic and you get the uh lining as well the works out of one pound 85 a face mask 12 pounds and 99 pence for that bundle okay and then we've got one called blue floral i promise i'll tidy them up in a minute oh no i'm going to be sewing i won't be able to right so again you get your interlining you get your elastic and then this one, these are exclusive, exclusive sewing street. You can't get these anywhere else. So, oh wait, here you go then. So it's got the, it's got the same fabric that I've got on mine in different colorways. You've got your darker blue, big floral, your pale blue Liberty-esque fabric there. Oh, also, what Neil suggested, which we're not supposed to say, but you can trace around these as a pattern piece. And if you buy some of the Liberty fabric from earlier, Imagine how gorgeous the, because I I made my friend Francesca her mum's not too well and I made her some masks out of all Liberty prints and everything and the amount of people who've commented on it saying oh could you get me some of those could you get me some of those and I'm like no I'm not making them anyway 
Beautiful, aren't they? So again, twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. That is. So, right. What you will need is you will, that's why I was asking. Well, you will need a bit more elastic if you want to make all seven of them. And we don't think it's on the website, but wherever it is, get it now because you know what's going to happen when they make that official announcement. Because it doesn't have to go. Through, I'm not getting polit political, but it doesn't have to be voted in on Thursday and then it'll happen on Monday or something like that. I don't, know. I don't do politics I, either. No, I don't do politics. And I, I don't want to get political. We're not here for that sort of thing. But I'm just saying, you will, you, there will be more places. At the moment, they're saying, aren't they, if you're going to shops and restaurants, things like that, there will be more places that you're going to have to wear your face mask. Right. I've got this interlining by the half metre on its own. Now, it doesn't look very much, but it's it's you can feel it's got a lovely kind of mesh. You can... You can you're gonna, so it's two, right, okay, two ninety nine for half a metre. You get a metre of this in the bundle, that's six pounds. You get six pounds worth of this in your bundle. Something's not, somebody's not done their sums, have they? <laughs> Hayley set the kits up, so probably not. Oh, it's Hayley. Not. You Hayley's can thank Hayley again. for that. So you're getting six pounds. And there you go, 100% recycled poly fabric. But it's, it, it's created, that's it. The people who own Visalin also own this um, company that do medical, all medical things, and they've come together to create this for you. You can read all about it. Just, just kind of Google it. Right. So, Neil. Well, I'm feeling immense pressure today because Bex Reed's watching. So, and uh, did she teach you? She just messaged me this morning saying no mistakes. Right, okay. That's it, just that, just no mistakes. So I'm feeling the pressure to, to get this right. So okay. I've watched my old demo back this morning to remind <laughs> me how to make it. So, okay, so quarter of the stock of Neil's has already gone. I said that would be the most popular, didn't I? I got my little elves to, pre to prep for Hayley. us. Hayley. Yeah, so Hay the two Hayleys yeah. uh, both did the cutting out for us. So if you do a close-up, the cutting out is a little bit on the ropey side. Okay. Um, but, you know, what can Right, say? okay, I just need to say something. I have no power on my side. Uh, I think I'm going to win this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had power earlier. The, the, <laughs> the iron's working, but the... Um... Oh, yeah, I should unplug the iron. The iron's not essential. You'll live with it. No, now. I'm all right. You're I'm all right. right. I've got it sorted. Right, OK. So what do we need to do first? Cut out. So first thing you need to do is cut out. Now, the uh, filter, obviously, you've not got a pattern to cut the filter out. So what you'll need to do is when you've cut one of your pieces out, uh, put that on the big sheet of filter and draw around it to get your filter pieces. OK. So just put that over, draw around it. Um, and then that's how you cut your filter. Who cut the mine time. out? Um, I think Hayley Bryant cut yours out. OK, it's brilliant. And uh, Hayley Marsh, I cut mine out, it's yeah. a bit ropey. So first thing we need to do is get the, the outer pieces. Yeah. They're coming in to scowl at me for... Who, who's that? Who's anyway, that? Well, two outer pieces, <laughs> right? Yeah, put those together. Yeah. And you can, p well, you can pin them, but not yet. <laughs> then you need to put the filter on the outside of that. So you've got a four-piece sandwich with the filter on the outside and the two outer pieces on the inside. Oh, okay, right so both, both pieces of filter. So I've got four layers. I've got filter, yep. fabric, fabric, filter. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then you might want to pin it. I mean, I'm, I'm a pro, so I don't bother pinning, but, okay. you know, if you're new to this. <laughs> so you are pinning it, though. I'm pinning it, yeah. Okay. I'm only going to use one pin, though, just to okay. steady it. So we've got this little sandwich. So we've got the filter. The two outside pieces right side together and then filter. Yeah. And on this, we're just going to sew around the curve from top to bottom. That right the way? Yep. So just from What's the, the seam allowance? Quarter of an inch. Okay. Um, apparently, my quarter of an inch wasn't accurate last time. But the thing is, it's, well, it doesn't really matter. No, it's not the end of the world, no. is it? Now, have you got a quarter inch foot on? Because I haven't. I've no idea. Okay. I've got two foot pedals down here. <laughs> is this one mine? <laughs> That's yeah. just to confuse you. <laughs> yeah. So just sew around that curve. Yeah. As they put mine on slow mode. Oh, right. I've got the same issue with my machine that I had this morning. It's not, it's not sewing. Is that the bad workman blames their tools? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we did practice and we thought we'd fixed it, but now let me just try again. No, mine's not moving. <laughs> you, have, you round, have you gone round yours then? You, you, you're just, just doing that one, one, yeah, 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 one yeah. stitch I, for now. I need, I'll need a machine because it's not um, moving mine, I'm afraid. 
John's broke his machine. Yeah, and you I always say to the guest, don't I? You break it, you pay for it. I'm not sharing anything with Neil. Hang on, let me just have a, let me get to, you keep going, you keep talking about so, it and I'll catch up. Hayley threaded my machine and uh, she's put a different colour thread in the bobbin to the top. Right, I think I've done it. Okay. Right, go on, so what do you do after you've, after you've sewn the, the curve? So once you've sewn the curve together those pieces, you need to sew the inner together. Right. Right sides together again, so. So put those right sides together and then just pin them and then sew around the curve again. So we'll end up with the big sandwich and a smaller sandwich. Yeah, I'm, with, I'm almost there with you now. Right, so I'm curved, sewing around the curve, quarter of an inch in. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Right, okay, I've done that. Now what do I need to do now? Same again for the internal piece, so right sides together. Right. Internal piece, right side to go. Which doesn't really matter because mine are white on both sides, so I can put either of them. Yeah, yeah mine's uh, blue on one side and white on the okay. other. I'm about to sew over my pin, is that anything? <gasps> no. <laughs> Half the stock of Neil's has gone. It's the quality of the sewing, that you? Yeah, I've caught up with you now then. So. I slowed down so you could catch up with <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, backstitch, backstitch at the edges. I don't yeah. need to tell you that, but Bex needed to remind no, me. Yeah. Okay, done that, done that. Well, you've got scissors, haven't you? I've got scissors, just to get the loose threads off, you see. Okay. I'd like the way I've been given no tools whatsoever. <laughs> I had to give myself a strategic advantage, didn't I? Yeah. So well, I can see some scissors. Oh, there you go. I've got those, yeah. Right, go on, carry so, on. I mean, I, I, can, I can do it too, but you need, to, on the uh, sandwiches, you need to press the seams to one side. Now, when you, I, I hear when you're dressmaking, you'd, you'd, you know, spread them apart. Yeah, you don't press them open normally. But you yeah. don't press them open on this one because that would create a, a weak point for, um, you know, germs, germs to, get, to through. get through. So you're going to just press them to the side. Okay, uh, I got a pressing mat, please, anybody. Give <laughs> 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 me a dodgy oh. machine, no scissors. Here you go. Have you got one? Oh, thank you. You can have a second Brilliant. one, thank Fair. you. Right, you know, and we're just pressing them to one side. Press them to one side. Do we snip? Do we snip, or do we just literally? Um, you can do if it's if your seam allowance is too um, too much. You know, if okay. you if you if you left too much, then you might need to. Right, but then. it's quite awkward because it's round a corner. Yeah. But you just you know do your best just to press it to one side. Oh, look at your posh iron. I've done <laughs> yeah, that. Look. They are available. And we could do with the tailor's ham as well, couldn't we? Really. Yeah, I mean, I'm being, I'm cheating just in the top and bottom, top and bottom of mine because it just Why? helps when you sew. Well, the top and bottom just helps when you sew it together. You see. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, I just fall over when I come to get mine. <laughs> Where's he gone? It's very quiet in here, isn't it? It's because I'm thinking. I can't think and talk. <laughs> oh, look at what, you, what have you got there? We've got a Taylor's ham. Oh. Oh, been lots of messages on Facebook apparently. Uh, oh, all you're meant to tell you, someone's just said I've got a fat face, they're quite big. I'll tell you, because I have as well. I'll put one on when Neil finishes his. <laughs> oh, they fit Neil, apparently, so extra fat. Yeah, Hayley says. Okay, so you so press once that you, Once you press them, you need to put... I'm doing mine wrong. It's a good job I've talked that through. You need to put them... To, you need to spread them both out and put them both right side together. Yeah. So just uh, okay. get that curve nice. Then they need to go right side together. Oh, apparently you're doing yours wrong, Neil. Who said that? Hang on. Yeah. I was doing it wrong. Oh, Rebecca sews the outer and the filters separately from Fiona. Reed did. Rebecca Reed sewed them separately. Oh, she's going to be telling me off now if I've messed yes, it up. Yes, she will. Okay, so... I've so pressed them. What do I need to do now? You need to put the, all the sandwich right side together yeah. and then spread them out. Okay. No elastic yet then? No, no elastic yet. I'm questioning myself now. No, I'm right. 
I, th I, th I thought I was wrong once, but that's a mistake. Okay, now someone's messaged in saying, if someone's just tuned in now and don't know who we are, they'll thinking, well, oh, the stand of sewing on that channel is not very good. <laughs> what? Right, so we're putting right sides together. Right sides together. Uh -huh. So with the seams in the middle matching. Yeah. And get that those seams as close as you can. Yeah. And then like pin it together because we're going to sew all the way around the outside. Round all the edges? Not all the edges, we're going to leave a little gap to turn it. Oh my goodness, my ribs are killing, Mediterranean laughing. I don't quite know what that means. Watching the two ends of the sewing skill level is great TV. Thank you for the laugh from Karen. So I'm not quite sure, Karen, are you saying I'm top or he's bottom <laughs> in the sewing world? <laughs> right, okay, so what am I doing now then? Sorry, right, side, right sides together. Yeah. And then we're going to sew three edges and then leave a gap to turn it. Okay, was the gap in one of the straight edges? Along one of the along one of the shorter edges. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Gap around one of the shorter edges. So okay. all the way around. Ni nice, neat stitch. John. Yeah. Lovely. Cool suit seam allowance. Leave enough space to. to now turn it. at the edge that you turn through, are you sewing a little bit down so the corner's already sorted, or are you just going from the edge? Uh, well, I'm going to start and then go around the corner and just leave a smaller gap to okay. to go through because I didn't do that last time and I should have. Okay. Mm. Oh, and why doesn't give him the blunt pins or something? Are you alright? Yeah, I thought it was going to leave the needle down, but it didn't. Oh well. But you have to press the little uppy downy button. The uppy downy button. Yeah. Is that the technical term? Yeah. Right, okay. So we're going around all the edges now. Yeah. All the way around, apart from leaving that gap to turn it. Obviously, slow down when you get to the bit that where the seams are. You don't need to tell me, I don't need to obviously tell you that, but. So down what, when you get to the seams? Have you not nested yours then, like a quick, like a, when you're piecing? Well, it's just a bit thicker there, isn't it? You've got all the fabric bunched together. What are you muttering? I said it's just a bit thicker there, isn't it, with everything bunched together? Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't actually be bunched, but you should be all right. I think I should have put more pins in. I don't think I'm learning very much from this, but it's a good laugh. Who said that? <laughs> Helen. Why are you not learning anything, Helen? Neil's teaching us everything. Oh, I'm going to mess you on the bottom. I can't read and sew at the same time. Oh, boys, what a tonic you are on this wet, cold day from Neve in County Clare. Thank you, Neve. Now, at the corners, do I have to um, reverse and, and reinforce, or do you just go round and pivot? Um, I'll just go round and pivot. Okay. I mean, I, I didn't find the uppy downy button. My needle's Somebody still. Somebody what? It's not my iron. Is your no? The irons are all right. Haley's just said it smells like burning iron in the studio. Oh, that's just the speed I'm sewing at. But hardly. <laughs> <laughs> right here, so I've gone all right, all three edges. Oh, I've got, gone up a gear. You've gone up a gear. Yeah, just push push it to the rabbit. What's the matter, um, Cat? You see, it's not good with two people sewing because we're both concentrating. No one wants to talk. Okay, so I've done. I've done all three edges. So once you've done all three edges, you just need to turn it <clears throat> and pull it through, and use a turning tool to poke oh. the. Um, <laughs> oh, look! Here's a turning tool I've got. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do I not trim it down or anything? Then the corners well, down. It could do. Like it might help to just um, you know cut the edges of the corners off to help it. Yeah. If you cut them off at an uh, angle like that, it just helps when you turn it inside. Have we not put any it? elastic in yet? Though? Not yet. No. No. Okay. No. Oh no, I'm trusting. I'm trusting. Right, turn it. Uh, oh, message from Elizabeth. I am loving this. Just bought three panels and spare elastic and interlining. Neil should be on the NHS. He's cheered me up. Thank you from Elizabeth. Oh, take the pins out before. What, 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 what? It got feathered to me. This is Barry the Book Buyer, everybody. Don't go too close, don't go too close. Hello, everybody. Hang on, you're oh, in shock. You, Keep Barry. moving in. Keep moving in. There he is. This, there is, he is. this is Barry the Book Buyer. He buys books. That's all he does. <laughs> and did you match t shirts on purpose? Yeah. Yeah. What did he bring you? Oh, red thread. You see, there's this thing I've got that red's the fastest colour. Right. So I always buy red cars because. Buying they a red look, car, they go fast. So right, yeah. it, it adds at least five brake horsepower painting it red. Yeah. 
So when we started setting the machines up, I said, if we're not getting any red thread, and they were like, no, and I was like, well, I want red, because it's faster. Oh, honestly, so it's taken them this long to so find So it's taken this long thread. just to find me some red thread, yeah. So, amateurs. That's Barry's first time on telly. He vowed he'd never, ever go on telly as well. Everyone does, don't they, when they first start? Yeah. I remember Ian, saying... You can't get Ian off the blooming screen now, can uh -oh. you? Uh-oh. Right, okay, so I've turned it through. I haven't got a turning tool, so don't do what I'm doing at home. Do not use your scissors to turn through. I've got, um, I think it'll be fine on TV, but I've got a, a, a blooper reel. Why? What have you done? Well, I don't think I quite match my um, edges up. There's a oh, little, yeah, a little well, hole. you can look at mine, because I have. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll, I'm going to show you how to do a decorative stitch around the edge. Oh, okay. oh, are you? Okay. To fix it. <laughs> Okay, so you turn it through and you roll your seams. Yeah, and get your turning tool to poke all the edges out. Yeah. Obviously, be careful you don't poke a hole in it. Modern day, two day, two Ronnies. Jenny Jackson's watching everybody. Don't scratch your nose when you're, when you're stitching. She says what? She's just a bit of coffee out laughing. I think we're being very restrained. I know, yeah. Concentrating. Right, so what do I need to do now? Press it? Yeah, press it once you've got all the corners out. Or well, best you can. Mine's a bit. Leslie says, will you give Neil's away as a prize afterwards? You won't want mine as a prize, trust me. It's got holes in it. <laughs> yeah, we can't give them away as prizes anyway because of everything that's going on. It's not going to do much for the fight for Covid, this one isn't. It's going to be uh, consigned to the scrap box after, it I think. It could be framed up on the wall in the dressing room. Yeah. This the is Daniel tried to make a mask. Message from Sylvia across the bottom. This is the best TV ever. Can Neil come and help me make my face mask, please? Sylvia, do you really want him to? Where are you, Sylvia? Kent was a bit far away, I'm afraid. I'll go on a day trip. I thought you said you were going to go on a date. So, okay. yeah, mine has got a little hole in the top, which okay, I'm sure anyone nice. who can remotely so wouldn't do. Okay, so what do we do once we've pressed it together? So you don't have to do this, but what you can do is you can uh, just do a stitch all the way around the outside, which just finishes it nicely. Okay, how close? Um, oh. What, all the way round? Because we've still got an open end here. Yeah, the I'll open end's fine you, right? now. This leave. is mine pressed, right? Oh, have we got a, oh, we've got a millimetre away, I can't show you, can't show you. So it's all around the edge, so I'm now gonna do a edge stitch all the yeah. way round, am I? Okay. Do I make my stitch bigger slightly to do that? No, you could do it, you know, I mean, I've just left mine as it is because okay. I'm... Okay, and we're not doing decorative then, we're just doing a straight stitch? Just straight stitch for the ease of the demo, but you can do whatever stitch you want. Okay. Do you want to tie it? Tie Naughty it boys, not the two run, he's more like the Chuckle Brothers. To me, to you, brilliant show from Glynis. Thank you, Glynis, my love. When you get to the open end, you can just sew it shut now. But don't... What? When you get to the open end, just carry on and sew through it, but don't worry about making it neat. But you it's will... still open? Well, so it, you can leave it closed now. You don't need to access the interior anymore. You'll see You'll see in a minute why it doesn't okay, matter. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, so I'll have a look in a minute. Oops. Yeah, if you're at home watching this, don't watch this demo back. Isn't that we, what you just said, Kat? We'll have to scrub it from YouTube. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit obvious. Uh, 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 yeah, it's obvious what you have to do. Or watch the Rebecca Reed one. I was demoing that one too, so you know better off. Oh, but was Rebecca Reed not there telling you what to do? She was, yeah. See, she's a, bet she's a better friend than I am. I'm just letting him struggle. Message from Karen. Just using the steam on the iron on mask kills 99% germs. Thank you, Karen. <coughs> so mine will have no germs on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just a bit concerned when the elastic goes on. Yeah, the elastic's going on now, John. Okay, hang on, I'm still... Are you finished top stitching yours? Yeah, what, it's taking you so long? I'm doing it neatly, am I? Yeah, mine's neat. Slow and steady. Okay, so I've gone all the way around the top stitch. Now, I'm a bit confused about my open end. What do we say about the open end? Well, the Should open end... not have an open end anymore? <laughs> well, I think Bex, like, kind of tucked it in and didn't need to than me, but it's folding over anyway, so you're not going to see it. So you... Oh, so it doesn't go in on itself. I'm not folding it inside itself. I'm just leaving that still raw. You though. can do. I mean, Bex folded it in on, in on itself, but it's probably a bit much, to be fair. I've, what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to fold it over like that. Okay, and then again. And then I'm going to fold it over again, and then I'm going to sew it there. Then I'll okay. press it and then sew it, 
So fold these edges and then you've got a hole then to thread the elastic through. You got what? So, so I'm making a channel? Yeah, a channel. Right, oh, okay. But I haven't got a channel on the other side. Are you going to do it on the other side as well? Oh, I see both what you're sides. saying to me now. So yeah. make a channel on both sides now. Yeah. Got it. Then just going to sew across that. Next reads me messages and that's not what I told you to do. <laughs> See, is, she, is she messaging in you or me? Oh my word, I've just looked at my Facebook, there are so many messages. Hang on, I'll be with you in a second. Right, so, uh, you're definitely tops, John, as the Mary Berry of sewing, loving the technical terms. Tomorrow we'll be doing a man's shirt with tips on adjustments, says Julie, I don't think so. Um, Leslie says, Neil Mars should be a prize giveaway. No. Jenny says, oh my goodness, just spat out my coffee. Michaela says, John and Neil and Model Day 2 Ronnie's again. Oh, lots of people saying that. This is pure TV gold. Definitely need more like this, says Mika uh, Michelle. Uh, I was feeling a little bit down today, but you two have cheered me up no end, says Georgina. If laughter was on the NHS, we'd be as fit as fiddles. This is so compelling to watch. Who's teaching who? Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm being taught. I'm a student, yeah. Uh, uh, Ian won't have any masks left by the size of that channel. No, not Ian. That's Neil. Neil. That's Neil. Right? And then Wendy Orlando says, this is gold. Neil's one may just cover uh, his nose, but I don't uh, have any hope. I've run out of bobbin. Ow! Oh, no, You've man. threaded up your machine. My threads. Machine Brilliant demo. My kind of reality show. Not an implant or Botox in sight. Uh, he goes for Botox every three months. Yeah, I'm like, in uh, my Plenty 60s. of laughs and sewing from Donna. Do you what? I said I'm in my 60s. In your 60s, did you just say? I said something in my 60s, yeah, just uh, easy paper around. Yeah, message from Leslie. You mustn't let you mustn't let Neil do too many demos or you'll get good at sewing and where would the fun be in that? Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's any danger of that somehow. Right, I'll fix my machine after. Danny's messaged in now. Bada da, is there an item code for Neil, Danny says. Oh, Danny! He's, he gives it away for free, Danny, so you'll be all right. Oh, I've just steamed up my glasses now. And then once you've got these channels sewn in, all you've got to do then is thread the um, elastic, the elastic through, through. Okay. which you can use again with the turning tool or patience or Bex Reads. Well, don't you need a piece of elastic, a, a, yeah. a, a, a safety pin? So Bex Reads um, says put the elastic on the end of a safety pin and then yeah. push the safety pin through. But my favoured technique is to... Um, just poke the stick through the end of the elastic and then poke it through. Like, like a this, bodkin. Yeah, this is, well, I don't know what a bodkin is. <laughs> Probably before my time. Don't forget, we've got two other bundles, not just Neil's bundle. We've got the uh, sewing tools one that Neil's got, and then I've got the other floral one. You can kind of, yeah. blimey, you're way ahead of me. Of what? Works out at £1.85 a mask. If you don't get elastic, you can use hair bobbles, somebody said. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We reckon you get at least two. Uh, it depends how big your ears are, I suppose, isn't it? Right. Yeah, I'm, I think I, I may have put that a little bit you too tight. You think what? Tight. I think I've just cut it too tight. I forgot about not. What, what, your elastic? <laughs> yeah. Why, how long did you cut your elastic? Well, I just cut mine eight inches. Oh, OK. So, but I think that might be a bit tight. Depends how stretchy the elastic is. Ultimately. So have you got a safety pin on yours? How are you pushing yours through? I push it through with the with the uh, cutting tool. With the tool, yeah. Mine doesn't pull my ears off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Are you able to do this? A close up on this? Right, oh, okay. I've lost my elastic now. I have. I'm just. I've, I've done it. my elastic. Yeah. I'm just showing you. Right. So what we've done is we've stitched all the way, bagged it through, brought the. Uh, the other end, tucked it in and sewn a channel, and then this end just folded it over and sewn a channel on there as well. So that's your finished mask. And then what you need to do is you need to get elastic. Where is mine? Well, she'd hope so. I've been doing it for a lot longer than he has. They just said mine's a lot neater than yours. What? The what? Uh, excuse me, we're going to block her. This is the blind leading the blind. Thank you, Karen. Blocked. <laughs> right, uh, safety pin. 
It's because nobody, they said in the email, we'll do all your prep for you. Don't worry, you'll have everything you need. I've not had scissors. I've not had any turny tool or anything. Uh, safety pins. Just poke it on the end of the elastic. It's with what? I haven't got a turny tool. Yeah, just poke that on the end of the elastic. Here you go. Do you want my turning tool? Have you finished with it? Yeah, you can have it now. I'm dry. Thank you. Right. Then once you've tied the knot, you can just slide it round under the... Uh, Did you tie a knot or sew a knot? Well, I tied one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. suppose you could have said. Oh, sewed. this is really... This really is the blind leading the full sighted. That's not what it said, was it? <laughs> Thank you. Right, 10 inches. So I'm doing a 10 incher then rather than an 8 incher, Neil. There you go. So I just... The ones I've got now are 12 inches and they're probably a bit loose. So probably 10 <laughs> inches is probably best. Okay. Well, there you go, my mask's working. Oh, well done. You're a bit gapy at the side. Mm, yeah. I really could do that. Have you got a safety pin there, Kat? I don't know how he shoved this through. Just um, poke the stick through the elastic. Make it, oh, no, no. Just poke it through. I'm just make a jump. Oh, well done, Kat. Thank you. Thank you. What's she muttering? I might as well do it. Oh, so if you want to do speed. You do Neil's way. Oh, apparently it smells funny in here. It'd be the nerves. Yeah. <laughs> like melting butter. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Hayley's probably cooking her crumpets in the office. Oh, yeah, they're using cat's butter. Yeah. Cat brings in, like, so cat brings in posh pack, right? And Hayley, Hayley was in the other, the other day going, making toast, like th putting this lure pack on like it's going out of fashion, going, who's is this lure pack? And Kat's just sitting there like, um, it'll be mine. Right, hang on, so I'm just putting my elastic through. So you knotted your elastic, did you? I did a knot. I mean, you could sew it, yeah. You know, if you're good at that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, we've been way much longer than we were supposed to be. Right, just recap the bundles if you've finished, right? Recap the bundles. Yeah. Yeah, you just show them and say what you get in the kit and I'll finish okay. mine off. So we'll start off with the one, with the one that I did, the uh, one that's all sewing notions kind of thing. I'll just move the iron so I don't burn Lovely. myself. Otherwise you'll be sent smelling chicken, not butter. So you'll be smelling what? Burning chicken if I cook my arm. Oh! So the, uh, the panel I did is this one here. Each one comes with seven masks, seven inners. So you've got the outer and inner to make seven masks. They come with a metre of the uh, lining and also a metre of elastic. So you would need a bit more elastic if you wanted to do all seven, um, but there's enough elastic to get you going there. Now, these are 12.99. Works at £1.85 a mask, what do you say? £1.85 a mask, so which is a bargain. And I, I can tell masks are back, because outside Morrison's in Redditch, there's loads of just discarded masks outside. Oh, I know, it's disgusting, you know. isn't it? So using these type of masks is much better for the environment as well, because you're not going to just throw it down. Not that I'm saying our customers would, cause, but... Uh, People do, don't they? Yeah. It'd be much better if people wore these. Remember, remember they're completely and utterly exclusive. So you've got that one, twelve ninety nine. Yeah, exclusive to Stone Street. You won't see them anywhere else. Uh, the next one, that's not a bun. Is bright floral. Cat's looking, trying to work out which panel I'm picking Picked up. Picked up, yeah. Is this one here? Is that the one that you did? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one that John, the one that John did. And again, seven masks. These have got white in us. You but all your linings are there and lining, everything. You don't need any elastic. other fabric. That's what's there. Oh, and your instructions are printed on the panel as well. Oh, I was going to ask that. So you haven't got to worry about your instructions. You haven't got to worry about what we're doing then. No, so the instructions are printed on the panel and to cut out the lining, you just once you've cut out one of your outer pieces, just draw around that on the lining to yeah. get your, your lining. So that's 12 99 also, so you get a nice big panel. Um, two, uh, two units, so a metre of the lining, that's worth £6, and the elastic as well. So well done. You see, really you should do that value. more often. You're good at that. Good at that. And then the last one. Finally, the blue one. The blue, blue floral. One. Blue floral. I don't know which way up is the best way to put them. I don't the, know. So it's it to you, matter. as though you're looking at it. doesn't matter. Uh, so this is upside down then, but no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> so so this, is the, this is the last one. So again, seven masks within us. Um, your lining, your elastic. Um, and this is a nice one. My, my favourite one actually was the stripy one, but they'd already started cutting by the time oh. they had a preference. Right. But my, uh, my, uh, one of my elastics just come loose, but hang on. <laughs> That's a better over it covers your whole thing. Oi! <laughs> now, who asked for the, if, about large one? If they want a large one, um, I would use the smallest seam allowance possible 
Um, because otherwise, it will, it does cover it all, but it looked much bigger on you. But that one looked it's much my face isn't as big as yours. Hey, <laughs> cheeky. Uh, you can get the interfacing on its own. I'll just let go. But now, now this is by the half meter, two ninety nine. I think you get away with, uh, you could get all of those out of half. Oh, they've given you a meter for a reason. Maybe it's just over half a meter you need well, for I think seven you, or you, if, you, if you're good with your cutting, I think you can get them all through on a half meter. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, a meter's a I would say so. Anyway. We've only got 15 minutes left on the air and I will get mine on eventually. But the lining, if you buy that by the half meter, it's continual as well. The what's that again? The lining is sold off the roll. So if you buy three or four units, you get them as a continual. Um, oh, so it's not like other panels that are. No, they're, they're they, not pre-cut. Pre so if you uh, do buy the uh, lining on its own, it does come as a continuous piece. And you can use it for other stuff as well. You can use it for, is it what's it called when you put it? Interfacing, is it? What are you talking about? I don't know. No. <laughs> Other uses for it's the It's very uh, difficult. I have to say, this is the first time we've done this. It's actually really difficult. And I'm thinking about my poor old experts when I'm talking to them when they're sewing. It's really difficult to talk and sew yeah. at the same time, isn't it? Anyway, there you go. That's how you make a mask. Thank you very much indeed, Neil. I've lost mine already. Oh, yeah, now no. we've got to clear the table. So we're going to go for a very, very quick, won't even be two minute break. We've got an announcement after the break. No, he's not leaving. Uh, but he is going to wear his mask. Look at him before he goes. There you go. Uh, check out your baskets. That one's still in the lead. I'll see you in less than two minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I've come completely untucked. All my wires, everything fell out. My shirt fell out and everything. Not untucked like RuPaul's Jag Race. So thank you very much indeed. Right, now we've got a bit of news for you, right? So a lot of people, first of all, didn't get up at 8 o'clock and see our Liberty launch. In the Right, don't put any graphics in. Don't put any graphics in. I'm just going to explain what we did at 8 o'clock, right? So at 8 o'clock, we had this bundle of 11 fabrics, which was called... Um, watercolor right then we had this bundle here of 11 fabrics which was called sculpture then we had this bundle of 11 fabrics here which was called sunset right so you could buy each of those individually or you could buy them all together and if you bought them all together you would get two um these two um half meters of your 
well, it's a shadow for free and a metre of that fabric for free. We also had another bundle that was available on its own of 12 fabrics. I'm going to go through all these for you now, but I'm just telling you before I put the graphics in what was available, right? Now, we also had a mega bundle, which was this 11, this 11, this 11, these two and these 12, right? The mega bundle and then you would get two and a half metres for free. That completely and utterly sold out, right? With 12 people with it still in their baskets. We tried to do, well, Hayley said, oh, well, if you do this and this and we'll do this and we'll do that and you couldn't get on split pay and everything like that. Obviously, some people took advantage of that, but other people were like, no, I'm not going to bother. So what we've done is they've managed to get more. Now, how many have we got? I've only got 10 left, right? I've only got 10 of the mega bundle left. So let me tell you what the mega bundle is. The 11 in there, the 11 in there, the 11 in there, two Wiltshire shadows, plus the 12 in here, and you get two and a half metres free, and you can get it on split pay, which was the fall, which was the thing earlier, when we did the, the this and the this, you couldn't get it, watch. There you go, there you go, there you go. Now I've only got 10 left, I've only got 10. I understand it's considered purchase. I'm not saying buy it, buy it, buy it, because I don't, wouldn't do that to you. But when we launched this morning at eight o'clock, all of the ones we had, right, went, they went, they went. I, I came to air and there were only like three left when I came to air and then they all, they, they all went, right? They've now recreated 10 more, but that's it, nine now. There are nine left now, eight now. Eight left now, right? I'm not doing a hard, I'm not trying to do a hard sell, what's it, but I'm just saying, I know it's a considered purchase, get it on split pay, you get half a metre of everything, plus the two Wiltshire shadows, plus, well, you get that, that, and three of those completely for free in that bundle. So in total, you get two and a half metres of fabric, Liberty fabric, completely for free, if you buy the mega bundle, worth 37 pounds and 45 pence. And it's split pay, and it's split pay, right? No, uh, uh, when we do savings that big, you don't normally get split pay, but we're giving you split pay on this one as well. Now, you don't have to do split pay if you don't want to. You can just go for the whole sh shebang in one go if you want to. Let me explain. Split pay, it's uh, it's three three ways, three ways, right? So you pay 104.86 today, plus your PMP if you've not post PMP. 104.86 next month, 104.86 the month after. It's literally, it's no interest charge whatsoever. It's literally the price cut into three. And also, you don't have to wait till you've paid all three to get the fabric. If you, pay, if you buy it today and pay the 104.86, at mid, it'll go through, uh, through your account at midnight tonight. It'll be sent to you in the next couple of days without you having paid the other two. Right, now, we were saying not available anywhere else. Oh, we, right, we found it on one other website. Oh, right, okay, so you can buy it today, but you won't get it till mid-Jan, oh, we're gonna show it, look. Won't be available till mid-January, mid mid-January. So we have, we looked on other people, we looked at Liberty's website, they didn't have it. We looked on the two people that we would normally look to who, who, who get deliveries like we do, they haven't got it. It's not on their websites whatsoever. So that website there, I didn't see what it was, right? It's here, it's in our warehouse. That's why we've got these bolts here, to show you that we physically got it here. Right, that's the mega bundle. How many are left now? Eight? Eight left. Eight left, eight left, eight left. Right, now let me very quickly take you through all the other things we've got available for you today. Right, Haley's, Haley's had to twirl a few magic wands to get this. I bet she had to have a bit of a snog with somebody as well. Well, she wouldn't be. She's not fussy. Right. So here's the first one. This is the 11, right? This one is called water colour. Water colour, right? So in this one, they're already cut and you get half a metre of each of those. Half a metre of this, half a metre of this. Now, what it is, if you weren't watching 8 o'clock, it's basically three or four brand new prints and then a reimagining of old prints. Where it's where they recolour them in to go with the colour scheme of this sort of thing. So you might see prints in here that you've already got in completely different colours. Or you're going to see some brand new prints. Also, some of them are named after designers. Sally Ann Harrison was asked to name one. Here's Sally Ann. This is the Sally Ann Harrison fabric. I know, how brilliant. So anyway, so it, carrying on with this, you get half a metre of that. I love that one. Half a metre of that. Half a metre of this one, that's that cat's favourite there. Half a metre of this one, half a metre of that, half a metre of... Look at this, look at this, look at this, let me open it. Right, now some of these have sold out now by the half metre. Look, this is the traditional peacock feather, 
with a bit of honesty drawn in it. Yeah, a bit of honesty is all we ask for. And then this next one here, which I know has sold out on its own now. That one there is just beautiful, isn't it? And then that one. So that, that 11 fabrics there, 79.99, and that's your painted watercolour. And also, if you divide 11 into 79.99, I think it comes 7.27. So you're getting a small saving by buying it in there because it's 7.49 by the half metre and you're getting it for 7.27. And now, now also, I don't, well, didn't you expect it to be 850 now? Didn't you expect the prices to have gone up? Because we keep, oh no, I thought 850, because I've got 7.99, eight pounds, that, that's still a good price, still a fantastic price. So that one's that bundle. Then I've got this, uh, not sunset, this one here, which is your sculpture. There's your still. Oh, sorry, there's your still. Now this one, the, the other one is all watercolour colours. This one is taken from like marble and wood and all the neutral natural tones in this one. So again, you get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. That one's called Artist's Vases because it's called the Artist's Home. Beautiful, aren't they? Sally Ann in a different colourway. Be so these are much softer, these. These are the colourways that are... These have been put together by Liberty. So this is a, a much, much softer... Look at that one. And then we've got that beautiful one at the bottom there. So that's 79.99 for uh, 11 half metres. 11 you get there. 7.29 half metre it works out at that. All of the... Well, I say all. Majority of these are still for sale by the half metre. So if you're thinking that one there, oh, I want to make a skirt out of this one here. You can go to the website, look it up, and buy it by the... Are they all through onto the show tune side yet? They're all on show deals now, not on pre-order, right? So that one there is Sculpture. This one here, which was the most popular this morning, this one here is Sunset. Oh, bang, bang, someone else coming in now. This one here is Sunset. So in this one... You get all of these beautiful, look, 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 Sally Ann. You see, I can see her wearing something, you know, out of that one. Be look, that, isn't that called Sketchbook or something like that, that one, I love that. Look, you see, this one's got all my favourites in this bundle. Gorgeous, aren't they? Apps, look at that. So you get a half metre of all of these, look, scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. 11 of them for 79.99. I know some of you missed out at 8 o'clock this morning because lots of people just messaging, going off to well, I've, I've overslept, what have I missed? Right, I've got a bonus bundle. This is from the same range, from the same range, right? 12 of them, but they're just not in those bundles. So they haven't given it a name, they've just called it bonus. Oh, 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 oh. Bonus bundle might have sold. Bonus sold out. Bonus bundle is sold out. But it's still available in the 8 mega mega bundles so if you want the mega mega bundle you get all of these i'm going to spread them all out a bit you get so you get all of watercolor you get all of sculpture you get all of sunset oh look at these these are gorgeous it's all right because emma's going to be putting all these away later look and then we've got this now this one here this only appears in this well now you can only get that in the mega bundle and i don't know if it's available by the half meter anymore but for 300, and I know it's a considered purchase, I understand that, but look at this, imagine this when it arrives in your house. And you get the two Wiltshire, fab, Wiltshire shadow ones. So it, when, if you buy this, all of that on your table now, right, you get two and a half metres completely for free. 104.86 are your split, uh, split pays. What's the matter, Kat? That's beautiful, isn't it? So you get 23 and a half metres in total. Is that right? 23 and a half metres of fabric you get in there. The entire collection. Because you're getting uh, watercolour, sculpture, sunset, bonus, and you're getting these two, Wiltshire Shadows, completely free. They're not in the collection, but these are two that Liberty felt went best, best with these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Message from Elizabeth. Please would you thank customer services for sorting out my order. I'd ordered loads by the half metre, but now I've got the big mega bundle instead. Elizabeth, the call centre are brilliant, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. So if you've got any issues, just call them. Just call them. I just want to remind you that. 
Now, so I've got eight left, right? Have I got any in baskets? Okay, so three are in baskets. So in theory, there could be five, five left now. I'll tell you about it again later. I'll tidy it up now. Right, so we're going to go for a break now. I know, sorry, now, if, if there's any tools that you want to see, they're all on the website, everything's on the website, but if there's anything you want to have a look at, just let me know, and I'm sure Rebecca won't mind, not Catherine, Rebecca, won't mind me bringing it out for, to show you later. But um, when we come back after the break, I'm waffling now while I'm packing, you see, when we come back after the break, Rebecca's going to be here. We're going to be talking about Liberty fabrics. So what, I'm uh, not Liberty patterns. So what better fabrics to buy if you're going to make a Liberty dress to buy some of this gore? Because you can go to the website and all of these are available. Most of them are available now. Lots of them are sold out. Buy the half meter, right? Buy the half meter. So if you, if you see one of the dresses we're about to do, or do you know what? We've got the most exquisite. We haven't got this fabric, but look. How cute Christmas dress, right? Or not even a Christmas dress. If you got made it out of one of these fabrics, obviously you can't make it out of half a metre, but you know what I mean? It's coming up, or do the tears in different colours, Kat's saying. If you want your child to hate you for the rest of their life, then they could do that, I suppose. Right, okay, I'm going now. I'll see, or well, not going, going, I've got to come back. I'll see you after the break with Catherine and Liberty. What is wrong with me? It's not like we haven't known each other for 30 years. It's Catherine tomorrow. Well, Kat's called Catherine, but I've never called her Catherine, so I'm not thinking of that. Why am I thinking? So I've got Kat, oh, watch tomorrow now. Catherine Wright will come in, and I'll call her Rebecca all day. Anyway, I've got to go, um, because we've got to get this out of finish, because Gary from Duke is in at 12. What will I call him? I'll see him for. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! I used the iron early and it steamed me up and now I've got all fingerprints all over my glasses. Oh, it's been a year, it's been years since I got steamy. I meant my glasses. Anyway, thank you. For what day's your last day, Emma? She's leaving, Emma. We didn't tell anyone until Vic said on air, Aren't you leaving, Emma? <laughs> um, yeah. So Di did you know Derek Tremor's leaving? No. Yeah. She's going to live a life. Oh, she's going to become a beach coma in Devon. Beach hey. coma, where she just lives on the beach. She's going to little, get a little house on the beach in oh, the boyfriend. That sounds idyllic. The boyfriend says he's got other things he wants to do, like stay here for, but you know, he's going along with her just be on the safe side. Right, okay, this, this hour is, again, we're going to be doing all sorts of bits and bobs, aren't we, in this hour? What are we doing? We're uh, doing the Alex, yes, Alexa. Alexa Frill Dress. Alexa Frill Dress, but yes. we will be doing, talking about hacks, we will be talking about any of your questions, we will talk about general sewing and things like yep. that, won't we? I've got a message already for us, there we go. Please can Sewing Street bring out a Rebecca version of Alexa so we can have instant access to her brilliant guidance. Oh, oh thank maybe you. Oh, maybe you should do that. So people can type in and go, oh, Rebecca, I can't put this sleeve in. And go, <laughs> no, or Catherine. She could, that could be her Alexa name. <laughs> Catherine, Catherine, <laughs> sewing school. <laughs> anyway, no, you can't. You have to watch Sewing Street. Right. Oh, bless you, though. No, oh, I've, I've just changed it to the Alexa because that's what we're doing. But Kat wants to do the Bella first. Right, we've never seen this before. I've never seen it before. You've not seen no, it before, have you? No. Kat, have you seen it before? Oh, right. Okay, that's gone wrong then, hasn't it? So in prep this morning, we all like, all of us went, oh, I've not seen that dress before. So we all basically went, no, not seen it. So I was doing a thing about, oh, I've never seen it before. Kat's seen it before. And she's decided now because the computer's told her. What date did you see it on? Eleventh September, that's a long time in Cat's life, isn't it? Right, so it comes in two size packets. This packet is eight to fourteen. Now, 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 I've got uh, now is the next bit correct then? Or have you got this bit wrong as well? Okay, before you do anything, let's just have a look at the Liberty website. This is a Liberty pattern, we can do this. It's a real thing. How much is it? £17.50 if you go to Liberties by that. So we're at the right price, 17 49 saving a penny. Not today, though. Oh. Uh, don't ask me why. 30% off £12.24. £12.24. And it goes back at midnight. The pr any price that we crash, physically do that funny old thing going... <laughs> also, at Jewelry Maker, they've not quickened theirs up. So theirs goes for ages and ages. Anyway, I only know because I did a shift to Jewelry Maker during my week off. Right, £12.24, it's only till midnight tonight though. That is your eight, no, six. Oh, now, controversy, controversy even. On the pattern, it says six to 14. Our graphics say eight to 14. I trust the pattern. I'd go with the pattern. <laughs> oh, also remember, 12 days of Christmas, somebody who buys something today, no matter what you've bought, will win not half a metre of fabric, but half a metre of every core coloured fabric that we currently have in stock, which is 50. That for some reason, there's a funny little brown one there. Is that part of Elliot's design, do you think? 
No, no, but I, I was thinking it might be part of the, you see the circle that goes around the outside. No, Haley did that. She put that. So hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so she's done a seven by seven square and shoved a brown one on the top. Anyway, one of you will win that. One of you will win all of that just by buying something today. Right, I've got bigger sizes of this pattern here. Four, 14 to 22, this one. 14 to 22. Not 17.49, not today. Oh. The machine won't let it go down, but it will be £12.24. Hey, are you writing all these down? £12.24, it'll go to the computer, won't let us crash it, but you will pay £12.24, don't you worry. Don't you worry about it. Liberty Lady Bella tea dress. Now, it looks like that the shaping on this, we haven't, you haven't done this or anything, have you? No, about? not It looks that like one. the shaping at the neckline is done by um, pleats. Yes. At the top, or, or is it darts coming down yeah. from the top? Yeah, it looks, it looks like, lovely. yeah, it looks like pleats. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so, uh, it won't be 1749, it'll be 12 what? Tw 24 or 27? 24. F no, not finally. I've got three more patterns to do. <laughs> and we're done. Cat's going home. She was going home at eight o'clock this morning. Anyway, she, she, just before we came on air, she went, right, I'm off now. Bye. Right, this is the dress we're going to talk about today. Now, this one does go from a six to a 22, but they're all in one in here. But were you saying there are two separate sheets? Yeah. Six so to 14 and 14 to 22. That's right. Yeah. 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 So 1749, will it let us crash? Here we go then. I don't know, Emma. I don't know. You won't have this issue when you're looking for sea glass on the beach. It's not what they do these days. With your curly hair. You actually, you've cut your hair off at the wrong time, haven't you, really? You should be out there with it like a mermaid's hair. Anyway, £12.24. Now, we have made this once before with Adam. And we are going to be doing some of it today. In fact, the one on the stand behind you is the one made by Adam, isn't it? Yes, the green one behind it is, you yeah. There. Right, okay, so that's the Alexa frill dress. Only for today, till midnight tonight, £12.24. Okay, now I've got two kiddies dresses here. The one that's on the stand, we're ignoring that one for the time being. We're going to do the... Ki oh, it's a... Dun oh, right. Now, this is a dungaree set. Now, I've done this one. I have seen this one before. It's a dungaree set, this one. Look. Look at all the patterns in here. They go from sizes age 3 to 14. These are by age, aren't they? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Three to fourteen. Well, no, we had a child's pattern the other day, and it went three, four, five, six, nine, eleven, fourteen. It didn't. It missed out. Missed so out. I thought that's Seven what that was Anyway, not seventeen pounds and forty-nine pence. Twelve twenty-four. Twelve pounds and twenty-four pence. Liberty Child Kiki Dungaree. But look how many patterns you get in there. You get ones with trousers and ones with skirts. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I might have done this with Catherine Harris. No. <laughs> is there Catherine a, is Wright? Is there a Catherine Harrison? No, it's Catherine Wright. No, oh, Catherine, Catherine Wright. I went to college with Catherine Harrison. Oh, oh not well, Wimbledon. There you go, then. My drama college. Oh. <clears throat> Wasn't a famous actress called Catherine Harrison. Oh, that's Rex Harrison. I'm thinking of now, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I think it's time <laughs> I have a week off. <laughs> I think that's why, because my brain hasn't had to kick in for a week, you see. Oh, hang on, here we go. <laughs> Morning, I bought the Liberty pattern earlier and I've paid the full price. I paid with PayPal. Will I get a refund? Linda. Right, Linda, um, it, it won't be charged until midnight tonight. So now that the price has been crashed, you will be charged. Now. But keep an eye on it, Linda. And if there, anything goes wrong, just let me know and I'll talk, talk to Hayley about it. But um, you will only be charged the lower price. However... If you want the Mabel tea address, which is that one on the table there. Now, oh, okay, so now this one is already at £12.49. Let me put it on the table, sorry. This goes six months, 12 months, 24 months, three years and four years, right? The machine won't let us crash 
but you will be charged £8.74. Oh, oh, I thought you meant that, yeah. There you go. You're in shock, Catherine. You're in shock. <laughs> I'm slowly going out of shock. OK, it's going to be dropped to how much today? £8 what? £74. £8.74. Beautiful. Now, if you got your Liberty Fabrics earlier, wouldn't that be lovely? A little child's dress for, for the spring, for a christening or something like that. be lovely, wouldn't it? Or Christmas, but it's not Christmas. We haven't got any Christmassy fabric this morning. Right, but I've got fabrics now, very quickly. I'm going to start with the Liberty Prints, because as we're doing a Liberty pattern, this one here. Red, oh, now who's done this? Oh, we're not allowed to do that anymore. 44.99. Now, look, they've taken, why have you taken half a metre off this one? So you get three and a half metres, but you only pay for three, is that right? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you're getting half a metre free. Yeah. S seven. Yeah, you're only paying for three metres. You're getting three and a half metres. Th uh, that's obviously for the adult dress, not you don't need three and a half metres of the child's dress. Oh, this has been flying out on pre orders There's only two bundles left. I do apologise. Now, you saw some Wiltshire Shadow earlier. Here is the pink. Now, can't you not done it on this one? Oh, yes, there it is. Yeah, 44.94. Again, you're getting half a metre for free. That's so delicate. Do you want to come in a bit closer, Emma? Emma? As, uh, we're, all on a, we're all on a different wavelength today, aren't we? Emma's like, yeah, when I'm on the beach, it'll be like this. That, <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? That is so pretty. Oh, hang on. They're discussing now whether they prefer pebble beaches or sand beaches. Oh. What's your local what beach like? Well, it's your local Don't beach. No. You're landlocked right Land in the locked, centre. Yeah, aren't you? Wales. I have to go to Wales. We have to go to Wales. I think Western Supermare is my nearest beach. Right. But then you get to Western Supermare and you've then got a five mile trek to the water, apparently. Oh, another bag. This one's your red. Ruby red. Now, even if you're not making any of the Liberty Dress today, wouldn't that be beautiful in your stash? Oh, actually, for a backing of a quilt, what, what is it? Three and a half metres. 44 inches wide, obviously. Quilting weight cotton's beautiful, isn't it? Again, we're giving it, we're doing loads of giveaways today. I don't know what's happened while I've been away. Right, here we go. Oh, I love this one. Love this one. I can't hear what you're saying. Okay, 44.99. The, the, um, you talk about linings. What you do is you need to put a lining in. It's only in it's that one, isn't it? Yes. And it's to do, isn't it, to finish your edges and things like that? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just in the top part. It's yeah, just the bodice yeah. part. So yeah. you don't have to line them if you don't yeah. want to. I would line it in a cotton lawn if I was going to line it in anything. But I've got mm. other fabrics coming up in it. Because then... Mm -hmm. right yo. So then, now these are other fabrics. I've never seen these before. That's why, because they're brand new. We'll just double check. They're not one we've capped in the past, in September. Terracotta, floral. Now, it's floral viscose, three and a half metres. I'm not sure if I would make any... Oh, I'm going to be a bit controversial now. I'm not sure if I'd make any of these dresses out of this. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, and it's only, tw <gasps> hang on, 29.99. Okay, hang on, so that's seven, that's seven units, isn't it, three and a half metres? Seven into 30 goes what? Seven fives to 35, seven four. That's not, 428 half metres, that can't be right. Brand new fabric. No, no. Nine bundles left. Uh, let me see what make this is. This one's not. Oh, it's, I love the fact that the fabric comes, uh, the pattern comes over there. It's not a Liberty one, this one, is it? But it's sh any fabric, any um, beautiful Radiance. viscose fabric. That Ruby Wilshire Shadow would make a lovely Christmas tablecloth. Oh, I bought the gold one to do that very thing. Oh, nice. Now, 
I can't say who said this, but I had a guest on my Facebook Live on Sunday. And she's known for making Christmas crackers, Christmas coasters, Christmas tablecloth. She puts it all on the table. Everyone comes in for their Christmas dinner and goes, oh, what a lovely table. And then she goes, right. And she packs it all away and puts an old tablecloth out because she knows her family are really messy. And she just wants <laughs> to get it on all the nice kind of red, red and white work on her, on her dining table. Uh, you'll find out tomorrow who it was. Right. This is beautiful fabric. Uh, am I talking through my elbow when I say you wouldn't make these, that dress out of it? Or would you? Well, I'm about to. Oh, are you? Oh, well, there you go. There so you go, we'll, then. This so is where we'll, I could be proved wrong. No, no, so so we'll see, because oh, this is the first time. Yes. Oh, you, you've not sewn it yet? No, I've not sewn well, it Well, we'll tell you, we'll tell you. Watch this space. I love this and the black fabric for viscose for draping. I just thought that these fabrics were designed for Liberty Cottons, so therefore we'd have a little bit more structure to them. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I, I, am, I could be wrong. Oh, I've got another plastic bag here. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I often am. This is gorgeous, this fabric. This is when you're going to see Rebecca designing. This is Radiance by Penelope. Oh, now that sounds like a 1970s hair Isn't that lovely, on, yeah. Where are you popping down to? I'm popping down to see Penelope in Radiance. Like that. Sorry <laughs> if that's where you're from with that accent. <laughs> well, I'm Northern, I'm allowed to. I love it. I love this fabric. Gorgeous, isn't it? You see, I'm just seeing Pretty. it. Pretty. I mean, this is, I'm just seeing it draped or kind of zhushed like that. That's how I'm seeing it. Excuse me. Rather the, than, I mean, I know you're going to zhush the, the skirt. The pleats will be, look nice. The, the skirt will look amazing. Yeah. And I was just thinking about, oh, do you know what you could do? Oh, do the skirt and the, the sleeve frill in this, and then do the bodice and the sleeve in a very soft velvet, black velvet. Oh, lovely. Oh, that, or, or, or one of the other colour velvets, but I'm just thinking about party dresses, because this, the gathering on the skirt is going to be amazing yeah. on that. Be beautiful and very flattering as well. And again, look at the price. How much did we work it out at? Half a metre, four pounds something. We don't do, we don't do viscose at four pound, 28 a half metre. Poor old Radiance by Penelope. She'll be going mad. I love it. 29 99 Do you know what? Just buy it for, for any project. even if you, Because I know, I do know that these dresses are for a certain ilk of person. Not everybody wants a high neck and a pie crust frill and everything like that. Because I don't think a pie crust frill would work in that. You'd want to do a plain neck with that one. Sorry, I'm waffling. I'll shut up. Right, now I've got this one here. Is this one by Penelope as well? Yep. This one's by Penelope, Radiance. This one's, only, see it's been so popular, there's only one left. Now that feels slightly different, isn't that weird? I'm sure it's just the colour I'm playing with my eyes. It's not mustard. I wouldn't call it mustard. No, it's got Oh, it might be, it might be that, you know Coleman's French mustard, that's that brownie yeah. colour, isn't it? It's what got colour a sort would of greeny it? tinge. It's got a green, yeah, if you're mixing lovely. it in a paint pot, there's definitely green in there. Yeah. But it's lovely, isn't it? There's only one left. Okay, I've ended up with... The... Right. The table is a tip, but I'll try and tidy it up while we're doing it. Right, now, I've, I've got these linings. If you want some linings, I'd use these to line a waistcoat or something like that. I'm just thinking, next to your skin, you might you'd might want a more breathable, like a cotton lawn or something. Yeah. These are perfectly good. They're very, very good quality linings. But I'm just thinking, I don't know why I'm standing like that. I don't think I'd want to have <laughs> no, this I know what you mean. rubbing against my tummy mm. at, when I'm wearing this dress. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I've got it in three colourways. I've got it in caramel. Oh, camel, nearly. 149. Camel, camel Monaco. Dress lining fabric, that's called. I'd say it was 100% acetate, this, but I can check for you. Beautiful, right? Then I've got it in, uh, it's 100% polyester, there you go. Um, why? 144 uh, centimetres wide, look, I'll show you. You can hear it, can't you, yeah. I remember when I very first started working with designers, this used to be called taffeta lining, didn't it? Yeah. And they turn up going, oh, we're making a gorgeous taffeta evening gown. And all the evening gowns I made for my mum were made out of really good, I used to get it from Borovix all the time, oh, you know, yeah. that really shot taffeta and everything. And they t the designers would turn up with this and you'd be like, I'm not making a dress. Don't use this for the main dress fabric. 
this will look like a cheap panto what's it costume right, yeah, and you'll yeah. scrunkle as you go in and for lining you'll get um static static and black oh no now if you've got to make like a slip to go underneath so if you've made a dress and you just want to either make a slip on its own or you just want to put a slip perfectly fine for that i'd spray some hairspray up it before you wore it yeah hairspray because that oh, gets so rid of the static um, Static. Yeah. That you can buy anti-static spray from John Lewis's as well. Or oh, you spray to, I don't know if you still can. Or you get a what? Have you ever heard that one before? A what? Get a metal hanger and waft it over it and that takes away the static. Does it? Oh. Cat. I'm going to put that to the she's test. Gonna put, she's going to show us after the oh. show. Oh. Oh. You. You stick around. Oh, yeah. Now, my friend Dulcie asked about that. She said, I've just read that Kat's written about cleaning an iron with a paracetamol, right? How does she get the paracetamol near the hot iron? Are you, I said that usually you long tweezers. Tweezers, yeah. Oh, do you know it that works, one well? It works. See, Dulcie yeah. never heard of that. I'd never heard of it either. Yeah. But that's a bit different than putting a wire hanger on acetate lining. Right. Should we do some sewing then? Let's do oh, some Oh, hang on. There's sewing. Dulcie there. Dulcie's actually watching. Isn't that funny? I just meant to meant that. Dulcie, you hold the end of your paracetamol with your long tweezers. All right, and have you... Well, actually, she's with Kathy and Alice, right? So Kathy is a costume... Kathy, I, I don't know if I'm going to tell you this. Kathy's making costumes, you know, for the Eddie Redmayne um, cabaret. Kathy's making costumes for that. Alice gave up doing costumes after many, many, many years. She's a midwife now. She's a midwife. I know. Anyway, it's Alice's birthday, so I went to see them yesterday. That's where that photo that made me cry on Facebook yesterday of me looking cute as a 23-year-old. <sighs> anyway, anyway, should we get on? Oh, right, what are we doing? What did you put in? Alexa dress, please. Alexa dress. Yeah, off you go, then. <laughs> right, now this is going to be experiment now. This with, is with because the, I, haven't, I haven't made this up, so I've made it to a certain point. Right. But I didn't get a chance to actually... Mm -hmm. make one up properly you know beforehand so yeah so i am learning as everybody as else as everybody else will be so um the top of this finishes on your natural waist i would i would say it's right. quite a high, a high well, waist, it, well it, it it's not high it's your natural waist but obviously nowadays we don't tend to have things that are on your natural, natural waist, waist anymore no. so, are you? So, so if you're used to buying a frock off the shelf it might feel a bit odd where the yes. waist seam is yeah. yeah yeah but it's yeah so it's it, but it is it'll be on your natural waist really yeah. so um you've got um on the uh on the front part you've got a um darts coming up from the waist so it's and a then simple it's a very simple shape oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah no it's a really simple shape yeah and then you've got your bust darts yeah and then on the back you've got your your um your darts coming up from your waist and then there's um little shoulder darts which you don't get very often on the back do you? oh yeah. no that's kind of old-fashioned isn't it yeah, yeah yeah so it gives us the curve of oh your, no it's nice because it gives that yeah. lovely fit at yeah. the back doesn't yeah. it yeah but you don't often see it do you no not anymore no so anyway so the first things to do is attach your so obviously do your um do your darts yeah and remember to start from the um the end and work your way in to the uh you know so Point you're so you're running off yeah the end um, so this is a, a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance on here, mm -hmm. um, all the way round. So I've done my usual of overlocking round, apart from I haven't done um, my shoulders and my side seams because we're going to put that lining on, so it'll all get uh, it'll all get hidden yes. anyway. So you won't you won't be seeing those bits. That's what you're doing. So I'm just just pinning my side seams and my shoulders and then I'm just going to run it through. OK, so now which is this ghost? Would you use a special needle or a special stitch or special thread? Or anything um, like that? Probably a, more of a finer needle, uh -huh. I would say. You'll be lucky. In that yes. Machine, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what's in there. It looks quite chunky. Oh, that fabric sold out. The black one, the black viscose sold out. But I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's very that price. pretty. It's very, uh, oh, sorry. Very yes, hang pretty. on. Go back to yeah. Oh, you're already on. Yeah. So. Oh, I've just dropped it on the floor. Right. <laughs> you're right over there. We're not allowed to pack 
in live on air, you see. I get oh. told off I'll put it in its bag live on air. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So yeah, so I'm just I'm just pinning these two and then Are there <coughs> notches and things like that to Yes, pull? there are, yeah. Yeah. So there's little um there's like little circles and triangles and things on the pattern mm -hmm. to um to mark. So um, yeah, all the Liberty fabrics we had earlier, imagine those would look gorgeous in this dress, wouldn't they? So depending on whether you want it with a frill or you want it plain, you want a frill neckline, if you want to know the yardaging for the sizes, just let me know. Oh, Gary's in the building, everybody. All right, Gary, you're not going on in that shirt, are you? No, good. Got a special, such a brilliant deal on the Juki machine for Gary's now. He's only here for an hour, so he's going to have to talk very fast. very nicely this does oh they go so it sews very nicely the fabric thing is I wasn't dissing it I was just no saying, no I I'm... just think I just think that maybe it's my my yeah preconceived idea of that oh you have to make it out of a Liberty cotton whereas you know no but I think you're right to say that um, you know somebody that's perhaps if this is the first thing they're doing they might want to um, you know, take have a liberty instead. That's got oh, yeah. a little, or, little or bit a, more a stable, structure. A stable structure yeah, fabric. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If, if it's your first time at dressmaking, make it in calico first because yeah. you want to make sure the neckline's not too tight, and you want to make. If you make it in calico first, you want to see where the seams come in because you could, if you wanted to, just extend the bodice a little bit longer if you did if you didn't feel comfortable with the seam being where it is and things. Yeah, so if you Google the Alex Liberty Alexa dress, just go and have a look at the prices you could pay for this. Right, let's get the I iron. Don't know. You're the producer, you're in charge. Okay, oh, so she's going to anyway. Right, look. Right, I'm going to use this. Oh, here we go. Fabulous iron. Oh, no, it's lovely, that iron. Oh, it takes me back, this does. Now, this is, this is why I was saying a lot of people are terrified of using an iron like this on flimsier fabrics, but it's just, it's idyllic, isn't it, the way it works? Yeah, it just glides. Yeah, don't worry, we've got them from Gary that's just walked in through the door. You know, oh, Gary from Juki. Really? Yeah, because they're, oh, well, they're from Juki Industrial. from Juki Industrial. Yeah, on oh, that bubble. Yes. That bubble takes you right back, doesn't it? Oh, have you not got one at home? To workrooms. No! But this is a good price, isn't it? Yeah, really good price. It's fifty pounds off. Yeah, it is a good and price. And I presume it must be on split pay as well. Yeah, yeah, it is cancers. But there's only uh, single figures left of it. Oh, I'm not surprised. So what? What is it now? It's two hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Uh, and you get, oh, and oh, also good. you get the. Ta we haven't shown it off today, but it comes with its own little table that it sits on, you can push it around on, comes with the water jug and the little, and the water filler and everything like that. The only thing that you, I will say to you, and um, Rebecca just reminded me earlier, when we used to work in theatre or in, would you, would you have them at Angels? Yes. The first person in, it was their job to fill the iron for the day sort of thing, because you can't fill it once it's hot. So you come in, you put the water in the iron, make sure the, the, the stopper's on properly and switch on, then that's it for the day. Yeah. Because once it gets hot and the pressure's up, you can't then put water in afterwards. No, that was always my job. Oh, was it? Were first, you first in, in every first day? in. Yeah. Get the two irons up and running. Oh, they say get the tea on. Yeah, get the two tea on. No, no, irons before tea. Oh. <laughs> The so you're just pressing the seams open. I'm just pressing the seams open, yeah. So this is this is the lining. The lining so this is the lining, so the lining I'm using is exactly here. Exactly the same as the bodice. Exactly the same, yeah. Exactly the same. Mm. There you go. It's ninety nine pounds sixty six pence three times. If you want the iron? Ooh. 
And you're much more frugal with the steam than I always used to be. I'd be like... I, I'm trying not to give myself a facial. Yes. Oh, you get glasses, you'll steam. Yes, out. that's it. Isn't it? Because back, 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 the the, back in the day, there was no glasses. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not that old. The, the, the glasses well. hadn't been invented, but we didn't have to have them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back in the day, we didn't have glasses. No, there was nothing like that. Right, so now we come to um, the neck frill. If you want, you don't have to put it on. Right. Um, you, don't, you don't have to put any of the frills on. You can have it without any of them. Okay, I'm going to throw um, a spanner in the works here. Yes. What happens if one of my ladies would like a V-neck? And we haven't got time to do it physically, but could you alter the pattern to be a V-neck or like earlier you did a lower, a lower scoop? Neck? Yeah, well, again, um, trace around your pattern piece, draw in what you think. You, we, you, you quite rightly said before that sometimes you could do it and it's a bit lower. Yeah. Um, cut it out in calico and try it on you um, next to you so you can see whether you don't it's have to make the whole work. body. No, 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 just, just that front, front. Yeah, yeah, just that front piece, um, just just to check that you've got that in the right place and you're happy yeah. with it. Because um, I think a lot of people, I mean, I know Princess Diana made them very, very famous, which is a little pie crust frill, but not everybody wants a dress no. that's a solid fabric up to here and then a little frill on. Some yeah. people like a V or a, a round neck, don't yeah. they? or a slightly scooped neck out. Yeah, just, definitely. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you could just drop it a tiny bit yeah, as well. Yeah, and make just, it just a difference. Yeah. Just enough for a string of pearls. Yeah, on. that's it, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the neck frill, um, you need to... Um, Stitch, stitch the edges so that they're um, so you can't see them. They're inside, mm -hmm. um, and fold it, fold it up, give it a press, and then do two lines of um, gather stitch. So that's on your biggest, the biggest that, um, stitch length that your machine will do, uh -huh. um, and then pull it up. Once you get going. And you pull the bobbin thread, don't you, rather than the top thread? The, yeah, as, lo as long as you pull the same, yeah, don't um, pull the same two threads yes. all the way. Don't um, swap and change. Yeah, because it, it, you'll just stop it then. It won't go anywhere. Uh -huh. And obviously be very careful that you don't break so many times. Oh, yes. When you've, when you've got metres and metres of um, frill. I um, used to make wedding dresses in the late, eight, or mid to late 80s. Uh, and in the 80s, frills were everywhere. And I made my friend Dawn's wedding dress. And apart from having a crinoline underneath it, it had three skirts on it. So it had the skirt that went to the floor that had a row of gathering around the bottom. Yeah. It had another skirt that was looped up to like where the knee is. And then it had another one that had low scoops to here. And every wow. single edge had gathered... And I started off doing that, oh, I'll just gather like this. In the end, I just got my scissors and was like that under the machine, just kind of gathering as I went. Sort yeah. Because I just thought, doesn't that I'll be here forever? And the thread would just keep breaking because there were metres and metres and metres of fabric. It was beautiful silk, Dupion silk to gather up. Yeah. I know. It's a, it does take as daunting, isn't it, sometimes when you think, oh, God, I've got all that to do. I hear you're making cat's wedding dress. So, yeah, well, yes. Come on, cat. <laughs> Was you, were you here when, I won't do it on air, don't worry, but you're here, oh, you're here when you heard the story earlier. Yeah? Yes. Poor old cat. Yeah. Thought she was getting a diamond. <laughs> she was getting an Xbox instead. <laughs> She's got to do that a little bit more. It's quite a frill on this, actually. And just ease it out. So you get as much as you want. So remember to leave your um, 1.5 on your centre back. Oh, okay, so you don't run it straight up to the edge. You've no, just run it up to where the yeah, seam because you will because break. you've got to put you've got to put an invisible zip in there. Now there is there is um, you do leave a section at the top that um, it could be on the one that Adam did um, for a hook. You can put a hook and eye on oh, there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the zip starts at where the seam is and yes, goes down. Yeah. And you put a little so hook you, and eye you can put a there. little hook and eye on your yeah. um, 
on the frill if, yeah. if you want and to. And sadly, you do need to put, you will need to put a zip in this dress. It's not one, because normally we try and find a, a reason not to put a zip in, but you've got to put a zip for in me. this one. For me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's just concealed zips. I know I've spoken about it before on here. Yeah. Just concealed zips. Got the hook and eyes, nickel. Hook and eyes. Doesn't work. Did he just shake his hook and eyes at me? It's not the same thing, is it? One ninety nine. Right. I haven't. I haven't. Um... Right now, if you just buy this, if you just buy that today and nothing else, you'll still go into the draw for fifty half meters of core fabric as today's price. I'll have to find out from Hayley when we're announcing that. I don't quite know when we're announcing that. Because we haven't announced who won the cushion yesterday, have we? The cushion. Yeah, so I, take, I tuned in for five minutes yesterday to watch Wendy Orlando. And um, Stuart was here and he had, there was a cushion here and I texted Kat going, oh, I want that cushion, can I have that cushion? She goes, John, it's a, well, not that we're allowed to take samples home, but um, I don't, yes, exactly. Um, I, and she went, no, it's the prize, today's prize. And I was like, oh. What was it? It was, a, it was, it's from the New York and something foundation paper piecing book. And it was a round circle with what? Alison Glass fabric. And it's, it's all, fa it's lots, lots of triangles, flying geese going round on this cushion. It's just, it was Ooh. beautiful. Message from Lindsay. Morning, just purchased the terracotta bundle, new to dressmaking, but going to give it a go from Lindsay in Essex. Right, the terracotta one. Um, I'd give it a spray with Best Press or something like that. If you if you find it's really good quality fabric and it's really easy to sew with. But if it's your first, you must have been doing sewing beforehand. It's not like sewing with cotton. It's not like sewing with a stable fabric. But it's beautiful to work with. Um, yeah. There's only five of those bundles there. Oh, before I forget. Oh yes. Before I forget, this is nothing to do with sewing. Oh okay. <laughs> Oh no, what are you going to say? <laughs> oh no, it's nothing, it's nothing awful. But can you, can you, because I'm on with you now, can you just say hello to Sorry. my mum, what's Susan. She, what's she called? Susan. 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 <laughs> Susan. Why am I saying hello to your mum, Susan? Cause, because you're her favourite. Oh, Susan. And also... Yeah, first of all, Susan, why has she got a middle name? Yes. Secondly, I'm sorry I called the captain <laughs> for a whole hour earlier. It's not like we haven't known each other for 30 years. <laughs> and um, hello, Susan, and she'll be out of your hair as soon as possible. Possible, yes. They've had to move in. So Rebecca sold her house. Not giving any secrets away. Rebecca sold her house, but the chain's gone a bit weird with her, the Ooh. one that she's buying. Yeah. <clears throat> so she and everybody, the dog, the children, everybody, they've all yeah. had to move into Susan's house. For Christmas My as well. Poor mum and dad. That, and Susan's got a little cat, a very demure cat. Isn't that the right way around? Yes, yeah, she's yeah, got a cat, yeah, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. And she's got Rebecca's got a dog. Yes. So, so you can all... imagine how that's all going down. <laughs> I know. And and you also need to say Oh, and oh, there's, hello, more. There's, there's more. There's more, there's more. You also need to say hello to um, my mum's lovely neighbour Pat. These are a pound each, you know. Sorry. Right, so Pat Pat, Pat yes. Pat, your mum's neighbour. Yes. Pat. And you're you're She's her got a pub. Get out of my pub. <laughs> and what what? She, you're her favourite. I'm her favourite too. Oh, yeah. Pat, thank yeah. you. So Does she Pat all, do sewing? She always watches. She do always you know watches. what they do in their vill in their village? Oh yeah. They they um, they've got a sewing group. Oh nice. So they go and they take their sewing. It's, yeah. it's more about cake and tea. Yeah, of course. I yeah. think of course, but that's that's, so they go to the that's nice. Hall. Yeah, they go to um, yes, and yeah. um, and well, you know, pre. Um, Covid, yeah. they'd be around each other's houses oh, nice, and things. Yeah. Um, so they do that, and then they also they do a bit of crocheting as well. Oh, so, so watch Yarn Lane. Then yeah, as well, yeah. So they, yeah, they do um, lovely uh, crocheted poppies. Oh. So when it's remembers my mum and Pat. Yeah, Pat. 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 <laughs> yeah, my pub. <laughs> Does she wear dangly earrings? <laughs> Oh, Pat, she's from uh, she's from Litchfield. What does that mean? <laughs> well, she's about as far away from London. from the east end from as possible. The east. I mean, she's posh. It's pa oh, she's it's posh, posh Pat. Posh. It's posh Pat from number forty-two. From Litchfield, bless her. Is Litchfield posh then? Litchfield, um, yeah, I think people oh, who live on, in Lord live Litchfield. in Litchfield. The what? 
Look, people that live in Litchfield, I think, probably think. Yeah, it's yeah, and Lord much. Litchfield did the, used to. Wasn't he a photographer? And he was married yes, to. Yes, he lived at um, Sugborough Hall, which was literally down the road oh, from where I used to live oh. in Rugeley. We had a royal wedding in Chester when I was younger, and he was doing all the. Oh, which which royal will that have been? Any, oh, it might, it might have been the Earl of Westminster, Duke of Westminster, but he did all the pictures for that and everything. Not that I was there. But, no, know. it's beautiful house, yeah. isn't it? Stunning. So what, what I'm doing here yeah, is sorry, I'm attaching. Gone, gone off sorry, Susan, you've I'm taken so us sorry because I was asking the... you to. So what I've done is I've I've attached the frill. Yeah. Um, and now I'm just attaching the lining. So um, I'm going to attach the light the lining around the neck. So what's going to happen is when it's done, it's all encased. Right. So did you? So you're tack not going to see frill on. Or well, would you I tack the frill I would. On? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you tack the frill to the, the neckline of the bodice. Yes. Then you put the lining on top, right side of the lining next to it. To yes, that's it, yeah. yeah. And then stitch it through, yeah. yeah. Yeah, stitch that down. Sorry, I'm blaming Pat and Susan for taking us away from <laughs> sewing for a while. Even though I'm their favourite. <laughs> you are. They'll be thrilled, honestly. Like, I can hear them now. Cackling. All the way from Yarpole. Where? Yarpole. Oh, so she doesn't live in Litchfield now then? No, 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 no. Oh, she went she up in the world to next, Yarpole. Next door to my mum and dad now in Yarpole. Yarpole. I've never even heard of that. Yarpole. It's very, it's, oh, it's, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful village. Do they natter over the fence? Yeah, well, over the hedge really. Oh. <laughs> they have fences, they have hedges. Oh. Um, nice. No, no, it's very, very nice. It's, it's very nice. Uh, Kat has got this rose hedge down the side of her house and she thought she asked her dad to trim it and she came home and the dad had got rid of the whole thing there was just a bare wall there was no roses no nothing oh, oh no. not quite what you wanted no but it's not her it wasn't her garden either it's next door's garden oh, <laughs> oh it's growing back now <laughs> oh it was an ivy i thought it was a rose oh that's not so bad then is it that's it's just has your new front door arrived yet? Mine aren't coming till the 7th of January now. Mine were due. When was it? June? Was I supposed to get them in June, March, April, May, June? No, I remember you yeah. um, saying about that, yeah. They can't get the glass because the gas is so expensive and you need gas to make glass, apparently. Oh. Uh, so, the, so yeah. So I rang the same people who are making my awning and I went, I've had to wait this long for my door, I'm not waiting for that long for my awning. And they went, there's no glass in your awning, Mr. Scott, that'll be fine. It's like, okay. <laughs> That's me told. <laughs> so there you go. Oh. It's quite, it's pretty actually. Oh no, it's really it? pretty. It's very it? pretty. There you go, round like that. And then, um, where am I? Match your shoulders. Yeah. Pin in there, under there. Okay, so Kat's still talking about the wedding dress you're going to make, <gasps> right? So Kat and What's Liam it gonna have been be together like? for 10 years, right? There's no wedding coming up. He's spending his money on an Xbox. She's spending her money on a new phone. So we're suggesting that you make the wedding dress anyway. And she's just standing there just, in the wedding dress when he yeah. comes down on Christmas morning. She could just be standing in her yeah. wedding dress. I think, I think what you ought to do is just, is just organise it all. And then just oh. tell him when to turn up. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I've had a message from your mother. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, Mum. <laughs> no, she said, thank you, John. I'm thrilled you said hello to us. I'll oh, send our love to Pat as well. Pat, Pat. you're going to get some dangly earrings for Christmas. <laughs> I think we should just do that anyway. I, okay. Yeah, I'll take, I'll, a pic some. I'll take a picture of her and send it yeah, to you. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Oh, I bet she's really posh and demure. She got silver grey hair. She has. I could see that. She has. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just pinning my um round the armholes. Uh-huh. So this is just to hold the lining so in place. So just to hold the, the lining in place, yeah. So does the lining does oh we've only got a couple of minutes. Oh, oh no, gosh, we're we? off. Oh gosh. Does the lining go down the sleeve or does it stop at the armhole? No, no. It just it um it just stops at the armhole. Okay. So right. it's literally only covering the front and the back of the body. So it's yes. hiding the edges of the zip and it's hiding the raw edges of the 
pie crust fill. Yes. That's all it's doing. Yes. And you and um, you waste as well. So oh when, yes. So where the gathers yeah. are attached. So when to the waistline, when yeah. you attach your skirt um, to to your uh, waistline, don't attach your lining as well. Leave that free. Yeah. And just attach the skirt to this part, and then um, you know press it press it all, um, and then you can move. The, uh, put your lining down and turn it in, and then it makes a nice, neat Beautiful. edge. In it your... looks like a handmade, yeah. exquisite yeah. couture right. What dress, can I show you before? I want to see the fabric gathered up. Have you done gatherings in the in the big fabric? Here's here's the here's the big um, the, the yeah around the skirt. Yeah. So I mean, it gathers up really nicely. Beautiful, look, yeah. I mean, so just... maybe I'm taking it back. Maybe I was wrong. I know I was wrong. I'm not saying maybe. I know I was wrong. I know what you're saying, though. I, I, get, I get what you're yes. saying. I completely understand yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. But it works. So if yeah. you have bought the bundle, it works. You can't, it will work. But it's just, um, I always presume that something like that would be made out of cotton. What's the matter, Cap? Got a question. Oh, Danny's very... John, you mentioned Best Press. How does this help? For... Oh, it's a different Danny. It's a different Danny. Sorry. We had a Danny messaging Neil earlier. Um, right. So if you Best Press... Um, viscose fabric just for the beginning bit right when you cut it out it doesn't move around and when you stitch it it makes it just that little bit more stable just press, press the back of the fabric and just iron it on and everything and it literally and then as soon as you wash the dress or anything it'll disappear again but it just makes it a slightly more stable to sew because you know sometimes when you put two layers of this viscose together it gets air underneath you have to tap it out and one won't want to go sometimes it's like two magnets not wanting to go together just put the best press on or just stabilize it just for the time you're sewing it all right i'm just very quickly putting the um skirt together okay while you're stitching that, should I just recap? Yeah. And then you can, because you're just staying a straight line, yeah. aren't you? Right, where would you like me to go, Cap? Alexa dress, first of all, which is this one here. Now, 1749 is what it's meant to be. And then if you go, if you Google it, which, oh, I thought we were going to show that a minute ago. Uh, everywhere else you look for this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're allowed to show this, but there you go. 1750, 21.99. 21 pounds, 21.99, 17.50, 18.99. And ours today is 12 pounds 24. 12 pounds, and that's only till midnight tonight. Only till midnight. Lady Alexa frill dress from a six to a 22. You can make it longer as well, obviously, because that looks quite short on her, doesn't it? I think Adam actually made his a little bit longer. You just add a bit to the length. Okay, that's that one. Then we've got the Bella tea dress, which is a longer dress, and that doesn't have the high neck, it has like a, it has a Peter Pan collar on this one. Two different sizes. 14 to 22 is this one, most popular. Limited, limited, limited. Now, this one will be 12, 12, 24. 12, 24 is what it will be. You will pay 12, 24 for that, not 17, 49. Uh, we have to get Haley to physically do something. She'll be busy playing on that thing. You know that thing where they play to... That's why Neil's hair was a mess. Right, then this one here, which is your 6 to 14. 6 to 14, that one. Beautiful. Then I've got the little girls' dresses. I've got the Kiki Dungaree set. Uh, £12.24 till midnight tonight, then that's it. It's funny we haven't got to crash that one again. Some you have to crash again, don't you? Oh, okay. Right, yo. And then this one here, which is the one on the, the desk there, the Mabel tea address for little girls, six months to four years, will be 8 74 Oh, no. June says, I wish the dress pattern wasn't called Alexa. Every time you say it, my Alexa leaks, leaps to life. <gasps> no, because you know what? When I did my um, Facebook Live one Sunday, I went, Alexa, play Funky Frog or whatever it was called. Or Disco Frog. What's the frog song? Crazy Frog. And everybody's Alexas all then went off. And then we did something else, didn't we? I should have done a Christmas carol, really, today, shouldn't I? Right. Fabric. Terracotta. I think this is limited now. Three left. Right, now it's three and a half metres. Just look at the price, right? It's three and a half metres, 29 99 Makes it four pounds something. 
a half metre. 428 a half metre. That is not right. Trees are a green. Is the trees are green? Thank you, everyone, for an absolutely fabulous morning on Sewing Street. Full of laughs, great demos and luscious fabric. Te oh, it's Terry. It's hey, Luna. Luna, squirrels. I saw you. I saw you messaging. I saw you messaging the other day because obviously Delphine had said, what dog do you want me to um, make a cushion of or a wall hanging of? And about a million people sent pictures of their dogs in onto Facebook, didn't, onto the Facebook fan page. Yeah, Terry, still another hour. We were here till one. We're here till one. Gary's in. He's changed his shirt and everything. Oh, that one sold out. That one sold out. Right, then we've got the yellow uh, Wiltshire Shadow, Wiltshire Shade. £44.94. Three and a half metres you get for that one. But remember, if you want to get any of the new liberties from earlier today, and, and, and check the back of the packet for size, because you won't need three and a half for all of them. Okay, I'm not quite sure what they've, put, what they've done on that one. All right, okay. Then I've got the red one. To Christmas tablecloth. 44.94. Oh, John, no, you said, Alexa, play Baby Shark. Anyway, moving on. So I've got two, or is one sold out? Pale pink. Has the um, Carnaby one sold out then? Oh. She, you like to use the word finally when it's not finally, isn't it? So, yeah. And then here we go. This is gorgeous, this one. There's only one bundle left. Come on, graphics. 44 and 94, three and a half metres, but you're only paying for three. Okay, we've got uh, two minutes, Rebecca. Right, okay. I'm just I'm madly trying to yeah, come on, attach up. this um What will your mother skirt. think? You're not finished in time. I know. Pat, you'll be the gossip of, of Yar... Yarpole. Yarpole. Oh, Yar did you see that, pole. Rebecca? I know. finish. <laughs> I won't be allowed back in. No. I'll get they back. They your key. I'll get back, yeah. Do you know what? I, all the time my mum and dad lived in, I, I never ever had a key to their house. Oh, ever. really? When I lived there, when I lived there, or after I'd left and, no. And somebody said the other day, isn't it funny how you just turn up at your parents' house? Like, it's so easy, oh, right, I'll go and see my mum. Yeah. I can't, obviously can't anymore, mine aren't with us. But you just literally go, oh, I'll just go over there. Just let, not let yourself in, I'd have to ring the doorbell. But like, they've got a life, haven't they? And you kind of think, you just presume, well, it's where I grew up. I can go whenever I want. I know. And people just go home. Well, I'm there yeah, permanently at the around. moment. She's got keys still for her mum and dad's house. She goes around and puts her washing on in their house. Please, could you show the Sussex pattern again? The image is odd on pre-order. All right, then. The, oh, well, no, I haven't got the Sussex patterns here. Which one did you want? Uh, Julie, if you're really, really quick, I could get Gary to get it off the trolley for me, but I need to know which one you wanted. Go back to Rebecca. Right, just pushing this on here. So I would stitch around that. So that's just attaching my skirt. Uh -huh. So it's quite a full skirt. Let's see if I can... The right way. I'm just looking. I don't know what I've done with that hour. So it's got a gentle... I haven't, I haven't spent enough time no, okay, um, back. Get, getting these gathers um, right. But you can just see, gives you the idea that... Um, oh, look, it does work beautifully, doesn't it? And that's how it's... Yeah. And if it looks good that bad, imagine how good it looks when it's done it, properly. If you did it properly, exactly. And then you've got a big frill, if yeah. you so want to, that um, goes around the bottom so there's this now uh, would you attach the little frill to the big part of the skirt before you attach the skirt to the bodice or would you attach the main part of the skirt to the bodice and then add the frill on afterwards which what which one look so the... you've, you've got from the waist you've got one oh, here? skirt that goes down would you attach that frill to the skirt before you attach the skirt to the bodice 
or would you attach the skirt to the bodice and then have the bottom frill afterwards? Yeah, well, it, either, to be honest. I no, mean, it doesn't so make any some, difference. No, some, I mean, sometimes it's, e it's easier to, um, to attach this before you attach it to the, to the bodice yeah. part. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, so it's however you... Six half of one and yeah, six of the other. However you want to do it, yeah, really. Okay. Um, very quickly, I'm not sure, Julie, which one you wanted to see that looked odd on pre-order. Oh, the Petworth. Oh, hang on. Petworth, there you go. That's the picture of the Petworth there from the other hour, Julie. I hope that's the one you want. Okay, that's that one there. That's that one there. From, the fir uh, from Rebecca's first hour. That's that one there. I hope that helps, Julie. Right. When are you back in next then, Rebecca? Um, I don't know. I haven't got my dates through yet. I promise Sometime. I'll learn your, your name for next Sometime time. in the new year. Well, obviously. Yeah. Oh, well, listen, have a lovely Christmas. And you as well. Have a and lovely And with time. your mum and Pat next door. Yeah. Will you be going around for mince pies, do you think, at some point? <laughs> well, we don't know what we're going to be allowed know. to do, do no, we? No, exactly. Don't know yet. Anyway, really? so lovely, really lovely to see you. Looking and really you well. as well. I like your hair like that, so oh, don't change it. Oh, thank you. Right. Well. And I just have to say thank you again for making this fantastic show. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute there you pleasure. Go. Right, so don't go anywhere. After break, Gary's here with the Dukey, the big Dukey machine, the one you can watch the telly, me on the telly on if you want to. And uh, he's done this bundle that is incredible. The amount of gifts that you get with this one is incredible. And you'll still get it delivered, obviously, in time for Christmas. So we'll see you in four minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Gary is in the building. Woo! He's not in enough, is he, our Gary? There he is. Look, he's still busy. Good morning. Wave, 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 wave. There he is. 
after that. Uh, you're not in enough, Gary. We don't see you enough. I know, and I do apologise. I'd love to be here more, but as we all know at the moment, it's still stock availability. Yeah, oh, we're, it's, it's yeah, still, an we're issue. still getting pulled around, obviously, on what <coughs> we've got. Yeah. So, no, when I can, you know, I, I come up and see you when I can, and I yeah. always bring something nice with me. Well, no, so. exactly. And also, <laughs> yeah, in time for Christmas, that's the main thing. And this machine, now, Gary's normally here for two hours. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, oh, I'm gonna have to drink a water. But <coughs> Gary's normally here for two hours, only here for one hour today, so I'm not gonna be as noisy as I normally am. He's just got one machine with him, but boy, oh boy, is it the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate of sewing machines. It is fantastic. You know about Juki quality, you know about everything. Well, you're gonna find out now as well, but it is a fantastic machine. Now, look, it's £3,495. I understand a considered purchase. When you see, when you see what it does, right? you are going to love it, right? Now, look at the split pay. Five split pay of £699. You paid that today, £699. Obviously, you pay four more afterwards, but we send it to you. So, if you buy it today, Gary's team will get an email tomorrow saying, Mrs. Miggins from Manchester has just bought this. He will ship it straight out because we, we're only allowed to sell what are on our shelves at the Dukey Warehouse in Essex, aren't we? Exactly. And, and... We only have a limited number of this bundle. And like, because of, uh, because of um, availability and things like that. And also, like Gary says, who knows what's gonna happen in the new year now, uh, whether we're gonna be able to get stock. Prices, we've seen prices of everything going up, right? Today, you'd pay you 3,495 pounds, but you're gonna get over 300 pounds worth. You're not gonna save it in cash, but you're gonna get it in all the bundle that Gary has put together for you today. So if you've got any questions, you can email them in or send them in on Facebook Live and I'll shout them at Gary as we're going along. But I literally want him to show. Oh, here you go. Very quickly, this is what the bundle holds, right? Twin thread stand, shank adapter, free motion foot, 10 bobbins, at that £249.80, plus a sew set combining a binder foot, button sew foot, that's £59.95. So if you add... Two hundred and forty-nine eighty and fifty-nine ninety-five. You got well over three hundred pounds there, haven't you? Hang on, two forty-nine, two ninety. Yeah, just over three hundred pounds. Just over three hundred pounds. Right. So I promised I wouldn't talk very much. I know it's going to find it difficult, but Gary, why should we buy this machine? Right. Well, we brought the lovely Kiri, the UX8, back with me on here. The lovely, nice thing, as you can see, big, big arm. 12 inch arm, 30 centimeters mm -hmm. uh, on there. So it's the biggest non embroidery system arm on the market there. But it's that typical dookie quality. Even though we've made this a bit bigger, a bit flashier, a bit more to play with, a bit more fun, the sewing side we've kept to our typical mechanical sewing system on there. So mm -hmm. box feed, rotary system, smooth, fast, and powerful. And as people sort of, again, as we appreciate as well, engineering, that sound, that quality, the smoothness. So I'm using it all with the start stop button and we've got that perfect speed control on the machine. Mm -hmm. As you can hear, or maybe not hear no, in this anything, case, no? obviously I can then graduate the speed. I've got perfect control over the machine on there. And we can see on the screen here, we can see exactly what it's doing well, it's as the stitches is going through. As it's going through as well, I can elongate the stitch length, make it longer and shorter, all as we're sewing. Uh -huh. And we can see on the screen as well, you can see can the, get close on the screen all now, the graphics please. are changing on there. Right, so you can see exactly what first, we're doing. So come to the screen. You have to turn it round, Gary, I think, so we can... Oh, it's going to go off the end. And right on the end, but again, 100% jam proof, right. fully self lubricating. Okay, hang on, before we do that, let's just. Oh. So there we, you go, there you go, so there you go. So we can see on the screen there. So as I alter the stitch length, as you can see, it's changing size on screen. Yeah. So again, it's, it's true graphics. Thanks, Emma. And then when I start actually to sew, and then as, as you will see, it will then start producing or feeding the pattern through. So the nice thing about that, if we are actually then producing any of the decorative creative patterns we can see exactly what point it what, is and yes exactly. and alter it as we're going as mm -hmm. well perfect so that's the nice thing having that screen around to play with on there now the important thing to say is that side of the machine yeah it's mechanical it's completely it? mechanical that's the one thing I hear with Juki same as all our industrial machines as well no computerization in the feed system the hook system even the actual mechanical pressure system as well even though we've got the auto foot lift on here uh -huh. with the electronics the, have a sort of bit of automatic on it, it's still connected to a full mechanical system. So again, very, very important to us on that sewing side. Obviously, 
it's nice to have all the swings and roundabouts, but if you take away that quality of performance, it's not there's good no for point anybody. In, there's absolutely, absolutely no not. point in having it if it doesn't sew nicely. You can have every gizmo going, can't you? But if it doesn't sew nicely, there's absolutely no, no point. But if it doesn't make our life more enjoyable to sew, yeah. then there's no point having it. So that side is all mechanical, and then you've done all the, the swings fun, and roundabouts on this and side. And have here. the fun side uh, on Jenny here. Jenny Jackson yeah. says hello, by the way. Oh, hello, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. What we have, guys, so yeah, at the moment, we've got it just switched the machine on. Obviously, I've just taken it out of the box, so nothing is automatically set. Everything is just press, see what you want, press the start, and away you go on there. So the idea now with the UX8, we can completely tailor make it to our type of sewing. Whatever sewing we're doing, using the uh, screen on the front to do single individual tailor making, uh -huh. or we can actually go into the machine and then set the machine up to exactly how we want it on here. So the nice thing about it is, say, just for instance, the brightness. So obviously working with glasses, maybe bifocals, working under these studio lights, which are fantastic, which not everybody's got no, on there. Not, no. So what we can actually do is go in and change then the light. So we can alter the light up oh, and down. Yeah, so it. we can graduate or we can see that on there. So that's yeah. lighter, darker. Also, we can turn how warm we want it as well. So I just turn it right up. On there, and if we look at that, we can take the warmth down, we can take it up, so we can take the LED brightness down uh -huh. and then take it down. So you can customize it to exactly how exactly you want it. Exactly your yeah. room, and again, as we know, matching in colors, sewing in there, mm -hmm. but obviously, strain on the eyes as well. So we can tailor make that to exactly how we want it on there, just nice and bright. So we can then go in and play around with the sounds on there to turn it upside down because what we have also got built into it as well is we can then download instructional videos on there. So we can actually connect it to the internet oh, okay. on there. So yeah. we've got YouTube built into it, we've got instructional videos. So I just go into here at the moment and press instructional video. Uh -huh. What we have then got is the whole instruction manual in video format so, as well. So is it like your phone? Do you do it when you get it home, it will ask you to plug in your Wi-Fi exactly code. So if you double it up, oh, I'll get my code away. But no, you, also, <laughs> you, 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 you put that in and then it picks up like your mobile phone so or your iPad does. Literally and I walked into the office this morning, obviously unpack the machine, put in your Wi-Fi yeah, code yeah. here. And this is what we're working from at the moment. Okay, and then Simplest literally, so that's, like, that. that's YouTube with all your instructions. Is it YouTube? Where this, you well, this at the moment is all the instructional videos actually built into oh, it. Oh, okay. But then what we can do is say, go on to YouTube, and then, as you say, for instance, we can then say, look, put in... Remember where you are now. Yes. <laughs> I'm never going to live that one <laughs> down, am I? I'm never going to live it down. I'll so, send you later. So, Sewing Street there. And obviously, we've got Sewing Street Live, so I'm going to choose it off the menu. Let's just press that. And here we go, Sewing Street Live. And then we can download. Obviously, we... Oh, there he is. There we go. So we can get all sorts of down auto live videos on here, instructional videos. Obviously, if we're not sure how to do something, halfway through sewing, we can just go to the videos and look. <laughs> you can hear it and everything. <laughs> Without a delay on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, so, but that you don't have to, now, you can't sew and watch at the same time. No, you can can't. You? Again, which which that, is like driving. You yeah, don't want to be the watching. safety features on there, yeah. also, you don't want to. Also, you say, if you, we all know, if you're suddenly doing concentrate on something like this, and you then start looking at the screen, you're naturally oh, going yes, to yes, exactly. <laughs> you do this now, as well Now, the instructional videos, what are they, what kind of things are they then? Are they so, just how to use the machine? How to use the machine, how to actually then, different types Ooh. of sewing as well. Yep. So, again, we can go on to there. So, if, we, if we're not quite sure, then how to put in, say, for instance, an invisible zip. Yeah. We could then just type in. Oh, Rebecca needs that. She hates putting in invisible zip. It's, it's one of those things that can be a little bit tricky, but once you've oh, done it, so it's, it's great. So it's not just things to do with the with the actual sewing machine. It's no. things to actually, so if you don't have to put in an invisible zip, you can look up and it's an instruction on how to and do it. And then how to insert an invisible oh, zip on there. So it gives you a, a live instruction manual for whatever your needs are. Uh -huh. But obviously a complete instruction manual, as well as obviously a nice, Book as well. It still comes with your nice book. Yeah, there yeah. As so well. all of that book's in there as well. All of it's ultimately yeah. built in. And the nice thing with that as well, if I just go then home, and then has it got a coffee machine on it? As well? There, well, that's the thing. Is it will allow you more time to go and make yourself a coffee, and you can watch a video then while you're doing it exactly. as well. So exactly. you have all got right, that. Then. So what we can then do is I go back to the settings on yeah. here. So once we go in and sort of start, start tailor making the machine, as we say. 
for the different types of settings, we can go in and we have then got a full instruction manual built into the screen as well. So it's rather hard copy, so you can zoom in, oh, you can then wow. choose parts out yep. of it. So again, it allows you to go that lot more in de depth with how to use the machine, what the machine's Well, also, in. how often you get something new, you flick through it when it's new, you then put it in the manual drawer, <laughs> or don't right. know where you it's put it. It's in that safe place somewhere. <laughs> and then you're sitting in your machine thinking, oh, I've got to get up, go and find the manual, you can just look it straight up in the machine. Literally look it straight up on the machine. So again, no, you have to worry about that again on there. Brilliant. So it is a fantastic actually building a machine to how you want to sew. And obviously in here we do have a history button as well. Obviously it's a brand new machine, so at the moment I can't no show history. you, but at the end of the show I'll show you again what we've been doing because it will automatically give you the 10 set favourite stitches. Oh, your wow. Last not just how the stitch is, but how you've set it, i.e. needle up, needle down, thread trimmers, etc. that way. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to normal sewing. So uh -huh. at the moment, we've just been doing straight stitch on there with nothing automatically set into it. I'm just going to cut the, stitch, the thread there, and then we lift the foot up, and I'm going to start from the scratch on there. Right. So what we can do is now tailor make the machine. So at the moment on straight stitch as we said, so I can actually get it to tie on at the beginning, so it'll do a forwards and back stitch, or I can actually have it so it stitches on the spot. Difference usually if you're doing patchwork and quilting, you want a single stitch, we'll see reverse stitch for dressmaking, yeah. etc. that way, or we can turn it off. And then at the end, I'm going to get it to automatically tie off at the end. Okay. I want it to automatically lift the presser foot when I've finished as well, right. and I want it to cut the threads when I've finished as well. So now when I press start, here we go, forwards, back, forwards. Yeah. And if you notice that, it was off the cloth, it sewed on the cloth, off the cloth and on, and it won't jam up, it won't pull the threads down. Excellent. Then we can just take it, obviously we can speed the control to how we want it. Obviously we're in a very small stitch length at the moment, so I can just take that up a little bit as yeah. we're going as well. Mm -hmm. And once we get to the end of the seam, all I do is press the reverse button once, it will stop, it will reverse, it will forward, it will finish, cut the threads, needle up and foot up, so I just have to take it So out. you press the reverse button, not the green start stop button? Yeah, the start stop button will literally just start stop it. Okay. The reverse button and the, the point button above it is an activation button. Okay. Perfect. So I can use it as a manual reverse if I want to, yeah. or basically I can tell the machine when I to want it to finish. To do all the settings that you set literally up. What we just set yeah. on there. Brilliant. And now that's set in there, even when we've now changed and go to different stitches, if I go back to that stitch within the history, it will memorise all the settings exactly how we do it. So Perfect. Oh, wow. That's so when we're swapping brilliant. between projects, we yeah. haven't got to stop and think, what did I do there? Yes. We can just go into the history of the machine, so which is fantastic, fantastic that way. Yeah. On there. So, and that's obviously just a nice thing, uh, how simple and direct the screen is. Uh -huh. so a lot of people, when you start looking at computerised machines, you think, oh, what am I going to get put off? I can't, I have problems using my phone, I'll lose this, lose yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not an open memory machine, i.e. I can't upload and download within the normal sewing situation. Obviously, I can download yes. uh, yeah. uh, videos, etc. that yeah. way. But when you're on the normal sewing, it will not allow you to do anything wrong. As you say, we've got the start stop button which will turn colour. Yep. So we know when it's right and if it's not happy the machine. So at the moment it's well. not letting you do anything because it's on red. That's it. And so we press oh. that, it will then come up on the screen exactly what we've done. If I just press that, I think it's a bit quicker than missed the screen yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So lower press a foot. So again, oh, so can, even something as simple as that, it won't let you sew because your press foot's not that's down. That's it. Well, and it tells you why on the screen what's exactly, wrong. Exactly. You can sit there thinking, why is it not sewing? Yeah, so know that's step-by-step instructions, yeah. which is, is what we want mm -hmm. as well. Especially when it's a new machine as well, when we're thinking of other things. Of course it is, yeah. It's, again, you know you're not going to damage it at all. You're not. It's going to be very, very difficult to make any mistakes, and you certainly can't misprogram it at all, mm -hmm. So, which is nice there. So, say, so just getting on and going is just easy, and then... To have some fun with it is easy as well. So all I did then was press the pattern number, 001, right. which takes us straight into the memory. So there's different ways we can play around and get the different stitches on it. I can just use the screen and I can then scan up and down exactly through by page by page. So nice and simple, so we've got it all there in front of us. Right. Uh, but then the other way of doing it is I look up and I can choose a stitch number Using the three dials now when I'm on the stitch pattern. Oh, hang on, let's wear the three dials. So at the and bottom of the, the mean here. There. So this will take oh. us up and down. Oh. In yeah. the, so we can see the two, three, four. Oh, okay, there. yeah, yeah. The middle one will take us in the tens. Yeah. And then the end one will take us in the single ones, digits on yeah. there as well. So we can do a direct program. Are there different zones or will it just, would you have to choose a different zone? On this one, uh, you can actually go in and program then each number from 
any of it because all of them, even though it's got different zones in, every pattern has an individual number still. Fine. So you can go directly to a zone. Um, so for instance, across the top here, so I want to then go straight into like the vintage setting. Right. I can go straight into there and then it will then start with that group of numbering. But if you don't know what zone you're looking for, you can just scroll through it and have a look. Exactly. Look and all, have a play, yeah. have a fiddle. And it's, and but that's does that the nice mean then at the moment there's more than 500 stitches then? Uh, built into it, you, you say, you, uh, oh, you've got about 700 stitches to play around with, plus oh. alphabets, plus you can do the creativity side as well. Okay, so hang on, the 700 doesn't include the alphabets? No. So it's 700 stitches. Of variations of, of stitches. Yeah, yeah, variations. Yeah, 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 of course. There. And then alphabets. You've got then the, basically you've got four uh, English alphabets on there right. and you've got then sort of uh, Chinese and Japanese lettering built okay. into it as well. Yeah. So, um, and obviously with nice thing with those as well, you can build patterns and lettering and numbering together to make up bigger designs, obviously motifs, mm. labels, etc. that way. So, Fantastic. which is really nice. So now all I do is now when I do this one, choose a different stitch just by touching again the stitch you want. So this is now come on to a cross stitch design. Right. So now the blue circles, yeah. are they the settings that you put in earlier that, about go backwards, forwards, lift the foot and cut the thread? They they stay there, do they? They kind of do. Okay. Yeah. So okay. what it's done, it's it's automatically left the thread cutter on and it's also then the foot auto foot raise. Yeah. But because of the type of embroidery stitch it is, it knows it doesn't want to do a reverse stitch. Right. Because it's going to be quite big. Oh. So it's automatically turned the tie on and off into a single point. So now when we start this... Oh, so it does it for you? It did this for me because it knows I want to tie on and off, yeah. but it won't want to do it in a reverse stitch. It of wants course to do it in a single yeah, point. Yeah. So again, it knows the stitch, so it won't allow it to look... Okay. But it won't... So it now I'm sewing along, yeah. that type thing, oh, I need it bigger than that. That's it, so again... Or smaller, whatever. Smaller, wider, I can then take it down, as we can see on screen then. I can taper it all as I'm sewing as well. <gasps> and this is a nice thing about playing around with the designs as you go. You're not stuck, you're not restricted to what it is on there. And then when, again, when I get to the end, I can just press the reverse button. Again, because it's going to tie it off on the spot. Yeah. Stop, needle up, foot up, and it's cut the thread. So again, we can just take this out. So it automatically knows where, on which stitches it can reverse and which stitches it exactly can't Exactly it, yep. So it looks after again, it mm -hmm. protects you, it protects itself that way as well, which is really nice. And do we need to change the, I know I'm going to start jumping all over Please the do, now. yeah. The, the foot plate, the, 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 do we need to change the plate for different things? Not at all. Um, oh. So at the moment, we've, we've got it set with our utility machine. So right. that means I can do absolutely everything I want on right. there. So on there, so you've got all your buttonholes, your overlocking, your hemming, your creative stitching and things we'll like that. We'll go through the feet in a second. So but, absolutely. But, but, so because so, on a lot of machines, you have to get, there's three different needle plates that you have to keep swapping and changing. Exactly it. Well, I'm not saying we haven't got that. <laughs> just oh. saying, I see it on there. So at the moment, obviously, we've got a really nice multifunction utility machine. Yeah. But again, with Jukies, we're renowned for our industrial quality, our industrial technology. And as you say, there's other machines out there with needle plates on there, which I can flick a little lever, or you can change the plate. Yeah. And it will then change the plate from a zigzag gap to a straight stitch yes, gap. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the zigzag plate. So you get the tool with it, and it's just in the front of the machine. All you do is it just pops in, and it then just clips up. If you could oh, hear that, that. I thought that was your phone. That, that was, was, oh, that, Gary. I shouldn't phone. have that in here, should I? <laughs> uh, so, no, it was uh, a nice little sound to tell me what I'm doing. So, as we can see on there, it's told me to set the throat plate because right. I am now removing the throat plate. So, if I take this off and let's have a look at the throat plate. Okay, now the machine has completely switched itself off now, hasn't it? I mean, the light's still, but you can't do anything. If you started pressing the pre go button, there's Literally nothing. everything is now frozen. Yeah, yeah. So, on so the lights are on, but you, no, no, no one's, one's home. home. <laughs> <laughs> As we like to say on that, definitely. So, now I've taken the plate off, and you say with some machines, you get an interchangeable plate. You just click a zigzag plate on, or a straight stitch plate, yeah. or f flick a little switch mm -hmm. down there. But what it doesn't change is the feed system. Right. So you've still got, got a wide feed system in with multi layers of teeth and things like that. So when you want to gain that perfect straight stitch, you want that performance to be as straight as contact as possible mm -hmm. on there. So if you've got something which again will allow your fabric to move sideways, then again, it's going to be very difficult to get a perfect straight stitch. Well, so we all know how good the straight stitch is, but sometimes you want it to be that little bit extra. You need so to do that work professional. You're doing that. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is it. And this is why when you look at industrials as well, just straight stitch, that's all they do is straight stitch. Yeah, yeah. 
and it's not just the needle plate, it's a specific type of feed system, etc. that way. So, Juki being Juki, and obviously on that side of it. So, with your zigzag needle plate, which is this one here, as we can see, you've got a seven no, point... coming on that. That's right. Okay. On there. So, you've got many, many holes around the zigzag plate. And then you've got the gap for your needle there, and yeah. that's a seven millimeter gap. Right. So, on there. So, we now have a look at the straight stitch needle plate. As you can see, it's now got three lines for the teeth. Yeah. And obviously, they're long travel teeth as well. Uh-huh. So what that will do, it'll give you better movement forward performance instead of less twisting from yes. side to side. And as you can see, we've now got a single dot for your needle plate straight stitch right. on there. So we know it's not going to pull any fabrics down, it's less chance of puckering, etc. Uh -huh. that way. So we've taken that one step further. So I'm just going to take the feet off. Right. Yeah, just press a little button and that clips off to be fair, same as a lot of machines do yep. now. But what we have got now is this feed system. So we can see in here where my finger is. I'm just going to pop that yep. up. Like oh. so, and that then just clips off. Right. So we have now. So that's the feed system that works with the other plate. Then. That's it. That's yeah. your multi teeth feed system. So yeah. multi point feed system in there. So we're going to take it down now to then our straight stitch feed. Right. So take that one away. Yeah. So now we're going to pop that into place. And it just pops in. Literally it? in, clicks into place. Oh, okay. As Easy. simple as that. Yeah. No screwdrivers, no fiddling around at all on there. And again, the machine will recognise what you're doing. So now we're going to put our straight stitch needle plate on. So it literally just goes in, left hand side, and then just clicks into place. Yeah. Again, it's recognised it now. So we're happy with that. We're going to accept that. So the machine itself now, if I press pattern number, where before it gives us the complete seven hundred something, yeah. now it's going to give us three. Oh, okay, because that that's it, because all we you can do. do left, right movement. We can only go forwards and back. So it means there. you can never ruin the machine by accidentally putting a zigzag in, and then the whole system, As well, not just breaking your needle, the whole thing would jar, wouldn't well, it? Well, I think a lot of us at home, we've accidentally left them over a, a zip foot on mm. or an overlock foot, and we haven't moved our needle, and suddenly bang, it yeah. makes a horrible noise, obviously. Um, it can damage the machine with timing. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, it breaks the needle automatically, like Kat was just saying, but also, it's that. Oh yeah, pumping down and on a piece of metal. And obviously, it can't be doing any good. It's not doing any good with your needle bar at all no. on there. It's putting yeah. a lot of strain through that. Absolutely. Exactly. So obviously, it takes all of that out of the equation. Do you have to use a special there. foot then? For that so one? again, I can use my normal feet if I want to, and we have got a selection of different feet. And this is the good thing. What I'm going to show you on here okay, as well. Okay, lots of questions, but we'll do this first, and I'll put. So the we've in. got our standard straight stitch foot. Yeah. On here. We've also then got our quarter inch foot as well. Yeah. So it's got the guide on there. And then we've got our patchwork foot. So we should give you a quarter inch guiding left so, and so right. So that's the quarter so inch foot without the... Without the guide. So more for the piecing. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that yeah, style yeah. on there. But what have you have noticed, I don't know if you, have, if you can notice this in the back, we have got a gap in the back of each of these feet. Right. And the right thing, what we can also now do, is I'm going to put the foot on. So I'm going to line it up underneath into the bar. Oh. Yeah. As always, I haven't chosen a stitch on there. Let's do that one again. So literally just click the foot into place. So right. now we've turned it into a straight stitch machine with a straight stitch foot on. So the feed perfectly is the same size as the bottom of the foot. But the idea now is we've got a built-in dual feeding system or smart feeding system or walking foot. As some okay, people saw but it, there's no walking, it's in the, it's in the back it's of the machine. It's not an attachment you have to screw on and adjust. And the great thing with that, as you've noticed now, I can just click it with a straight stitch foot, but also it will work with my other feet as well. So if I'm sipping certain, if I'm doing patchwork and quilting, yeah. anything like that, I can still use the dual feeding system with those feet. Exactly, but Kat was just saying her walk foot, and the same with my machine, it's a big clumpy thing you have to unscrew. And that's it. So, and I'm not dissing it because it's part it of the machine, a, it but does a job. it's not, it does the job brilliantly, but you do have to unscrew, put it on, screw it on, and it's a big bolt, and you have to make sure that the bar is above the thingy, otherwise, because my next door neighbor, Chris, she's brilliant, right? I guess, oh, my walking foot doesn't work. My walking foot doesn't work. She went, John, you have to have this little... <laughs> I didn't know that when it was first new. Um, I've got a few questions for you, Gary, before yep. you start stitching on that. So Karen says, is the machine a category D and can only jukey feet be used? Right, um, well, there's all the different types of sort of categories, and it depends what manufacturer you go to. There's category A, B, C, yeah, yeah, D. Yeah, yeah. Um, even within the same manufacturer, they will use different fittings. Fine. Is because this one having the smart jaw feeding system, it is 
a high fitting shank. Right. So to go with uh, most categories is like a low fitting yeah. shank yeah. Uh, on there. But part of the actual offer we're doing is we're putting a shank adapter. Which we'll talk it. about in a second. Which also, I think what you also be thinking is like on Elna, I'm, I'm, we're going to be honest, right? On an yeah. Elna, if you buy a 550, 560, 570, that's category B. Yeah. You can only buy category B things fit it. And then you go to the 680, 780 degree, that's a category D. So, And it's basically what fits what. Fits what? Do you know what I mean? You can't put those on that and you can't put those no, on that. No, that's right. So it's sort of the same. We're saying you only buy Juki machines and when you buy something, you say, this is the machine I've got, these are the feet you need to buy. Exactly. Having said that, when you see how much you get with this machine, I doubt you'll ever need to buy another you, you get to a be, large to, amount to, of to attachments with it, absolutely. Right, was there it? another question very quickly? Right, very quickly and then we'll move on to that. I always have trouble with tension on my machine. Can Gary show us how this machine deals with that Celia? Brilliant, excellent question on there. Again, this is that, we, we see this over time and time again where the tensions are thrown out. And a lot of time with people, when they're sort of using different types of threads and things like that, the machine doesn't balance it correctly because it hasn't got even tension or there's certain fabrics you put through it. And it just doesn't like it, either it pucking and gathering. A lot of time it's not actually to do with the tension. Mm. Certainly when you're using the different fabrics is because it's the thread that runs through the tension rather than the fabric. So if you get a good balanced thread, even thread top and bottom, a good machine should keep it balanced whatever yeah. on there. And whether I'm using heavyweight or lightweight fabrics, a t an even tension should be an even tension. So it shouldn't really matter what no. fabrics, but as we all know, there's a lot of differences between some machines coping yeah, exactly, with certain exactly, fabrics. Yeah. But as we like to prove it, Juki, and obviously they're one of those things I mainly get on with, I've got loads of fabrics with me. We don't just sit and play on calico. It's because you know I, c I will pick any piece of fabric up and then away we go on here. So at the moment, I've got three layers of denim. I'm just going to sew straight through it, just uh -huh. give me my side seam. Right. So obviously this is nothing special, nothing too heavy. Well, no, some machines would st struggle with that, though. And you would say just flat fabrics, you'd say some machines, you say within sort of the lower region, again, will struggle, bang, and things like that. And you, you would hope it will get to a slightly higher level with three layers of denim. Shouldn't Should be, be okay, too yeah. much of an issue. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut the threads there, finish it again, the foot lift automatically. But what the difference is, is to say you've got your jean trouser legs on there, uh -huh. etc. So if you want to do a jeans hem, then you've got your fold. But obviously a jeans hem is a double fold. Yeah. So we're going sort of three, six, nine, six layers of, of denim on mm -hmm. there. So we've got quite a really heavy bulk on there. So uh, with most machines, that's when machines will often break needles, bang. Um, or, or it jump stitches. Strains. You'll be going along and then you'll get to the fat bit and the machine will just do one great big stitch goes over the whole lot and you just end up with a like a three quarters of an inch stitch, don't you? That's exactly it. And it's sort of, and again, it's that performance on there. So you've got to unpick it, which then marks your fabric or you yeah. put up with it. So. What we should be able to do, and it doesn't matter what piece of fabric, as soon as you've got to start helping a machine, you start pushing fabrics through it, you know your machine really doesn't yeah. want to take it. So what we're going to do, just going to press start. So again, just that auto tie on. So it's just going to feed through now. I'm not pushing it, I'm just keeping it flat. So it goes through, it's going in through three, up to nine, down to six. Again, it doesn't change the sound, doesn't bang, doesn't murmur. That's amazing. And how many machines do you have to hand crank it over that bit as well, just to kind of get it to go through? Got a quick question from Anne, did you say? Oh, Anna, Anna. Right, here you go very quickly. Can I use my old Elna bobbins in a Juki? Right, again, uh, Elna themselves will, uh, well, <laughs> Let's, a bit of history here. Yeah? It was obviously, you go back and you've got an original Swiss Elna, which obviously are, have changed now. Absolutely not, because they were unique just to those type of Elna machines. Right. If you've got a later Elna, it depends whether it's a, I'm going to use a CB bobbin case, so which is then definitely a node, that's like a front loading yeah, bobbin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a rotary bobbin, which is then top loading on there. If it's a deep fill rotary bobbin, then yes, it will. Yeah. So again, there's no straight answer. No, but I would, this is what this is the advice I always give Anna is I always say because I've got obviously two machines at home. I've got my Elna and everything. I only use Elna bobbins on an Elna, and I would don't when I'm here. I only use the Juki the bobbins that Gary's left for us on the Juki only because yeah. I just think. That's what they were. That's what they're made for. By all means, try your Elna ones if you get this. Just by all means, try your Elna ones, but. In a minute, you're going to see. In fact, we should get onto that in a second because I want you to know not only what you get as the free gift, but what you get 
as standard on this machine because we could be here for an hour just talking about the feet and everything you get. But before we do that, we have only got 20 minutes, so we won't be talking about it for an hour. But All right. <laughs> what's, what's Gary doing then? So, right. So, again, going back to that performance level and, and what we sort of say about different types of fabrics, because, again, having lots to play with is nice, and obviously I'm a bit wary that we have only got yes, 20 minutes it. left on there. So, I do know... The questions and queries is not usually about the decorative patterns, it's about how well does it cope with thickness as a fabric, yep. the type of fabrics we can use, the type of finishes. So so I've gone to that jeans hem as we did here, so sort of up to nine layers of denim. So yep. not Mr. Stitch, not Mr. B. Mm -hmm. Crystal organza, two layers of crystal organza. Again, straight for one tie, I don't touch anything. Yep. Have I opened that up as well? As you can see, it's a perfect flat seam. It's not puckering it. But also, like you've used the same needle, the same everything to go yep. through that. If you're making uh, jeans and then you went onto an organza, I'd then change my needle. But look, look how uh, look at the how perfectly the same needle has gone through. Because you always say, don't you? It's more about the sharpness and the newness of the needle yeah. more than really the size. Isn't Again, it? with the quality of the machine, if you've got a good feeding system, a good sewing penetration with the needle so the needle's not going to move anything like that everything i do and all the years we've been playing on the machines yeah. together and that i have used a size 80 size 12 or 80 on that on absolutely everything yeah. but i change that needle very regularly yes. on there and to me i don't use ballpoint um again i don't use heavyweight needles through thicker fabric a strong machine with a sharp needle will give you top performance on well, there. Well, there you go, and there you go. Unless I'm specifically using heavyweight threads. Yes, then oh yes, yeah, then, then you have no, to, yeah. Then, yeah, course, then no, yeah. I won't. Yeah, so if you're doing one of your car seats and you want very heavy top stitching, then you'll change it to a top, a, a heavy thread top stitch that's needle. That's it, top you? stitch needle, yeah. that's it. So what are you doing now then? So this is velvet. Again, we pick up the awkward fabrics, the tricky fabrics yeah. on here. And we know with this, again, having a smart feed system in there, I've not adjusted anything again. It was straight through. So, crystal organza, denim, velvet. So, as you can see... Because you chose to do black velvet. Uh, well, yeah, really. on there, it's just as, <laughs> it's really quite bad. Don't you look as you see, perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. It's not even there. <laughs> but um, you can see, there's but not also, the other thing about velvet is sometimes the presser foot is too heavy and it does like tram, so you stitch it and think, oh, it's beautifully stitched. Then you open it up and there's two... Two tram lines down that, there. Like yeah. you've had your socks on, you know, too long. And you've got those two lines going on. That's exactly it. And so the nice thing, obviously, having the smart system built into it, you've got the, the differential feed on here. So again, if you've got a slight bit of movement within the velvet, as we know, I can override that by going into the differential feed, which again is quite unique on the machine. So I can then alter the feed system. So on, a, on oh, an overlocker, if, yeah. we, if we watch on here, on an overlocker you have the differential feed which allows the front and back feed to move differently. Yes. It's no sewing machines have got differential feed, but again with our smart system now built into it, we can alter the, the top feed to the bottom feed. So if we want to, there's sort of something little, little simple things where you can get it to cope then, oh, let's really stretchy, horrible fabrics again you wouldn't normally use. Sorry if you've got something at home made out of this. No, it's, it's, horrible, to, it's horrible. horrible to sew fabrics. Yeah, it's, 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 it's beautiful, it's lovely, Christmas fluffy. Christmas pixie outfit, this one is. <laughs> That's all red and green. Yeah, it's lovely. All ready for Christmas. <laughs> so, and then going in even to something like stretch fleece, as I was really, yeah, yeah, sewing yeah, machines yeah. generally you wouldn't touch. All I'm going to do is then alter the differential. Again, it's, it's fabrics I know. If it stretches it, you can go from minus, so it contracts it to stop it from stretching. Yeah. If I want it to gather, I can do automatic gathering as Would well. Would you explain this in the instruction manual? Because I might not know that which exactly. way to turn it. That's from exactly from it. Well, it is always that one of those things. If you've never had it before, it's going to, how does it work? Yeah. Instruction manual is there, obviously, online, on the tuition, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick up the phone and speak oh, to me. Oh, yeah, of course, because that's another thing you're very good at, the customer service, is when your Lando's on the phone every day to them, going, I can't thread a needle, I can't do this, kind of she expects everything. But so you just literally put the same through, that piece of fabric through, same stitch, everything like that. Absolutely. All I've done is made it slightly longer, just a couple of millimetres longer because it's a thicker fabric yeah. on there. But apart from that, I've not touched no, anything else at all. And then if we look, there is absolutely no waving at all. It's, perf right. it's perfectly flat. As we know with fleece jerseys, it often oh, yeah. oh, it waves and roping, stretches. It? Yeah, exactly. exactly. It. And again, if we open the seam up on the inside, absolutely perfectly flat again. Again, this is what a machine should do for you. It should give you that performance level, give you confidence to know whatever I want to sew, whatever piece of fabric I'm picking up, whether I'm dressmaking, 
making something for the Christmas meal, if we're all going out on yeah. the Christmas meals, well, obviously bridal, obviously weddings and that next yeah. year, I think are going to be through the roof on there. Let's hope so, so. It's a machine that's certainly going to cope with all of that. Okay, you've got 15 minutes to get your question in for Gary. What I want you to do now, Gary, is go through all the feet. Uh, it's such a shame, because normally two hours two, is not I enough, know, isn't that it? goes but, quick enough, So yeah. I want you to go through the feet that you get as standard, and then what you're actually, what you've put together as the deal for this, for this yeah, the limited amount there. of machines that we've got. So what we've got built into the machine already, you say, is our smart jaw feeding yeah. system. We've now got our straight stitch foot built on, onto the machine with our straight stitch needle plate and our straight stitch feed. As we've seen, we've got our zigzag needle plate and then with our zigzag feed as well, which then comes with our normal utility zigzag foot. Right. Then we've got our patchwork piecing foot which allows us to use the jaw feeding system as well. Right. Then we've got our quarter inch foot with the guide. Which yes, because sometimes you don't want to use that one because it catches. That it catches it's it's exactly all right if it. you've got an edge of fabric and you're doing a seam, but if you're doing where, you, where it's like a half square triangle, yeah, sometimes it. that one gets in the Literally way. Literally our flat yeah. piecing, yeah. anything like that, if you try twisting with the guide on it, it will twist the fabric up, yeah. which is not good. Yeah. So on there. We've then got our inner ditch foot. So again, for our patchwork quilters on there, which again will allow us to use a smart jaw feeding system. Uh -huh. Then we've got our utility feet on here. So we've got our patterning foot. Now, how do we know which foot we have to use for which stitch? So as we look on the screen on here, as we choose a stitch, it will come up with a letter. Right. A and B, for instance, on this particular one being straight stitch. A being our utility foot, B being our zip foot. Right, so okay. it gives us the option yeah, obviously yeah, whichever yeah, yeah, one we yeah. want to do on there. Then we've got our blind hem foot. So because I've got it on yeah, straight say, stitch still at the moment, I can't show you a zigzag on there at the moment because I'm where we're running out of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our zip foot. Right. So as we've noticed again, we've got uh, the spacing so we can use our smart jaw feeding system when in certain zips. And zips are one of those things, the more help you've got, the better. Oh, totally. Absolutely brilliant on that. Totally. Then that's our open toe applique foot. So again, it gives you that, just that nice bit of viewing on there for following all your satin yeah. stitch and movement. It also then comes with the free motion foot, which also can be used as the ruler foot as well. So we can see we've got the deep frill on there. So and again, it's the clear foot, so it's a nice bit of viewing on mm -hmm. there. Then we have our sensor buttonhole system. Right. And then so it takes a measurement, it will measure the back, the button for you, so it takes so it's a like, measurement So it's like there. the normal, you put it, the button you're using in the end of it. That's it. And then it, it does everything else for it you. It will do everything else for you. With this one, it actually gauges and senses the fabric for you as well. So the fabric actually doesn't touch the feed system on our machines. It actually goes between two gliders, so it comes out a perfect size because there's no um, chance of it yeah. slipping on the feed or anything yeah. like that. Is so that what that electric pluggy thing on um, That's exactly what the plug is on there, the, <laughs> the pluggy thing that go in the side of the yeah, machine on perfect. there. perfect. Absolutely brilliant. And how many buttonholes does it do? On there, it's got uh, 15 style, well, technically 16 uh, buttonholes. I mean, on there. you're never, yeah, you're never enough to need. play with. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, but the thing is now, at the moment, is things like soft furnishing, so curtains, tab top mm -hmm. curtains, tie backs, cushions, all using buttonholes, bag making buttonholes. Of course. Yeah. So where before people think, oh, why would I want those? No, they're used a yeah. lot more now on that creative totally. side. So yeah, it's not just putting them on a blouse or anything like that. Not at it? all now. So, uh, but again, you have got some nice tailored buttonholes on there as well for, for that purpose. Okay. So you've got a nice storage box which just comes with it. So then all you, your feet all live in there all, all the live time. in there. Yeah. But then you've got the large extension table, which yeah. is then with the machine as well. So I take that off, which then gives us a sleeve arm. Uh -huh. And then once that's off, we have then got our accessory oh. arm. That comes with it. This comes with it yep. as well. Perfect. So and then the nice. So thing that's how it'll arrive in the box. That is exactly like that? how it arrives. And then arrives. you can add the table to it. After. And then say that because that's in the box just to put. And on do they there. open? Are they and ones open? That's a nice thing with this. If you are then obviously doing other projects or you're taking your machine out, where you don't necessarily want the table or all your attachments in the front. That just opens up, and we've got then all the storage area. Right. So I just take that off again, so I can tip it a bit forward. Okay. Hang on a sec. We'll just come in on there. On there. So, oh, hang on, we'll just come in now. And then in here, you have then got all your individual, again, it's black on black, oh, isn't yeah. it? Oh, so, but I can but see it from here, there's like indented stories. bits in there. So yeah. there's certain projects and that you've got, you can again put the attachments in, you're going to be using in there as uh -huh. well. So yep, yeah, so that all comes with it and as just, well. Oh, yeah. And then in the back, you've got nice storage area in the back as well. Brilliant. So you've got really good storage facility. Excellent. With both of those. So this, we're still on standard, This is we? all this what's is what coming comes with the machine as anyway. standard with the machine. 
You've also then got the, the knee lifter, but we have also got the auto foot lift as well. Yes. Uh, but the knee lifter is that mechanical which goes into the front. Yeah, the, but the knee lift sometimes, even with any automatic thing, you've still got to press, you've still got to, uh, if you're quilting and you want to pivot, yeah. the last thing you want to do is let go here to do anything. Oh, Whereas absolutely. You just move your knee, move it around, so this your hands never move. It is one of those things, once you've used it, they are brilliant. Yeah. I would recommend anybody with a knee lifter who's scared to get it out of the box on that, give it a go. They, oh, are, yeah. they yeah. are great on there, they yeah. really are. Okay. And also, it gives you extra high clearance as well. Of course. So yeah. for your thicker, bulkier mm -hmm. fabrics. Yeah, it comes with a semi-hard cover on here, so yeah. it's hard either side, well protected in there. Lovely. And then, the handle's built into the machine. So the thing is, it's not a machine. I think it's a machine that once you go to in your workroom, I guess you can move it. It's not yeah. ultra heavy, but it, you're not going to be taking it to class. Not many people like want to be It's going to be it your around. pride and joy in your own. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is obviously a solid machine. You've got a very heavy metal chassis. That's why there's no vibrations, movement yeah. that way. So, no, it is a very solid machine, really, to keep in situ on there. Perfect. So, so that's obviously the uh, what actually comes as standard with the machines. You've got lots there already. Oh, yeah, okay. But obviously, we've, we've got a nice package as we were aware of. So obviously. much, Gary. That because the machine's availability, we know prices have changed and things like that. So we've just yeah. tried to come together with trying to hold it on the price a little bit, but by putting some extras with yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so what do you get? Now, these are all the things that you, where on the graphics said you get a, a £300 worth of goodies. This is your £300 worth of goodies. This is all the extras yeah. on here. So going back to the question about different attachments like A fitting, B fitting, D uh -huh. on there. This is our shank adapter. So this will turn every low fitting shank, foot shank, into a high shank adapter to fit on our machine. So if people at home got ruler feet, attachments yeah, yeah, yeah. and things like that, yeah. you, do, you can use oh, all so those. We used to sell one at same quarter and you had to choose whether you were low, high, or there was another one, medium high. That's right, whatever. Medium, medium high turn yeah. there as and, well. And yeah. so you could only use that's it. What your machine. So this means you can use any of, if you've got the rulers at home yeah. and you've bought low shank or you've got high shank or whatever, you can use any you can of use them. Any on of there. them on there, that's it. I mean, that's yeah. worth the fortune. So right, again, yeah, it? with that attachment, it's something we've, we've felt a must because once you go to this level of machine, you've usually had machines, it's not usually your first no, machine. No, exactly. So you've got attachments out mm -hmm. there. And as we say, there's so many different variations, but this is the most common one. So that's what we okay, put with perfect. it. Perfect. Um, embroidered foot, even though we've got the ruler foot and the clear foot with it, this is one of my biggest asked for free motion feet. It's the right. open toe. Right, of course. So yeah. on there. So it's a stippling foot. And the nice thing with our sails as well, it's not a hopper foot. It doesn't bounce around. You gauge the height, you can adjust the height so it floats. Yeah. So it's a lot smoother. So, so our Helen Newton and Cara and Delphine would love that because that's what they use all the time. Yeah, so it's not banging around and yeah. things like that. It is lovely and smooth that way. So that's the, the two attachments that way. Also then we have got a double thread stand uh, on here as well. Okay, so, so you don't have to put it up. With that, we, we, sort of, we won't be able to let's say, I think we're running out of time to attach it yeah, to yeah, the machine. Yeah, yeah, you've only got, yes, but exactly. All it is, it's like if, if you was on the back of the machine, it's like a spool holder. Oh, okay. So this then sits on the back of the machine. It only just screws into place. You don't need to do any major oh, stuff the holes, to it. Holes it's are already there, got the ready. holes on the oh, back okay, of the machine perfect, for it. Yeah. So that's the thread stand. And then you get your telescopic arm, which then uh, sits into the machine on here. So you can run then cones of thread. It's fantastic for metallic threads, mm -hmm. obviously invisible but threads. But sometimes that's like what that. a machine needs, isn't it? It doesn't need it just coming off the top going through. It needs that, that space and that kind yes. of almost to flow better. Well, to make it flow, that's right. Yeah. The more the flow you've got, the yeah. better. And also by having the, the thread reel directly off the reel, is not evolving any weight of the wheel either, so yeah. it's a lot better that yeah. way. So, uh, yeah, so the, the, the dual spool stand that we've put with it as well. Perfect. And then, as an extra bonus, this is something that... Uh, oh, my word. I know, we just thought, this is a couple of feet, again, is sort of feet that I do get asked for quite a lot, and I do, and this is all on the dressmaking side. Right. So, we have got... You can seal zip foot or invisible zip foot, uh -huh. uh, I should say, on here. So, yeah. again, it's one of those things, once you've put invisible zip in, you never look back. Yeah. Absolutely you brilliant. You can't get that one open. Uh, okay. Oh, there, sorry, just do it with one hand. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. Well, <laughs> you think with all your years' experience, oh, Gary. Yeah, 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 I do. I'm used to Velcro nowadays. Yeah, of course. Not so. easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the invisible zip foot on there. Uh huh. Then we've got our narrow zip foot. Now you don't get Gary's samples, you only get the feet that um, do Yeah, these this things, is I'm yeah. afraid so, yeah. But it's one of the sort of the girls who've done it, absolutely brilliant she is. You would not be happy if I let this go. Oh, okay. I'd be right. in trouble. Uh -huh. So what's this one, sorry? No, this is my narrow zip foot. 
a lot of modern zip feet now have got the, the part at the back, the gauge at the back, the, which sits on the teeth to help keep it straight. Uh -huh. And what a lot of people did is they used their zip for, for piping, which is not really the correct thing to do because you can't get it quite close enough. Mm -hmm. So we've done a narrow zip foot, so you can actually get it absolutely spot I'm on. I'm one of those people, I was trained to do my piping using a zipper foot. So, so yeah, yeah, exactly. And because back then you... Back, all back, right, back all then, right. When, back when I started as well, <laughs> you couldn't buy piping feet for domestic no, machines. No, so no, we all so. used a zip foot. Yeah. That is exactly it. Yeah, back, so, way back then. And, but also then we've got double piping feet as well. Right. So again, uh, which is nice again for that decorative, again for bag making, cushions, uh, very, very big at the moment. I don't know what that is. So double it's a piping. Double piping two foot. lots of paper. Yeah. So it, with the foot underneath, you've got a double row cut out oh, underneath the wow. foot. So it will allow you to do parallel lines of piping on there. And, and so the, the thing is, when you do, when you try and do those with a zipper foot, yeah. you get the first one perfect, then the second oh, one's always a bit... That's right. And it's like you're never going to get it perfectly no. close on there because it's you just physically can't hold mm. it close enough. So no, the double piping foot, again, that creative attachment on there. Fantastic. So, which is nice. Gathering foot. So again, it literally does what it says on the, on the tin. So it just nicely gathers up for inside gathering, pleating gathering, uh -huh. no problems at all. Obviously, we can also play around with the machine so we can extend that gathering as well, where a lot of gathering is only done on lighter weight fabrics. Yeah. Because we can play with our differential feed on here, even for those heavier cottons, don't get me wrong, can't go too heavy. <laughs> no, no, but no, no. It will still gather. But it's dressmaking, it's not furnishing, it's, no, it's for dressmaking. It is for dressmaking. So you exactly. can make a frill for a cushion yeah. oh, on it, something like that, but just not anything heavier. Than not that. anything heavier. Than so that. the That's dress it. that Rebecca just made, that she needs to ruch up, she needs to gather up the skirt, she needs to gather up the neck. Absolutely, round the arms. You could do all of that using that foot. Very much so. Yep. Rather There's, than sitting there doing. That's it, and all pulling threads and, and holding it up that way. Yeah, so that will also do that for you so, which is nice more there's more there's more the roll hem foot so again does what it says on the tin literally rolls, rolls the edge on there yeah. really nice fine edge on that one and then these are all part these are all free these are all a gift that come if you buy this machine today then the bias binder yeah. so again for the edging on oh. there so which is really nice gives you that perfect perfect finish and then button sew on foot so it's a button clamping foot more yeah. than anything so it just holds the button it's got special rubber grips on so again there's less chance of that uh, bobbins brilliant button moving on there so okay we've got a very quick question we've only got two minutes left does the narrow zip foot attach to the walking foot sorry for bothering you karen you're not bothering not at bothering all. at all no that's a good question again alas no i'm afraid that one doesn't on there obviously the normal zip foot you could use the the dual feeding system and the walking foot but no the uh, the narrow zip Foot because it's very tiny, there's nowhere actually for the jaw feeder to, the jaw feed to go. But good question, though. Good Karen. question, but you can still completely alter your needle. So if you need to get it that little bit closer, we can use the 36 needle positions built into the machine for that. 36. No problem. Yeah. So obviously it comes with some extra bobbins, even though it got four or five with the machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. We oh, put an extra 10 earlier. bobbins that's with it as well, say. going by the question earlier. Don't that's worry about buying extra bobbins because it comes with <laughs> ones you get with the box and an extra and 10. And an extra 10 on right, top. Very quick yeah. question. Now, sorry we're having to rush like this. Uh, Gary and John, when sewing, is there any way to stitch backwards other than going to stitch 30, then back again from Sandra? I don't know what that means. Um, well, the only thing is it's just a reverse. Yeah. So you've got your if, I, if I've got the auto tie on and off, actually switched off. Yeah. So then if I, and then starting, we have then just got a reverse button, like so. Yeah, and then go forward. And then, but if I had my foot control when I was using my foot, I would then just press reverse. It'd be like an instant reverse forward, instant reverse forward. So, yeah. So, so the foot, so you, what you're saying, you can put things, I know we've got no time left, we've got literally two minutes now. Uh, on the foot, the, the foot that you use, because you're, you're using the button on this one, you do it. get a pedal and you everything get a like pedal that. with these. Is it one of those fancy dancy pedals that's that you it. can it's plug everything the into? The dual foot control, and it's got a separate button on, so which I can turn into a reverse button. Oh, so okay. I can use the foot control acceleration, stop, reverse, Accelerate again, and but it's the same as what I could do with the reverse button on the machine. But if you have the automatic tie on, tie off at the beginning and end, obviously that will activate that as a tie on rather of than course. just the reverse. So, Brilliant. Yeah. Now, I need to warn you, we've only got a limited amount of these with several in baskets. So please just be, not be careful because I've got enough at the moment, but I've got several of these in baskets. Um, Gary, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Oh, I know. It's gone well, just say just, uh, One hour is great to be here. So thank you very much. For no, no, it's always, always yeah. a pleasure to see you. But we tell you next time the book, you say you want two hours because it's not long enough to. We've have, we haven't scratched the surface with this machine. Absolutely really, not at all. all. No. But it's always a pleasure to see you. Have a lovely Christmas. Thank you. And yourself. Thank 
Thank, oh, you, well, thank uh, you very much. Happy Christmas, everybody. And we'll see you in the new year, definitely. If you've got any questions, put it on the fans page and we'll make sure Gary reads them later. Or we'll get the answers from Gary for you. Or people who've already got the machine, they might be able to tell you as well. But you can, as you yep. say, you can always get in touch with Contact Gary or any of the boys at Franklin's. No problem. Right, and you get your two-year warranty and it's ready to be shipped now. It's not a buy it now. Wait, you will get it in time for Christmas. It will be shipped I out. I have them in the, the warehouse ready yeah. to go. Yeah. So they're ready to go straight away. Right, tomorrow's menu. Tomorrow's menu. Congratulations if you got that. Congratulations. And also that offer, right, is only limited. It's limited, limited, limited. Uh, now, because if, if we have to restock, it won't come with that. It won't come with that image. And who knows what could have happened to the price? Not Gary's fault, not Dukey's, not anybody's fault. It's just the way of the world, isn't it? At Everything's the moment. going up. Right. Native lighting at eight o'clock with Claire. Uh, nine o'clock, Henry Glass, Scarlet Stitches with Catherine Wright. Oh, we've got Catherine in tomorrow. Ten o'clock, Fabulous Fabrics, extra wide. Are they all extra wide? Oh, we don't know. 11 o'clock, Creative Grids with Catherine Wright. And then 12 o'clock, Yarn Lane, Mariner Kit Show with Catherine White. Lots of Catherine Wright tomorrow, isn't there? Anyway, thank you ever so much for your company today. Thank you for all your lovely message. Sorry we didn't get to answer them all in the Liberty, or all day, because lib- everything's been so busy, it's been a bit frantic. Uh, well done if you got that machine. If you've got it in your basket, please have a really, really, really good think about it. I know it's a considered purchase, but I think it's so worth every penny. Look, Wendy Orlando's got the seven, right? And all she keeps saying is, oh, we should wait, we should got the eight, we should got the eight. We should. So... Ask, ask any questions away. Will be, it be our pleasure to answer them. Right, I've got to go. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, you. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Don't be late.